into my system that we're actually doing this. Oh boy, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also excited. Uh, I'm going to make sure the stream is kicking in for everybody. How's everybody doing this fine day? Uh, we're going to be playing Demon Souls entirely blind, like 100% blind. I, I've seen screenshots of the game. I know of the game's reputation. I have literally never watched any gameplay of it. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my history uh, with the Souls series. I'm going to first make sure the stream's working for those who are already tuned in early. Working. I know Elden Ring came out today, and I'm going to talk about this. I have never fully played a Souls game. The most I've played of a Souls game is I played about three to four hours of the first Dark Souls. I did not get very far. And uh, just played with it. And I decided at the time I would probably like these games, but I was going to hold out until I had a drive to actually sit down and play through all of the games. Um, and I was thinking that drive was going to be Bloodborne coming to PC. That's been secretly what I've been sort of holding out for, because I'm pretty sure Bloodborne will be my favorite of them. But Elden Ring has raised my anticipation, and I kind of want to play through them now, so I guess I'm starting with Demon Souls 2009 for the PlayStation 3. Um, to talk about this, we're not playing the remake at the moment. This is the original Demon Souls. I'm playing it via emulation. I'm going to be playing it better than it ever actually was, because we're going to be playing it in 60 FPS when the original game was 30 FPS. More like 15 to 30 FPS, but you know what I mean. Um, this is, again, entirely blind. Um, what pushed me again is Elden Ring came out today. In fact, it came out a few hours ago, but I'm not playing Elden Ring. Everyone else can play Elden Ring. I'm playing Demon Souls. Let's do it. Okay. Checking trophy set. I made one test file, but I literally didn't leave the first hallway. I just wanted to make sure everything was working okay, and everything looked like it was working great, which is great. Sony Computer Entertainment presents. I will watch the cutscenes because I actually don't know what the story of the game is. I, I don't think Demon Souls and Dark Souls are set in the same universe, are they? I feel like that isn't true, but I don't actually know. Are Demon Souls and Dark Souls set in the same universe? I don't think they would be. I know that Bloodborne and Sekiro are in the same universe, so... On the first day... Man was granted a soul, and with it, clarity. Want me to adjust audio levels? Tell me. On the second day... Upon Earth was planted an irrevocable poison. A soul-devouring demon. Are you gonna say here? <laughs> There's a corpse going... Ooh. The game's loud. I can change that. Demon Souls. Alright, I've turned it down. I have turned down the game tremendously. I mean, maybe he had a huge nose behind the helmet. I don't know what their character looks like. I guess this one will have, like, a... Yeah, you because know, of the things that come out. <laughs> it kind of looks like a Donald Duck, though. Um, I know there's a character creator. At least it wasn't Dark Souls. I mean, I feel like that was probably also a Demon's Souls. Oh, yeah, there was, because when I started the game, I just... Because I had to name my character. I didn't mess with that. I just made a character to test. Good old video game early cinematics. I've actually played some of From Software's older games, like I played Kuwan, I played Echo Knight 1, 2, and Beyond. So, I wonder where their budget came from. Because of course, this was when Souls was a popular game. Kuwan was like a few years before this. I think Kuwan was a 2004 game, and this was a 2009 game. Um, did the mecha games that they make really sell that well to give this game at least a little bit of a budget for that? In Kuwan, they didn't even have fucking moving mouths. Like, they had cutscenes that zoomed in on the characters' faces, but literally, um, it just, like, they didn't do anything. <laughs> it was like Drake and Gar, but Drake and Gar just better. <laughs> oh my. I, I see the Drake and Bar. Drake, Drake and Bar. Drake and Guard similarities. All the same, at least in terms of the aesthetic of that opening cutscene. 
I'm not going to press start because I'm curious if another cutscene will play or the same cutscene. If it's just going to sit me on Demon Souls, something's definitely playing. That's the same cutscene. All right. So I made one character, which I'm not going to be loading. I know I can't. I'm going to be playing offline, but I think the service was down. I played a test just to make sure the game was working. I skipped all the cutscenes, and yeah, it was working great. Again, we're playing this superior to what the actual experience was like back in the day. Uh, back in the day, yeah, there is no game, though. I guess that's true. Uh, back in the day, this game was locked to 30 FPS. We don't have that limitation. We live in the new era, and the new era of video games are 60 FPS usually, and we are playing the 60 FPS because that is what we can do with unlocked frame rates. All right, so we're not playing my test file. I literally just use the default character stuff. I want to make my own character. Let's do this. All right, we're not playing on. I, I believe the servers for this game are like entirely down, if I'm correct. Name. Uh, let's call ourselves... Well, no, okay, so you just have to sort of do it manually like this right now. I'm gonna call our character... Dusky. Alright, that should be good. Uh, gender... Changing gender settings will cause edited appearances data to be lost. I don't know why they're warning me that, but okay. Oh, they mean like if I change something. Uh, I don't really care if I'm male or female. Like, I have no preference. I, wait, is there, like, a default stat difference? Okay, good, there isn't. I guess that's for other th things that we get, like the class here, probably. Uh, I will say they both kind of look like dead-eyed fish people, but hey, you know, it's an early, it's a late 2000s game. I get it. I'm not naming myself Butt Holly. It's Dusky. Alright. Uh, class. Soldier, knight, hunter, priest, magician, wanderer, barbarian, thief, temple knight, royalty, soldier. Okay. So I, I, I don't know what classes are apparently good and which ones are apparently bad. But what I'm very aware of and what I've been told, because I've had friends that have been super into the Souls games, but I've been told explicitly that some classes are far worse than others in some of these games. I don't actually know which ones are best or worse. Uh, maybe I'll ask, but I'm just going to sort of glance at these and think about what makes the most sense. So, Soldier, just kind of like how the stats kind of look. Luck is down, but everything else is up. Well, not everything else, but like their vitality is down between the Soldier and the Knight. Hunter, like sort of, you can sort of see their costumes like behind the portrait, I guess. Yeah, hello, Tibby. Uh, checking this: barbarian, thief, temple knight, royalty. Bunch of shit. Now, I <laughs> one thing I recall that a friend told me forever ago is that magic in these games is kind of useless. I'm not sure if that was for the Dark Souls games or Demon Souls, but. Uh, magic until Elden Ring, I think, has mostly been useless in these games. Not useless, but not as viable. Do you want to play melee, ranged, or magic? I have no idea. <laughs> I really do not. Knight, hunter, priest, magician, wanderer, thief, temple knight, royalty. Yeah, magic's usually kind of hard to balance in melee focused games. Pat Pat, the early day one issues. Uh, there should be an offline mode, I would imagine, though. I mean, I'm playing an offline mode right now in Demon Souls. Prayer is bad, I think. Is there a prayer class? Is there a prayer stat? You mean like faith? <laughs> hmm. I could just do a game of any meaning, mighty mo. I guess, okay, so I know what vitality means. I get what intelligence means enough. Endurance makes enough sense. Strength makes enough sense. Dexterity makes enough sense. Magic is magic. Faith, I don't know. Luck, we can see. What character has the best luck? Soldier is 10, you have 7. Hunter is 12, 8, 11, 13. So Wanderer has the best luck. No, 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 Thief has the best luck. Okay, but some of them are pretty high. Which one has the best and worst vitality? Uh, magician may have the worst vitality, and Barbarian may have the best vitality. Alright, and I know all these stats will be changed later, I'm just looking at defaults. Intelligence, Thief probably has like high intelligence, apparently Royalty has high intelligence. Magician is high intelligence. Okay, Endurance... 
royalty is weak, endurance. God, and most of the others are pretty much around the same. I guess the barbarian is slightly better endurance. Strength. Uh, barbarian has the best dexterity. I see, I see. Yep, luck is probably item drops and stuff. Magic. Barbarian is shit in magic. Uh, barbarian seems to have some pretty good stats. That's why I'm kind of like eyeing them. But then also, I'm a little bit interested in thief. Hmm. Faith, which I don't know what faith is in context to right now, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Temple Knight is very high on faith. Probably the highest? No, with a priest. That that makes sense. Um, luck. I'm mostly eyeing the thief and the barbarian now, but I'm not actually sure if I want to. Magician, priest. Have fun with Amanas. <laughs> Soldier, royalty. Okay, so what I'm sitting at right now is... I'm either being a temple knight, a knight, a wanderer, a barbarian, or a thief. I'm rolling out the other classes. So that's still quite a few of them. What's the difference between a regular knight and a temple knight? Temple knights have slightly higher vitality. Knights have higher intelligence for some reason. Endurance, uh, temple knights have higher. Strength, they're about the same. Dexterity, uh, temple knights have higher. Magic, uh, knights are a lot better at magic. Faith, eight, 11. Luck, seven. Seven. So they have very low luck, the knights do. They, in fact, have the lowest luck. Poor knights. I guess if I was to say this thief is good for... Uh, I'm not really sure if sneaking is going to be my <laughs> primary playstyle. I guess I'll be a wanderer? Yeah, a wanderer is fine. Let's add our appearance. Origin. Well, that's something random. <laughs> the face! Sorry, it's just like she had the exact same body, but her face like popped out. <laughs> what? The, the, the weird random fish-eyed people are definitely not helping. Let's go really, really old. I... I... What, what does this mean? I mean, I guess, kind of facial structure? Why, why did its face get bigger and it's just smaller? What? I chose Wanderer. Ah! I don't, I, I don't get this. What does that mean? Hairstyle. I, 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 I mean the hair is hair. I'm just, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I don't even think you see your character much. I think they're almost always in armor. So I'm not even really sure how much of an effect this will have. Uh, this one. <laughs> that was what I started. I kind of, okay, I, I want something more that's the default default. Whatever I roll next. All right, sure. Hair color. I can be 2B. Just give me the eye patch. Details. General? <laughs> no! No! What is this? I don't... <laughs> I want to do it like that. I kind of like the facial expression on that one. Just seeing how this goes. Oh no! Oh 
no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I'm doing it. Something is definitely happening. This is definitely how we're doing it. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. You guys gonna tell me this is okay. I I'm like curious. Morbidly curious at this point. How squished a face can we make? This is affected. I'm like looking for it. I guess that raises and lowers the eyebrows. <laughs> like this one, you can see. Like this one, kind of changes the facial expression. This one looks like really sad. And that looks really surprised. I'll do it like this. I'm, I'm just seeing how squished I can make this face at this point. This kind of raises it. This kind of lowers it. Well, I'm going for it, I guess. I'm seeing how squished of a face I can make. That widens it by quite a bit. Umber, eye brightness. I mean. It is what I'm making. That is definitely true. It's a very squeezed up face. Just kind of seeing all these settings still. Okay, I see what that does. A little bit closer to the eyes, I think. Cheekbone death. I want my character to be in a stance that looks like they perpetually swallowed a lemon. What? Where? What? Well, as it goes. I don't know what this is affecting. I'm trying, like, trying to look what it's affecting. I don't know what that affected. That definitely helps the looks like they always sucked on a lemon look. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no! Why did they let me do this? I just want the face to be as <laughs> squished up as I can! <laughs> How do you eat? This is all sorts of... wow. Jaw here... I don't even know what that's affecting. Oh, I, okay, I see that. Yep. Chin length. Sure. That's good. Wasn't there already a hair color thing? Okay, well, we have our hero. I think <laughs> this will be good. Yeah, that's fine. That's beautiful, even. 
okay with that. I just wanted to see how much like a lemon it could look like we could suck on. King Aland the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurber the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland. And Sage Freik the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? I... Would you like to play Journey to the Nexus? I guess? I don't know what that is. Lord Rydell, now loading. Brave soul who fears not death. Okay. He's storming I shall in. guide you. So we are playing this via emulation via RPC S3. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. No, in that because they're kind of flashing it out and doing this cutscene. Just a little bit of Into the game we go. All right, so I assume this is where we start now. I can already see do not click that square button. It's going to consume Crescent Moongrass, and I assume I don't want to consume my Crescent Moongrass. It's probably like an Urban Resident Evil, right? How's it going there, Eisenberg? Okay, so that's a roll. Just figuring out things. That puts me into a different stance. All right, let's try that a little bit later. That's probably interact, but it doesn't currently do anything. Okay, that's like a back hop. I also noticed it's eating up my stamina in the upper left corner. If I hold forward, it does that. And if I stand still, if I'm moving, it rolls me. If I'm standing still, it hops me back. Alright. That puts my shield up. Got it. That's like a shield hit. It takes a lot of stamina, though. That's a, that's a little slice. That's another slice, and I'm assuming this changes my stance. Yeah. For slightly different attacks, you can combo them into each other. Alright, alright, I'm getting an idea of it. Oh, it's like I get a different sword. It's like a. No, no, never mind. It, just, it was the angle that made me think I had a 
the store, but it's a different stance. I'll start with this stance for the moment. I'm just learning all the basics. I've literally only played at most three or four hours of Dark Souls, and that was years ago. And I had decided to hold off until there was a good reason for me that I wanted to play through the whole franchise. And I'm starting with Demon Souls for the PS3. Read message. Yep, standard attack. Did figure that out. All right, all right. Just gonna encounter our first enemy. All right, buddy. I'm gonna learn the basics. You're you're my tutorial guy. You're pretty good at facing me. I was thinking you might be a little bit slower to turn, but no, 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 no. You're 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 coming in with this. All right, that's my sealed swipe. So I'm gonna try it like this. Buddy? Buddy? Hello, buddy. You, you, gonna, you want me to do the first strike? Okay. That was easy. You also ragdolls like hell the moment you kill him. That's kind of amusing. I'm just gonna push him back into the water. That's okay. He's gonna guard. He's gonna be guardian of this little sign to let people know how to do tutorials. Two-handing looks like it gives you more power. Probably, but it's also probably slower. It's that whole mechanic thing. Again, I am super blind on this. I have no idea what to expect. That's a pillar. All right. What does this tell me about? Direction, hold, sprint. Okay, so holding this, that is a sprint. All right, I did not figure that out through my tutorial stuff. Notably, they'll run into a wall like nobody's business if you let them. Hmm. Okay, okay. There is one thing I vaguely know, but I don't know where they are. I know that apparently the Souls games have false walls. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button! Well, I, whatever that was. That Does that mean I should just go around and hit every wall I see that looks a little funny? Of course, I don't even know what a funny wall looks like right now. Do my weapons have durability? I don't know. Alright, so this tells me how to sprint. I'm not gonna sprint. I don't know, something about this lawn pathway doesn't strike me as a fun sprinting hallway fun. Read message, guard, I did figure that out. Can we climb this? Nope. So you walk around it. We've got our second enemy. Is this the one they're gonna teach me how to guard? Probably. Easy peasy, but they're just the beginning enemies. I also get stuff whenever they're killed, but I don't really know what it is. I'll figure it out, I'm sure. We're still at the very opening, beginning tutorial stuff. Alright, we got little things in the ceilings. The camera's a little bit fast, but I can deal with it. It's fine. I'm assuming this door will never open. Never, ever open. It's trying to definitely guide me this way. Can't take a torch or anything. That's fine. I'll walk slowly towards this. Just a bunch of bones. Target lock release. Oh, that's the thing. Right stick. Change lock target. Okay, so that's R3. Okay, so there's a lock on system. I was kind of wondering because I felt like it would be a Zelda system. I better not get in that small hallway. Oh, oh boy. And that changes my target. Easy peasy. Just gotta kick things around. Those bones. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Where are you going, buddy? Aha! To a trap enemy. Come down these stairs. The triple dog dare ya. I need the double attack. That was a little important. So that, I, I don't know what the green stuff is, it just refills my stamina, is that what it is? Because the green is stamina on that bar. These bars will probably not open. I do see an enemy over there. If I, I can't, I can't wrangle it, but I do see it. And there's the Shadow Man to continue telling me to go someplace. I'm not connected to an online network, so if that's some sort of thing that would change from online network play, I'm not going to be able to see it. The service for Demon Souls went down a few years ago. Hey, he's like waving. Yeah, I will continue. It's Monster Soul, I think. You think? I think it's another player. I might be wrong about that, though. Again, any online network functionality that Demon Souls had, I'm not going to be experiencing this one. I'll have to wait till Dark Souls. All right. 
God, big <laughs> I still liked all the funny little physics object stuff. That was definitely a feature of the late 2000s of gaming when that was kind of a new thing. Um, it's kind of fun to see here. I got no more moon grass. Uh, there are more moon grass. I did accidentally exhaust one. That would probably heal me, but I'll hold out for a second. Bones. I do not like big opening up areas. No, I do not, Sam. I am. Use item. I am aware how to use an item. Thank you. I've actually done it, actually. <laughs> Just gonna take a look around. We got grass. We got more grass. We got a sky that's very glowing. I'll go forward with my shield pulled out, just because I'm a little precautious. I know it's probably very early in the game for them to pull any absurd shit on me, but I'm still going to be a little bit on that. It's just a little bit. I'm the new player. I'm the noob. I'm not good yet. Let's see what this is. Hello? Ah, grass. I don't dislike grass. I'm assuming we hop down here. That was a good assumption. Back step, I didn't figure that, and roll. You probably have invincibility frames for rolling. I've seen a lot of rolling in relation to souls. I know that souls kind of popularized the world. Didn't invent it, but definitely popularized it. Alright. I was trying to target on this enemy, but it's like it was looking over there. Alright, buddy, we're gonna do a little song and dance. I'm gonna do a second hit, I've sort of figured that out. Only takes about two minutes, easy peasy. I changed my stance so I don't want to get my shield out, but I still was able to manage that, okay. Don't think I don't see you there, buddy. And I'm aware that you know how to do a double hit, then flail about for a bit. I'm learning. Then again, I'm just learning about these enemies. These enemies are like easy peasy. Anything in the water? No. Anything around the corners? Doesn't appear to be. I'm gonna check every wall! No, I'm not going to. That'd be a little tedious. But the wall looks suspicious, like this one. I will check it. This is the gate that we saw through just a little bit ago. Of course, we round our way back to this. Let's walk up. <laughs> or I guess let's try to walk up here. But this is a barrier. It's not gonna be pass. But let me go over this way. Our character is very incapable of climbing. Oh yeah, I was about to say, I think I hear an enemy. I was right. I'm in a bad position for it. Okay. I guess I can circle them if I want to avoid their basic attacks. I'm learning. Is that a fishy wall? That's not a fishy wall. I hear an enemy. Or is that just me I hear? But I thought I heard two sets of footsteps. And that changes the camera which way you're looking, okay, if you're not walking around somebody. Okay, okay, I guess it. Touch archstone. Sure. Warp to new area? No. Is that what archstones do? Let me first like, finish examining this area. I mean, I don't know if there's any secrets. I legitimately. <laughs> Hit every wall. You never know. I certainly don't. That's why I'm hitting them. So roll doesn't make, I mean, maybe I go a little bit faster. It doesn't really feel like I go a whole lot faster, but I don't really know. That does seem to be everything which I can spot around here. In my little blind eyes, unless I'm missing something. So yeah, let's teleport to the next area. I would like to. So then, Vinland. Right down inside of a dungeon. Okay. Out my shield. What does this say? Strong attack. I, okay, so I'm aware that's a strong attack. Well, that's my shield attack. That's a strong attack. But it does take up more stamina, which makes sense. I turned my spec! I, mean, I did, wasn't locked on. Now I'm locked on. Come over here, sir. I'm figuring out my. Oh, I, I would say come over here, sir, but you're seeming to have some difficulty. Sorry, the floating corpses won't be not funny to me. 
Nope, no other soldiers. I can just destroy these. I figure eventually there'll be something inside of these, as opposed to nothing. But, you know, I don't actually know that. It could just be that we could be destroying these boxes this whole game, and I'll never get anything for it. Is that not a bonfire? I guess it's not. I, I don't know the specifics. There's definitely some stuff over there. I do like destroying things, so I guess we can go over this way. A parry is L2, repel an enemy attack after parrying Riptos. Okay, so what they're trying to teach me is the moment and I do this to deflect an enemy attack, and then I can do it like that. I gets it. I gets it. So you want me to practice with some enemy up ahead, right? Hip. You're my tutorial enemy for this, sir. I'm gonna try my best. I can't promise anything, but I'll definitely try. I did that terribly. <laughs> I don't know how much grass heals. I feel like it shouldn't be a whole lot because it's probably the default thing, but I can't destroy that. I'll try the parrying with the next one. Next enemy to cross my path, I'm going to attempt to parry. I guess that's you? You look a little scary, sir, but I am going to attempt it with you. I guess I'll eat some grass. Ah, that yeah, doesn't heal that much. Sir? You are not as scary as you look. Fell apart though. I'm gonna practice pure pain. <laughs> the inflatable two man flailing will never not be funny to me. Wield weapons with both hands. I'm aware of that. You can change your stance like that. Of course, you can't parry without your shield. I'm assuming that's good against these guys, but I wanna practice my parry more. Is he not gonna step in the light? No, he's gonna step in the light. I stopped for some reason he's avoiding it. I did successfully. So I did not do it successfully the first time, I did it successfully the second time. That's what I'm practicing. Uh, you can find most of the Resident Evil games on my YouTube channel already. I've played like nearly all of them. Let's see. Check to the left, check to the right. Just checking down here. I'm going to be going at a very slow pace. For those who don't know my playstyle, I go very, very slow at games. I like looking at things and exploring. Um, so yeah, actually. False wall check. That was not a false wall. Any false walls around here? Probably not. I feel like they wouldn't throw one at me very early, but maybe they would, just for tutorial reasons. Ryan even tried to do defense as well, two handing. Uh, no, no, to show, like, the def <laughs> That's never that good, funny to me. Uh, to show, uh, that is the defense, like, this is the parry move, and this is the shield move. My defense stance is like this when I'm in two handed mode. While with the shield, it's like this. I don't really know if that's a defense move or not, but hey, something to try later. Okay. Change weapon. Oh, I have other weapons. I'm assuming that's if I had other weapons and items. Because the D-pad's currently not... Oh, oh, actually, no, it's just I had to step out of them. Okay. Oh, I do have one on one sword. I've got a short sword. Ed's Grindstone. I don't know what Ed's Grindstone means. I assume I have like a pause menu. Okay, I do. System. World Tendency. Stone Fang Tunnel. Voltarian's Palace. Valley of Defilement. Shrine of Storms. I don't know what any of that means. Status. There's where I'm at. Uh, da, 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 da. I've got very little plague resistance, but a bit more plague resistance. I've got all these burdens. Oh, I've got like a weight system. The equip burden of how much I can have equipped at once, and the item burden of how much I can be carrying in my inventory before I'm overweight. That makes sense. I can't just collect everything, which means I should probably use some stuff more often. Okay, equipment... Ed's Grindstone. I don't know what that means. Crescent Moon Tall. They don't really tell you what this stuff does, do they? I don't know any gloves. I don't know any leather armor. I don't boots. I don't really have a helmet. I don't have a whole lot of much, really. 
Recovers a small amount of uses hit points. Recovers right hand weapons. Oh, so there is durability. But you know what? I'm not going to use that on my default weapons. I feel like my default weapons are not the best weapons in the game. If they get destroyed, I've got a dagger, I guess. But they do have durability. How do you tell your durability? I should probably look out for that. Augite of Souls. Stone that radiates soul light. Okay, I've been using this a lot. What's its durability? Doesn't really tell me, I don't think. Equipment. Oh yeah, it's it's the health. It's the number on the right. My right hand weapon one, right hand number two. I think that's supposed to be my health or durability for it. Just figuring stuff out. Does select do anything? Select does nothing. I'm just figuring the stuff out. Like this. Durability is the second to last number. What was it? Let me first see what this is, and I'll see what that's about. Half moon grass. Crescent moon grass. Half moon grass. I assume both are healing items, but of different sorts? Okay, so equipment... I assume it's on this meter... Two hundred... yeah, so let's see. Change items display, change status display... okay, I see. Change item list display... My dagger. Type Dagger. Physical attack, 65. Damage reduction, durability. Currently my dagger is at 200 or 200. This is at 112 out of 120, which isn't that bad. Okay. I, I feels it. I'm learning. Looking up a staircase, gonna go slowly. Remember kids, don't run up and down the stairs if you're not familiar with them. Did I hear something? Is that just fire I heard? Hmm. Oh look, wait, you're an enemy. Hey buddy, let me just pick this up. Oh, oh, you're an archer! I was kind of looking at him for a second, I didn't really figure out. Examine corpse, crescent, moon grass. For a second I thought this was an enemy. I just was like looking at him like, what is that? Don't worry, I still don't know if destroying all those boxes does anything, but I am definitely doing it. A nice little view out here, a view of what though? I guess if I went that way, they could have tried bow and arrowing me, but they didn't really do a good job at that, so... Come with me, buddy. I guess you're my friend until I drop you. Oh. <laughs> well, that's, that's kind of cruel, isn't it? Alright. So that's a nice light little thing. I just like shiny things, I think. Yeah, furnace. Just burning internally what looks like tomato soup. Probably means it's supposed to be blood or some sort of red clay or something. But I couldn't tell you. I see this enemy coming downstairs being like, he, fi, fo, fum, who, something. Actually, I'm gonna try a parry on you. I'm learning. Alright. And did destroy that. I was thinking I might not be able to because of the angle, but they did like a little special move to hit it. They knew what I wanted, which was to destroy a box. Those box monsters, you know, they all need to die, is what I'm just saying. You're a bow and arrow guy, so... I should have done a slow attack. Okay. I will take this, more grass. I will eat grass. No, no. If I know anything about Souls games, is that the fog gates lead to bosses, right? I'm used to people saying the phrase, uh, so you have to step through the fog gate. Well, that I need die a lot, apparently. Can I... Is it possible to make that? It is possible to make that. If I just walk over, do I fall? Yes. Alright, so my theory was correct that you can just roll over them, and then that would make you make it, but if you just walk over, you fall. Am I ready for a boss? Wait, 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 why, why are you telling me to wait? I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm standing, I'm just looking at some stuff. What, what, what? Why are you hollering? Don't do the gate. Sign over here. What? 
I'm blind. Remember, don't backseat too much if you know something I don't. Go back to the thing? What, what, what thing? There, there could definitely be things. That wall? Oh, you mean this wall? Yeah, what about this wall? You know something weird about this wall? I know you haven't played this game, so I'm a little bit going to be a little more forgiving with you. Did it? Fall down there. So you think it might be something? Hmm. Trying to spot what you're talking about. Strong attack it, maybe? What are this destroys our weapons durability? <laughs> I wonder if it's only like a chance of sensing it while it's not. It's a noise. I know it's noise is like slightly different. But I'm wondering if it's just every few times that you hit it if it's something. I don't really know the specifics of this either. Uh this is 60 FPS. We're playing it via emulation. The original Demon Souls was only available on PS3 at 30 FPS, but we're not playing on 60 FPS because we're playing it through our PC S3. Let me. I want to see if that affects my durability. Does that like make my weapon durability go to shit? That's what I'm trying to find out. Ah, not to shit, but I think it did use it up there. That's okay. That's okay. Here's the thing. This looks like it would be a place for a secret to be put. I 100% agree with you. I don't see anything, though. And I do know that these games have pulse balls, but I don't really know what they look like yet. Yeah, I'm having fun. Just learn. It dropped by seven points. I did defy a few enemies since the last checked. Oh, uh, no. It was actually extremely easy to emulate. Like, surprisingly so. Anyways, um, gonna go through the fog gate. Let's try it. I'm scared. That's... There they go. Checking over here, checking over there. Okay. So fog gates aren't always bosses. I kind of thought they always were, but I guess they're not. But hey, now I just know there's sort of gates to places. I'll take you, Half Moon Grass. Feeling okay. Yeah, I recommend it. It's actually working surprisingly nicely, I would say. Just kind of looking at some rafters. Uh, do I try the stupid idea that popped up in my head? No, I do not, because that bar will not lead me. I think if I really wanted to, I could maybe try rolling my way out of this perimeter, but why would I want to? I would just fucking fall and die. Okay, gonna run over this way. I figure that a false wall has to kind of have some sort of indication, right? Another fog gate. That makes me a little suspicious that I need to put two in a row. Well, here's the thing. We went through a fog gate, and it's led to this room with one enemy, and that one room with one enemy led to another fog gate. This one, like, this one's like a dramatic error. I, I don't trust what's ever behind this fog gate. You can kind of see something? Like that thing. Oh, that is definitely a boss. You can see it right there. <laughs> it's right through the. I can see it. Oh, that fucking multi eye fucker. I, oh, I'm not ready for that. But I guess I have to be. Hmm. Oh boy, I'm nervous. Well. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna eat some grass. Touch some grass, I guess. By eating it. I'll go with my little sword. It'll be pretty cool. Oh, I'm not ready. I'm gonna do it, but I'm not ready. Uh. Hello, buddy. Oh, 
Well, that took off a huge chunk of health. Eat grass, eat grass, eat grass. Roll, roll! Oh, I'm dying. I'm definitely dead. Small little baby arena. That's pretty much expected. Executioner Meralda. Small little baby arena. Alright, that was a scripted death. That's pretty. Drawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. And many in our soul. Alright, so ended our tutorial with a boss that I bet you could theoretically defeat, but you're not ready to defeat, probably. Alright, and that leads to this. That makes sense, that makes sense. You have died, the Nexus has trapped your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. Alright. However, by capturing demon souls, <laughs> you can reclaim your physical body. The binding. I got Nexelio binding. Did I equip that? Kind of looks like one of those reeds I could equip. But I guess not. I did get to keep all my items, though. That's nice. I thought, I thought maybe on death I would lose everything, but I guess not. Hello, sir. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed volatile I haven't hired a ghost of my dead item. You came for demon souls? <laughs> it's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. Yes, I am. We're welcome here. As long as we keep slashing up demons. <laughs> they like more of that? Okay, okay, so... You came for... We're welcome. <laughs> We've got several people to talk to. You're the pretty standing statue. <laughs> it's a pretty standing statue, though. Kind of interesting little, like, uh, clock runes going on there. Just kind of looking at them, appreciating them. Don't mind me, just taking a gander about. There's a bunch of people over here. Hello, sir. I'm Stockpile Thomas. Stockpile. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here, in the Nexus. That's courage. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. I see. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. So he's our item box, is what you're trying to tell me. Currently, I don't know the worth of anything, sir. You could be robbing me blind, and I wouldn't know. The unknown, wait, what was that I just had? The unknown soldier's soul. Adds to user soul stock when used. What? I currently Best don't... Best of luck to you. I probably have stuff to store to you later, but right now I don't think I'm even close to hitting my limit. I'm too powerful, is what I'm trying to say. Hmm. You new here? Absolutely. You here for my services? I don't know what your services my are. My name's Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons, or forge ones you already have. 
that straightforward. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? We're playing Demon Soul stuff. <laughs> Upgrade weapon. I don't think I want to upgrade my default weapons. I feel like there's probably better equipment that I would want to upgrade later. Perhaps you've already heard, but there's another blacksmith at the entrance of Stonefang Mine. I He's an eccentric old man, but he knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in a town of soul starving me. If you do meet him, yeah, well, forget it. That stubborn old near-do-well will just ignore you. Is that what you think? Let's talk. There aren't enough blacksmiths in this temple to handle all the work. Only certain ores can be used to forge weapons, but you just have to make do. And be thankful that I'm still of good health. That's fair. And be thankful that I'm still of good health. That's all you're gonna say now? And be thankful that I'm still of good health. <laughs> and be thankful. But I'm still of good health. I'm um, thankful I still have good health. What was your catchphrase, old man? Be thankful that I'm still of good health. Are you gonna help me move in? Be thankful that I'm still of good health. That's all I wanted. Got a little alley back here. I don't know what it's about. Let me just go back to my crescent moon grass. Hello, person. Oh my. How has this happened? Has God abandoned us for failing to show proper respect to King Alant? Oh, Mbasa. I don't know who that is. Oh, Mbasa. Oh, Mbasa. Oh. Oh, Mbasa. They love the repeating dialogue, don't they? I'm having fun with it, though. Let's see. Around this corner. Ooh, that's... I don't, I don't think that's anything, but it looks kind of nice. Just checking the little corners of the world, never know. Nothing in this corner of the world, that's for certain. I think rolling's a little bit faster than just normal moving, but it does use up your stamina, so you know. Alright, let's climb the staircase. Thankfully, climbing stairs doesn't ruin your stamina, which means this game is definitely not real life. Let's check up here. Wow, you can go up a ways, can't you? That's a pretty view, though. What happens if you fall from here? You probably would die, but this is a nexus of souls, is it not? So would you die if you're a soul? In a nexus made for souls? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'm not understanding correctly. Just big open barren spaces. Do you think there's going to be like more characters that are added to this as time goes on? These are like just little side areas that will be in the future? Or do you think it's just a bunch of empty space? I don't answer that, because I feel like most people don't think one thing or another. They probably know. I don't know, and that's why I'm pondering. Just kind of noticing there's a bunch of empty space around here. Anybody over here? Probably not, but I'm checking all the same. I'm the stubborn type of fellow that would check things like this. So that, th th this isn't, like, it was very glowy. It rose some suspicion. I'm pretty sure it's just that light that's shining through, but it was definitely highlighting that. Very particular wall. I think you can see why I would suspect that wall, but apparently it was nothing. I believe the way back is one more pillar over. Here we are. I'll go upstairs this way. I feel like they probably both lead to the same place. Just climbing, don't mind me. I noticed that my health wasn't as good as I thought it was a second ago. Ooh, I'm getting high up. I'll continue, though. I'll eat some grass. That didn't do anything. That was just a waste of grass. Probably because I'm a soul. I can't heal right now, can I? Well, at least I learned that lesson now. This area definitely is for something later. Now, before I walk off of a ledge, that is a giant statue. Pretty nice looking, though. Let's go back down. And exit right back down the stairs where we came from. 
I'm assuming all the stuff up here is for something later, I guess? Are those like hanging? Oh, it's like upside down statue things. Huh. Whatever the case. Continuing on back down, I go. How many staircases can I run down? I don't know. Can I roll downstairs? I can. That's dangerous, kids. Don't try that at home. Nothing along this area either. Which kind of makes sense. This didn't look like... I, I feel like these are going to fill in with more people over time. They're like little side areas. They're currently just vastly empty. I'm assuming we're going down here. Towards these giant stone gates. Yeah, that does move you a little bit faster. Ooh, a lot of notes. With no stamina, your shield defense is ineffective. So no stamina, no shield. Got it. Stamina is consumed by attacking, blocking with shields, and sprinting. Right, the sprint option. When your stamina bar depletes, you cannot perform actions which consume stamina. Makes sense. If you are overburdened with equipment, your movement speed will drastically be decreased. Alright, that makes sense. If you lack certain ability points, your weapons will be useless. Anyway, that... If you lack certain ability points, your weapons will be useless, so... I need certain... Okay, I, I think I get it. What it's trying to say is that I have my character's stats, and if I don't have certain status things, certain weapons will be useless. Like, if I don't have enough strength or enough intelligence or endurance or etc. Upon a successful parry, you have a chance to repost. Yeah, I did that in the tutorial. Using a weapon with both hands and causes your strength to be enhanced by 50%. Downside no shield. If you use a weapon with both hands, you can break an enemy's guard. Oh, okay. When in soul form, your HP is halved. I guess that's the deal with my high high of my health right now. When a weapon becomes worn, its durability is low, its attack power decreases. Okay, good to know. The blacksmith can repair weapons that have become worn. I just want to find a better weapon, really. To use spells and miracles, you must first learn them. I mean, that's just basic knowledge. Learn spells and miracles cannot be used unless you memorize them, so you have to memorize them. There is a limit to the number of spells and miracles that can be memorized. Alright, so it's like Pokemon. Got it. You must equip a catalyst to use spells. Alright. You must equip a talisman to use miracles. Okay, so a catalyst for spells, a talisman for miracles. You can leave messages with select, but I'm not online, so I probably can't actually do that. These messages are sent to other worlds. Phantoms are warriors of another world, much like the one you fight in now. When you die, a bloodstain will be left at the location of your death. Good to know. If you touch your own bloodstain, you can regain the souls you lost upon death. If you touch another warrior's bloodstain, you can view the manner in which he or she died. If the tendency is closer to black, de if the tendency is closer to black, demons will pose more of a threat. What? Pay attention to the tendency of the world's souls. I, I know there's something about that on my menu, but I, I don't understand what that means yet. It's the tend world tendency. But I don't know how you tell what's going on here. I'm looking at it, I don't really understand it. What's telling me is pay attention to the tendency of the world's souls. If the tendency is closer to black, demons will pose more of a threat. If the tendency is closer to white, the demon's powers are weakened. Okay, so I get it. So right now, basically, the world's tendency is all default, because it doesn't look either more white or more black. It just kind of looks like color, but I assume like its contrast goes up or down, or contrast. Its brightness goes up or down based on if it's closer to demons or closer to light. Yep. Well, not max. I don't think they're closer to white. I feel like they're probably their default state right now. Okay, okay. I see, I see. I mean, I'll figure out whatever I figure out. It's part of the fun of playing something blind. Okay, so they pointed to these things. Touch the archstone of the small cane. Touch the archstone of the burrow cane. And I'm assuming there's a couple over here as well. Touch the archstone of the chieftain. Touch the archstone of the shadow man. And there's this whole thing. There's like another one up there. And there's one that looks like it's been destroyed. Touch 
Touch the Iron Stone of the Tower Queen. Yep, one of them has been destroyed. I've already learned how to parry in Demon Souls, so I feel pretty good. I guess we'll just do the first one that they pointed at, which is behind this guy. They're definitely trying to attract your attention the most in this one. Are there, like, symbols on the back? I don't fully know. Now we'll do the small king first. You're small. Voltarian Palace, a huge stone castle in the heart of the northern kingdom of Voltaria. Hungry soldiers whose souls have been stolen by demons' attacks, trespassers, and terrible dragons nest there. Let me see, like, a little description of each, now that I sort of understand those are descriptions. Oh, it's sealed. Okay, so yeah, I can only go to that one, because I haven't been to other places yet. I thought they were giving me a choice. I was like, oh, okay. But nope, it's just a uh, thing sealed for later. I have to open them up, I guess. So, like, travel points. Yep. So this is the only one I can go to. That makes it pretty straightforward. How do I get my body back? Inventory. I do have a soul thing. Unknown soldier soul. Adds to user soul stock when used. But I don't know what that means. <laughs> the remnants of a nameless soldier spirit that remained in its corpse. Use it and the, your, and the souls will be added to your stock. Even if you leave this bee, it will only become nourishment for demons. In which case... So basically you're saying I should just use this. I now have more souls. I assume souls is the currency of the lower left. I actually should have been looking at that. I assume I have more than I did just a little bit ago. User loses souls and return to the nexus. Okay, so that's a binding. Let me see what the bigger description is. The symbol of those imprisoned in the nexus. Having this ties you to the nexus. Even if you lose your physical body, you cannot die, and your soul remains trapped in the nexus. The Nexial Binding sends the user back to the Nexus upon death, but all souls collected will be lost. So yeah, if you die, you lose all your souls, and then come back here. Pretty straightforward. What do you That's got, old simple. man? And trade with your souls. Repair equipment. What can I buy from you? Moongrass, fresh spice, whatever somebody who uses magic points. I'm not using magic yet. Uh, you're too expensive for me. I guess I can buy a bow and arrow. Should I? I don't have a bow, do I? <laughs> I'll hold on to my souls no right now. Eh? Well, I can tell you, them. you're not gonna last long here. <sighs> Temptress. It's simple. And with your... You know what? Fuck it. Because I'm going in blind anyways. Just repair my... this. Maybe not upgrade, repair. Souls needed, 70, sure. I'm probably going to lose all my souls from an early death anyways. Might as well spend what I can right now, right? Like these have durability? I'll repair everything before I go out into the fucking whatever. Can you upgrade my shit? I'm using this more often. Uh, the upgrade's too expendy for me. Dagger. I guess I can do this. What does this do, though? Oh, that's plus five to the dagger. I think I'm gonna save the rest. You of my come story. back alive. I need your business. Fair is fair. Okay. I think I've got a small basic grasp on things. Let's touch the R stone of the small cane. Yeah, that's all I can go to. So let's do it. How do you save in this game? <laughs> Does it just auto save? No loading. That's a castle view. I'll admit it, not my aesthetic, but sure, we can do it. Ah, dragon. That thing's gonna kick my ass. Whenever I encounter it. My controller is vibrating. Do my best, that's all I can do. These get destroyed? I ate grass. I need to stop doing that. Oh, these will be destroyed. I'm more powerful than I think I am. Sure, I'll take yeah, I'll take your half moon grass. 
just destroying things, don't mind me. I, I wouldn't be able to destroy that, but hey. Okay, so how do I gain my health and human form back? That will be... I eat more grass. That will be the question. I am wasting my grass away, aren't I? Well, that's okay. Error for mistakes. What is this? Touch archstone. Well, that'll teleport me to someplace else, right? That's what I learned from the tutorial. Do I want to go someplace else? I don't think I do. I think I want to explore this area first before I touch that thing. I just want to attack the barrels. All items in the world need to die. That's my job. That's what I signed up to do. Somebody said, you came here to defeat the demons? No, I came here to defeat the boxes. Don't mind. Oh, oh that's an enemy. <laughs> Let me get back to the combat mindset. Sir, come here. Oh, there's two of you. I didn't even notice. I know, you're already dead, so I guess that's why I locked off of you. But yeah. Examine corpse. You got something. Moongrass. I can deal with that. Ah, bonfire. <laughs> Let's see. Crescent moongrass. I can take it. I can take it or leave it, I guess. Grass is grass at the end of the day. Just destroying every single barrel and box in the kingdom. That's all we were behind me, and I didn't even notice, but thankfully you made a sound. You're kind of slow at the uptake as well. It's okay. Maybe I should probably pay attention to see if there's more of you around. Oh, it's because there was a little cave thing down there. I didn't even notice that. I'll look at that in a second, though. First, I'm going to spin around a few times, and then this. That's my victory dance, just to let you know. Ooga, ooga, ooga. Those crows? Will they attack me? Unknown soldier soul. Ah, but the things that eat it, so they tell me that, that even like the item description, what it claims to be, as you'll see here, even if you leave this bee, it'll only become nourishment for demons, in which case I should use it anyways. Give me all the souls. Can I store souls that that guy in the fucking Maybe I should check to see if I can do that. I should check that, shouldn't I? Crows? Are you, are you okay? Can I sneak up on them? I can't lock onto them. I was really hoping I could just come to this one. Hear more crows having a fun time, but don't mind me, I'm literally just destroying everything. That's my goal at this place. Don't think I don't see this. I don't have a bow and arrow. I'll do it like this. I know you do like your double attack thing. Oh, okay, okay, that went a little bit bad. I did destroy two of them with one attack, so I guess that was good. I destroyed that? Nope, I destroyed it. Come here, crows! All right, let's check the door and find out we can't enter, or there's enemies, I see. Come here, sir. I want to attack you one at a time. I got it down. That's okay. There should be another one someplace around. Just coming down the way. Don't worry, I got my shield up. Easy peasy. Still on the easy enemies. Just want to check the gate. I'm pretty sure this isn't how you enter, but I wanted to check it out anyways. Sir? There you go, buddy. Just want to make sure it wasn't another enemy coming from that way. Alright, so this is pretty self-explanatory so far, but again, this is just the very, very beginning of the game. Sir, are you a bow and arrow enemy? Nope. I need to learn more parries. I guess hitting them in the air... <laughs> he did like a triple flip. Hitting them in the air is a way to get their defense down, which I think I just learned right now from that. I see you sneaking there. I'm going to try a parry move right now. Come on, come on, destroy the thing. You got this, you got this. I'm going to parry you. It's my goal. Parrying. Come on, sir. You got this. You want to parry me. You know you do. 
didn't parry it correctly. I did like parry it, but I didn't do the attack thing. I didn't do it fast enough. Okay, okay, I'm on low health. I should probably eat grass. I just realized I was on like mid health. I couldn't before. I'll eat grass, sure. No, 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 grass. This gets hit. Nope. Doesn't seem to have any effect. Strong attack. Nope. Just closed off for good. He's trying his best. That wooden wall. I'm proud of him. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just have to praise your, your wooden walls, even if they're not doing anything. Alright, so what's up here? Peekaboo. Any enemies hiding behind barricades that want to come out and say wooga wooga woo? I can see a few barricades. Seem pretty good. Okay, okay. I just like destroying literally everything. Anyone high inside here? Oh, that's a bone arrow. I could tell from the posture. Okay. That's not, gonna, that's not gonna work the best, but sure. Get that guy to come over here. I'm just luring you over here, sir. Come on, over here. I can see him through the walls if I'm locked onto him. Oh, I messed that one up. I was trying something, but it didn't work out as I hoped it would. I'll eat grass, though. Okay, so I'm a distance weapon, so you up there on the platform, you're a problem. There's another guy standing behind you as well, which makes this just a little bit tricky. I just attack this. Oh, there's like this little platform there. Wait, wait, can I do something silly? Oh, over here, over here. Thankfully, it literally doesn't move. Sir? Sir, are you okay? Sir? Sir, are you okay? Are you okay, sir? Okay, don't mind me, I'm just taking out your countermen. Easy as pie. No, 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 no. Take the half boot, grass, it is mine. Hey, what's up? Is there a lock in this game? There is a lock on system. It's kind of finicky, but it works. Hey, Azzy. I'm trying the Souls game for once in my life. I am interested in Elden Ring, and I thought, you know what? I've been hoping that Bloodborne comes to PC before I start playing the series, but I'll do it now because I'm excited for Elden Ring. Alright, so I decided to start off with probably what's going to be the finickiest one, which is the first Demon Souls, the PS3, which I'm playing via emulation. Alright, let's just check the surroundings. This is fine. I assume I don't want to drop to where the weird fire fairies are all dancing about. That just doesn't, I mean, it's definitely making, it's, maybe it's the fire that's making the fire sound, actually. Is that fine? Is that trying to tell me it's fine to drop down there? Or is that danger? Don't drop down there. It's blue fire, like, I mean, I kind of see, like, a staircase there, but I kind of feel like that's not a good idea. Maybe I'm just not brave enough, but I'm not going to try dropping down there unless that feels like all I can do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Almost got me there, buddy. Good one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I should see. I should shield because my sword gets hit by the side of that stuff. Hey! I need to practice parrying a bit more. But hey. Alright. Thankfully, I'm the type of person that looks around when I enter into a dark place that looks suspicious. And get stuck into a park. I just can't fucking get a table since survival. Basically, anything made out of wood just perishes at the first touch of a slight tap of a sword. Just a little, just a little tap. <laughs> disappears like that. Alright, alright. I know the check corners. You wouldn't pull the same trick twice, would you? In a row. 
I was about to pull my sword, my shield, but I was too slow. Alright, alright. Darkness does make it a little bit harder. Can't destroy the beds. I just want to destroy the tables. Don't mind me, I'm just a mass destruction paradigm, really. Peekaboo. Uh, peekaboo. Any enemies hiding underneath the cabinet? Oh, there's something new, though. Firebomb. That sounds dangerous. It's the first thing I've actually found inside of it. There's a few paths I skipped over just coming this way. This feels like the main path. I kind of want to go back just to see. Bone arrow enemy or something? Nope, not that I can see. I was destroying lots of cabinets all the live on day. I mean, I know we both see each other. We're just having that sort of awkward moment where they want to say hi, I want to say hi. We can both see each other's shoulders, but at the same time, you know, it's just just, just, just a little suspicious. Just a little suspicious. I'm going to slowly back away because I'm a little suspicious. going to peek out and say, hey! Oh, now they noticed. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Come down here, come down here. Enter the darkness. I got an idea, I got an idea. What was that? Magic smith. Oh, what are you trying to throw at me? Oh boy. Oh, we're gonna kill each other. Oh no. I could have thrown the bomb item. We did kill each other. But, well, I didn't get my souls that much. Anyways. I didn't get my souls back. They were right over here. My souls were in a very obvious to get spot. Now, if the enemies don't respawn, they respawn. Well, on the bright side, that means more souls for me, right? Look at the bright side of life. Does that mean items respawn? Does, does, does that mean, like, over here, there's the body that was here originally? Or does that count as counted? It probably counts as counted, because there was, like, a body here which had items. Yeah, it doesn't have items anymore. So the enemies respawn when I die, but not the items. Okay, you, sir, you're my parry practice. Kinda. That wasn't exactly it, but I guess it was kind of it. Uh, this is also, I guess, by opening up shortcuts. Is important. Don't mind me, I'm aware there's like an enemy hiding around this corner. He almost got me before. Where'd that enemy come from? Is it you? I still need to practice parry. Still not mastered it. That's okay. Yeah, I'm assuming that you open this from the other side. It's like a shortcut back. That makes sense. I'll go a little bit faster than I did the first time. Get some enemies behind that gate. The one their ass is kicked. Easy peasy. I missed that. I did it too early. Way too early. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely. Fine. I'll take your grass. Don't worry, I'm going just a little bit faster. I'm learning. I'm, 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 I'm not twerking, but I'm learning. Okay. I just need to put my shield up a little bit faster than I can really do. I'll eat grass after you. Actually, like grass right now. I want to parry practice you still. Come on, come on. Don't be shy. Not precisely, but not terribly either. I've done it twice, but I still do it more. Come on, come on. You got this. Don't be shy. He's got this. See? Breaks a barrier. Sir, I want to practice parrying with you some more. Come on, come on, come on. We got this. I'm practicing. 
is. Easy as peasy. <laughs> That's not a word. Alright, this is the bow and arrow guy. It's kind of annoying. Blah, 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 blah. Now I know he's got terrible aim. Stepped into fire. Oh, oh, I am stupid. I didn't realize fire would be instant death. I thought it would set me a little bit on fire, but now I know fire go. Well, I'm learning lessons. I mean, I, you know that fire is bad, but fire instant death is not exactly what I was imagining. Alright, sir, I, I, I fucking got attacked by you, to you. Don't get impatient. That's how you lose. One of you guys come first. I, I guess I'll do it like this and you see the final line. Not exactly the same, though. That's fine, I'll get the souls back. I'm not really disturbed about losing souls at this early stage. I don't even want the souls for anything yet. <laughs> That's why I have to tell myself to cope. My copian, you could say. Alright. Accept death, move forward. We got crows. Crows like saying hi. One day. One day, crows. Okay, okay, come here. I still want to practice parrying. It's a good skill to have, I feel. Next. Eat grass. Consume, get more grass. That's the grass economy. Voila, delectable souls. <laughs> Come here, sir. They're just stairs. Those aren't how you walk downstairs, sir. I, I, I did it, but I, then the other one messed up. Oh, well, now you're gonna kick my. At least I dodged you. You can do kind of like a quick side step. No of you dropping items? No, sorry. I know one of you guys are just hiding behind here. You're kind of a coward. I'm just trying to say it's kind of cowardly. Come on. You make the first move. There he goes. Voila. Now you don't want to practice parrying against. I did it for you once, I can do it again, I think. I did it again. And you gave me more grass. That's good, because I need grass. Oh my God. Now, the grass grind set. Yep, here's the part where I learned that fire bad. <laughs> more bad than I realized. I, I thought fire would like burn me for a little bit. I didn't expect. <laughs> Combust into flames. Sir. Sir, over here. You get the one that needs attention. I have to time it with this guy trying to shoot arrows, though. Oh, yeah, I can just. Well, this is going badly. I'm gonna walk backwards. I'll get my souls back in a little bit. <laughs> I barely avoided that one. That one should have been enough to yep, eat grass. Tell tales. Well, well, that could have gone better, could have gone worse. Let me get my souls back. You regain lost souls. You have touched the mark of death itself. Bring more souls, Slayer of Demons. Alright, alright, we're gonna time this. You're gonna aim like it's a fool. Coward! <laughs> Sir, let me help you up. It's alright, he's fine. He's taking a nap. Well deserved, I must say. He was very, very determined. 
All right, so the other lesson, remember kids, learn your lessons. If you don't learn from your mistakes, you'll never become a better person. And my lesson today is fire bad. Apparently so bad that even touching it will burst you into a combustion that'll die immediately. Peekaboo, we saw you last time around the corner. We didn't fall for you the first time. We shouldn't fall for you the second time. Oop, over there I am. Peekaboo. There you go, buddy. I knew he could do it. Actually, if we make him walk into fire, are you, are you stupid enough you'll walk into fire? It killed me. Will it kill you? Why is fire okay for you? I was trying to see if fire was bad for you too. Alright, we're gonna practice parrying. So we did it! That's what I like to see. What do you think this tapestry meant? Did somebody just look at it and be like, wow, I really like the television show Twin Peaks? I think that's what's to go through their mind. Come on, I'm gonna parry you. It wasn't quite a parry. You win that one, really. Okay. Getting on this. I have got a firebomb. I don't know how I use a firebomb. I'm probably gonna die from a firebomb. Remember, kids? Uh, be careful with firebombs. I don't know if the word firebomb makes you feel like you have to be careful around it, but I feel like it probably does mean be wary, traveler, he who uses the firebomb. We're gonna try it though. Firebomb! We're gonna try it again. Even. Firebomb! No, I'll come over here, actually. Do, 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 do. I want grass. We're gonna parry your ass. There it is. I'll take your crescent moon grass. Well, time to take care of the spammer, because that's how I like to roll. Let's move over this case. Where am I gonna go for show? I feel like I'm just getting the basics down. I'm gonna say basics because I'm probably gonna get my ass handed to me later. Hmm, if I looked at Fog Gate, I don't get a good feeling about Fog Gate. So I got a little bit suspicious of them, you could even say. I do see that there is definitely some destructible items that I try to destroy. I don't really think there's anything in them, because most of the time there isn't, but occasionally there is. So you don't live a little. Destroy a few boxes you haven't destroyed today. Alright. Let's travel through the gate. Enter the fog. I didn't think this one was a boss fog. I didn't really see anything on the other side but a passageway. I should be careful, though. Ah. Is there anything behind? No. Whoa! Well, that sucks. Why am I? I was eating grass for some reason. What am I doing? I mean, I missed, so what is he doing? What am I doing? I'm in such a disadvantaged position. I did terribly there. That deserves kicking you down the stairs. Because I did a bad performance. Let's see. I'll check over here. I just want to destroy some items all the live on day. Gotta destroy some of that, that, Right, that's a shiny. It's an unknown soldier's soul. Guess what that means? I get to eat souls. Mmm, yummy. I'm a little bit suspicious that you can see like the like almost nothing but a soul over there. Isn't that like really suspicious <laughs> like overtly suspicious this like 100% feels like a trap it's got that feeling that you know that something's not right about this like 
but I guess it was fine. Oh, mail breaker. That is, are you a hidden wall? No. I don't know what a hidden wall looks like. Let's see what this weapon's all about. Right hand dagger, falchion. Mail breaker. So it's not quite as strong. Though it does have one stat. Let me look at the stats game for this all that means. So the physical attack is weaker than this or that. Damage reduction is lower, but it has stats needed. It needs more stats? Durability? It's got good durability like this one does. Weight, 0, 5. The weight's lower. Okay. Gain a feel for it. Does it pierce armor? It feels like that might be something that exists. I don't know. Maybe. For now, I'll keep on using this weapon until I sort of trade off with it, I suppose. Let's go on up. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. In a big old dark, creepy open area. Another firebomb thrower. I'm sorry, I don't really hate fire. I'm surprised my heavy attack works. They usually don't in, like these really cramped areas. There might be traits not mentioned in the raid number dump. That might be true. I don't really know, actually. Good thing they're really bad at throwing those. <laughs> Like, really bad at throwing those. Okay, what's inside of a barrel? Nothing? Wow. Just what I needed, I guess. Is there, like, a little area down here? I mean, there is. Why is it here? Your guess is as good as mine. Let's check up here. I'm just looking at walls. I wish... Good thing they're really bad at that. Like, really bad at that. Oh, of course. I'm happy that you enjoyed your, the Fatal Frame stuff. I'm gonna just very, very, very discreetly try and walk on it. Is there an enemy up there, like, from this side? Ah, that's where the fire came from. That makes some sense. But how do I even deal with that? Can I make him hit himself? I think he wears fireproof pants. He might be wearing fireproof pants. Okay, so this isn't my usual strategy, but I'm going to book it. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I was healing. Oh no, booking it didn't work. Now where do I load? From the last to the beginning beginning? Or since the fog port from the beginning beginning? That was the question. Alright, so I'm determined to get my souls back. Now I know I was booking it was a really bad idea right then in particular. At least I've learned from that experience. There's also another enemy coming over here, right? I remember that. Only one at a time, guys. I don't mean to be so popular. Oh yeah, having fun playing them on us. It's all good. Check on over here. I'm looking at the various enemies. They want to slaughter me dead and take my souls or my head. That's all right, we got them. Those crows are usually considered an omen in a lot of horror stories, but I don't know, I kind of like crows. I'll do it for you. 
easy. I missed my parry chance. I missed that one up. That was my fault. Try on you, though. Come on, leave. And I miss. I swing and I miss. I ate some grass. You, I need to practice parrying still, so come over here, sir. Missed. That's okay. Just deal with the fun of those corpses having some fun. Voila. I'm determined not to lose the souls I just had there. Now I've parried you to the last two times. Can I do it a third time? No. In fact, that was a bad idea on my part. That was my bad, sir. You're not to blame. Fancy soul store right there. Now we deal with this fun room. I was meaning to go backwards, but that works out too. Come over here, sir. I'll give you a private tour. <sighs> Keep on messing up the carry. I want to practice it more, though. I did it a few times already, but I feel like I can get better at it. I'll take care of you, really. You're the last one left, sir. You're stupid enough to fall into this hole, I feel. Definitely stupid enough to fall into that hole. And just to confirm that, it's definitely a death. I definitely got souls from that, so... Alright, fire is instant death in this world. Do that, pop out, pop in. Or was that not enough to disrupt your slumber? Do I have to, like, ram you with my head? There you go. So we can do this for as long as you want, but neither of us are going to have a good stay sleep without it. There you go. Okay, I'm going to parry you. I'm determined to. I mean, it wasn't exactly a parry, I guess kind of was, but wasn't. It wasn't the type of parry I was after. I'm practicing still. There we go. And you get the timing down a bit more precisely. Easy as pie, easy as mine. peek a -boo. You have the same idea I do. Oh, I can throw fire bombs at the other guy. That's what I should do. I'm silly. I have fire bombs. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't know where the other guy is. Did he just send the other guy out? I guess he did. Well, I kind of did it? It was like a little bit delayed there. Like, I guess I technically did it, but I also got hurt by that, so. Call it a partial win, I guess. Let's peek around the corner. There's a guy up on the stairs, if I remember correctly. Hello. Yeah, you want to throw fireball mode. I forgot about that. I don't like those very much, but you're also very, very bad at throwing them. Maybe you should just stop and not try. Come on, come on. I'm just a little guy. 
Okay, there he goes. There he really goes. You okay, sir? I already collected the stuff down here. My souls are on up ahead a little bit. Check around. Just down a little bit more. Come on, come on. You see I'm glowing in the dark here. Did it somehow. Really, that was a joint effort to have you lose like that. I was hoping to avoid that by getting to you faster, but evidently that didn't work. I see my souls right there. Eat some grass. I know there's a guy up there, and I'm got. I'm gonna use some uh, fire bombs at this point. I sort of realized that's the better way for me to handle this. with the firebomb before I got hit with the firebomb. That's the worst feeling. Yep. Well, I should get my souls because they're all literally right there, right? I got souls. I see the other guy sitting there. I guess I'm just gonna... Lure somebody out. I guess you're who I'm luring out. Running down the hallway is one of the worst mistakes I've made so far, I would say. So come down here. We'll just have a nice little chat. Didn't go as well as I could have hoped, but didn't go terribly, I guess, either. Okay, hit that. And hit this. If one wants to climb to the top of a tower, I see that guy wants to throw firebombs up there. Okay. You're who I want to aim at. I'm going to throw a firebomb at you. That's all I got. Hopefully this hits. It, no. I was a little too far. I was so focused on the above guy when I was going to throw a firebomb and got hit by that thing. Whatever, come down here, sir. I don't like follow, I find it on very narrow spaces. It gives me anxiety, I guess. Another one bites the dust. Sir, I know you're up there on your little high horse wanting to throw firebombs down on all ye who enter, but... Nah, it's just it's not the most inviting thing in the world, I guess. I think he'll get the memo eventually. Hopefully one day he learns from his actions. Can I, like, destroy this? How do you get that? Go around? This feels like there's a lesson here in how to get this body. Oh, it's like a little platform. Ooh, I think I see, actually. I theorize. Wait, how do you get up there, though? It looks like there's a platform there that you could fall down there from. How would you even get out from there once you get inside of there? Oh, well, I'm not smart enough to figure this out right now. Hickory Dory. Oh, body, soul, for me. I just want to destroy the barrel. I need that satisfaction, at least. I wonder if that'd be destroyable in some way. Hmm. Sometimes you gotta ponder these things. Also ponder. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I had to see him roll, made me laugh a little bit. Let's see what's. I. Like, of course I see it. <laughs> Wasn't the worst fairy, not the best fairy. Shiny. Hmm. 
You can throw those all day if you want to, sir. I wouldn't advise it, though. Eat more grass. I'm gonna run out of grass. <laughs> Okay, so this is inside this place, which I have a drop-off spot here. Is that mechanism tied to something? What does that mean? I see it. I did not mean any grass right then. There's, that mechanism has to be really like it has to be, but I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. I rest the wrong button in the means of figuring it out, and I'm definitely almost out of grass, but hey, I've wasted a few grasses like that already. I'll first get this body. Half moon grass. Okay. Destroy all this. That mechanism right there it looks like a like a little lever thing. 100% this tide tower I'm supposed to open this. Like it has to be. But I don't know. How do I interact with the thing? <laughs> it looks like a thing. It definitely looks like a thing. Now, is it a thing? I don't know. I'm blind as hell on this. But it definitely looks like a thing. back about... Do you have anything on you? Unless oh, it's your shiny helmet. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I could just move on to there. But I kind of want to see... Okay. Is that just supposed to be a torch light? I think it's supposed to be a torch light. There's no torch on it. Does that mean I light this on fire and it opens up? Do I do like a really tricky maneuver. Nope. Cannot roll in the air. Confirm that just now. I guess maybe that's just there to tempt me. Like, maybe you're supposed to set it on fire, but I don't got nothing. To I used all my fire bombs earlier. I've got nothing to set that thing on fire with. Do I like destroying these things? I actually pressed the wrong button again. That's my fault. I feel stupid. Hey. Switch my stance. Well didn't kill me at least. Also answer that question for me. Ooh, a bastard sword. I was about to get out of the way, but I didn't do it in time. If I hit this, will something happen? Will I roll? Nope. Okay. I feel like half moon grass probably does like half your health, but I'm not really sure. I should probably look at my inventory. In fact, I got a new item. Let's take a little bit of inventory looking. For my equipment, or I guess inventory, let's look at the deeper dialogue stuff. Half moon grass. Recovers some of the user's hit points, a large amount, so yeah, late half. I'll be playing for several hours, I predict. I'm going for a while. Actual winding. How is the Bastard Sword? It does, it's stronger than my current sword, but it's also a lot heavier. Durability is good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of comparing and contrasting. Guard break reduction is down. Damage reduction, okay. Uh, stats needed. Do I meet all those stats? I hope you sleep well there, Holly. I'm not gonna use it yet, but I do have it. Uh, how's my... Right, okay, so it's just uh, things. How's my stance doing? Like, my, uh, carrying status. How many items am I carrying? No, I'm not even close to carrying enough items to fucking be a problem. So I'm okay. I definitely see the enemy up there that pushed the boulder. At least you'd answer to me how I can even open that. Did it too late. Silly old me. Okay, okay. Did I hear footsteps? Is the enemy 
following my footsteps? Peekaboo. Fuck. You're like the last they want to see me. A little bow and arrow trickery. Well, I'm gonna eat grass. There goes all that, I suppose. Half moon grass. More of that. I'm still only at half health. One day I'll figure that out. Hmm. Now I'll destroy a bunch of shit. Because it's a way to take out my aggression to an inanimate object. I actually don't feel that aggressive right now. It's just I also decided I was wanting to destroy all the items. That's the reason I came to this kingdom. That plank was just moving. I know it's just because it was a physics object. But I can tell that sword's kind of like, or spear's kind of like dancing. Don't mind me, I'm just moving through the trolleys. I'm not gonna see what's over here, now I saw what was over there. Well, that's a fog gate. I'll clear the way to you. You're one of the enemies that was in the tutorial. You look scary, but honestly, you weren't that bad when I fought you. I'll try parry. I tried parry, it didn't work that well. It did kill it though. Blue grass. I'll eat one. Now it's more health than I need, but I'll take it. That was definitely a fog gate, but I'll not mess with that right now. I've got more places I want to explore. I don't know how you return back to the Nexus with your souls. Do I go all the way back to that orc stone at the very beginning? It makes me feel like you should get to a shortcut before, but I could just run all the way back, I suppose. I should have checked this room with her. Dangerous. Oh, more firebombs. <laughs> that's my only distance attack right now, so I guess that's good. I guess I'm hitting this thing. Never know when they're going to be hiding their little dirty little secrets inside those things. Wayne or firebomb throwing guys and saying, oh hey, look, oh yep, yep, yep. I called that one a little bit. Did they hurt themselves? Did they kill themselves? What happened there, dudes? Did the same thing happen if I let them do it again? <gasps> that was almost death for me. But it was death for him, so I guess that's good. I'm checking the other side of this barrier. I'm not checking that fog gate yet. I don't trust it. I do not trust fog gates at this point in time. Part of me wants to return back because I don't know if I can put souls away. Can, you still, can that guy who carries items hold my souls for me? Here, sir, please hold my souls. I don't know if you can or can't. I'm gonna check this other way, though. I'm gonna kinda go a little bit, I'm gonna play a little bit of patty cake, back and forth and all that. Nothing I can sense over there. Nothing I can sense over here. Anybody hiding in here, ready to ambush me the moment I step inside, foot in this place? Seem to be at the very least. Oh my man, I'm destroying your nice dining hall. Well, that's intimidating. Well, this is all... God, he looks like the blue guys, but he's red, which means he's probably not the same. The way he's positioned here gives him an air of menace.
Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. He was bad news. So I could have actually taken him out, and I could still get my soul. He definitely had an air of menace, though. He had the air of, no, I don't want to fuck with him. I should have actually started throwing firebombs faster now that I realized the mistakes there were. Now, I don't want to lose those souls, so I don't want to die again. Um, I'll definitely try my best to get back there without dying again. I feel like I can, because like, I still pretty much remember most of the things. The two guys are going to pop up here. I'm going to have a bit difficulty this time. Practice my parrying. I'm in the middle of my animation, sir. I have invincibility frames on doing that, I think. I don't want to lose 1,200 souls. I don't know what they're worth yet, but that sounds like an okay amount for this early in the game. <laughs> Thankfully, I've stepped back a little bit, so once I uh, pick them up, I can just run from the guy. Or firebomb it up. Soldiers... what? Soldiers Lotus. I'll keep on half the grass, but that's my right now, really. I could have hit them, I was thinking of it. One of them usually drops an item, but neither of them did this time. Maybe it was the third guy that comes downstairs usually. So yeah, it's you, my friend. Come on, come on. No practice parrying with you. I messed up. That was on me. Sirs, 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 one at a time, please. I want to parry against you. I miss it. That's how I parry. That's the secret technique. The secret sauce. Oh, you had some of them. Did you have regular? Nope. Well, this is it for me then. Now, I've parried against you every single time. But I failed this time. Actually, I think I failed last time. Come on, come on. Nah, I fucked up there. I'm getting worse at carrying maybe over time. To get the timing down again, which means some more practice towards that. Time for my favorite room. It's not my favorite room. I don't know what you have to do. I want to lock on. I tried to roll to the side, but I actually rolled backwards. I'll eat some grass just because that's kind of dangerous. I'm like over the grass. I should have just used my shield, honestly. Oh, that's an enemy! <laughs> One last parry attempt for now. A silly guy. Now you have to poke our head through here and hope this guy goes. Ooh, 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 ooh. I want to practice parrying against you too. Come on, come on. Not precisely. That wasn't perfect. You, you're my last parry guess or chance. Got the big boys up here. Why don't you go in their big boy armor pants? Hi, sirs. It's just your local girl going down the stairs. Don't mind me. 
I know one of you have fire bombs. I've seen these. Like, oh boy. Oh, I'm fumbling this. I mean, I fumbled it correctly, but I was still fumbling that one. More fire bombs. Yeah, I'll take that. I don't. I I won that, but it wasn't a good feeling win. It was a fumbling. I know you want to go for fire bombs because you guys are dweebs. Dweebs that love fire bombs. Because only fire bomb lovers are dweebs. That's what I'm trying to say. I know you're up there on your high horse being like, oh, I've got fire bombs. Look how bad I am at aiming. I'm actually almost back to where I was. So I go up here, firebomb throw, firebomb, he decides to say in his little tome. I've got a few firebombs. We go closer. I, I wasted a few firebombs there, but I don't know what he was trying to do there. So if I hit them once, they'll fucking walk off the platform. That's my point. Oh, this is too far. I threw it too soon. Wasn't the optimal fighting position, but I guess I did it. Recklessly. Fuck. Somebody was attacking there, I don't really know who. Oh. Oh. There's some shit going down I'm missing. I think they'll push back the barrel or the old, yeah, that thing, because it's right there now again. I'm gonna try parrying you. through the door. It didn't go exactly as I thought. There's two enemies through here. Yeah, the first one. You got an item on you. Sir behind you just wants to play peekaboo. Why are you almost dead? Oh, you're the guy I was hitting earlier. That's why. Oh, you get escape morning grass. I prefer that. Actually, is that not equipped for me? If I've been picking up morning grass, I just haven't had it equipped. Get rid of this. Replace it with crescent grass. Also, what is the fucking lotus thing? I actually have no idea what that is. Heals users bleeding. Oh, if I'm bleeding. I don't know when I'm bleeding, but okay. I'll keep that in mind if I feel like I'm bleeding. Eat grass. Okay, so now I need to be careful because they're probably going to push another fucking stone at me. Or not. The stone was a one-time thing. Parry. I did not parry. In fact, that was the very opposite of parrying. Okay, don't die before I get my souls back. I can die once I get my souls back. Bone arrow guy over there. I remember him. Gonna go this way. Trying to get my souls back. Long distance range. He's got a spear and a funny top hat. Coming in for the kill. Up top. 
Why did you put my souls way over there? I can't get that. Not without a lot of fire bombs. <laughs> now I got none. Maybe I haven't got some fire bombs. I don't actually know that. No, I got none. I'm not kicking that thing's ass. But I want my souls. Oh dear me, oh dear me. There's only a few ways this is going down, and most of them involve me dying. Why'd they have to go all the way over there? Because that guy's fast. Eat grass. Okay. So, in this scenario, I am going to probably try to run best I can to that. And it's probably going to kill me before I get them. And I'm going to lose 1,600 souls until 1,200, which are there, and 400 which are here, because I'm not going to be able to get back to this in time. I could try to defeat the enemy. Actually, wait a sec. That gives me an idea. Okay, okay. But to do the idea I'm thinking, okay. I've got a clever idea in my old noggin. I don't know how well it's going to work. It's got to depend a lot on how fast this guy is. I think he's faster than me, which is going to probably make this idea fail. But I need to clear the path out a little bit before I do what I'm thinking. You're no problem. Come up here, sir. I was hoping to defend you, but I did it. Okay, okay. I'm gonna dive to this fuck. Okay, at least I can say my souls are gone. I was stupid. I should have parried and guarded correctly, but I didn't. Oh well, at least that doesn't mean I didn't lose my souls to the other guy. I still have a strategy to take care of that guy, though. Okay, okay. I think I know what I'm going to do to take care of that guy so I go that direction. First, I should take the path to the left. Here, sir. There's also the guy over there coming. I triggered all three at once. That wasn't exactly my intent, but I'll do it. Then we the guard. Double sword stance, I'll explain that actually. Try to practice my parry. Get my parry practice. Not precisely, that wasn't it. Okay. Just practicing with things, eating grass. Picking up an item over here, it was grass. <laughs> I don't know when that gate opens, I really don't. I know, it's the repetition of learning the process as it goes. Come on, sirs, we know you're behind the gates. I guess I could probably park, like, run past most of these guys. Oh, oh no, I'm getting grass, sir! Well, that was a waste of grass. I'm getting sloppier. I'm noticing that. There's one of me over there, and then one that's back here. You came faster than me. Grass. I'm gonna practice parrying on you. Okay. Take the shiny grass. I don't know how you get through there yet. There's probably a way, but I haven't figured it out. Now we deal with my favorite room, just because it takes a little bit. The parallel room. That attract the bone arrow enemy. Voila. Wait 
for them. I'm going to do some parry practice with them. I'm still trying to get good at it. Wasn't exactly the result I was going for, but they've also gone a lot worse. Easy peasy. <laughs> I still, yeah, I, I'm still amused by flipping out corpses, I guess. Peekaboo. You're my parry practice for today. Step on up to a good old parry practice. You got this, Ada Bean, Ada Boom. Parry practice from me to you. He's dead. Your turn. Step right on up. I'm practicing parrying. I feel like I need to practice it to probably get a little bit better at the game. You're next. Do you want to be parried? I didn't do it perfectly there, so you were lucky, dear sir. Eat some grass. I've eaten so much grass. Peekaboo. I said peekaboo. <laughs> peekaboo. Peekaboo. Okay, there we go. Oh boy. I want to practice parrying with you, sir, as long as you don't throw firebombs. If you throw firebombs, then I probably don't want to practice with you. I got two of them. Maybe back to one. Could have done a lot better. Could have done a lot worse. Where are you going to give me? Firebombs. Okay. I'm almost out of my good old healing. I've been too reliant on this. I've been learning the basics of the game. I would say I'm not doing that great. But hey, it is also my first Souls game. I'm learning. There goes one guy down the cliff. You know, I'm actually a little bit suspicious about it. No, no, it's on the same level. I, 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 what the? Come on, come on, eat grass, eat grass. I guess I'm focusing on you first. I was hoping that isn't what you were gonna do, but it is what you did, so I guess that's fair? So this guy up here decides to throw in firebombs. It's about the best damn thing he could have ever done with his life. Okay. Well, that was an exchange of blows. Not exactly the best trade-off, if I can be honest with you. He'll get killed by that, though. Do I have no fire? I do have a healing item, but it's not the desirable one I would like to use at this point. But then again, what a choice do I have? Being Mr. Newbie Noob over here. I mean, that's all I got. Oh, this is gonna feel like a waste. But I'll do my best. That's all I can do. Come on, sir. Please, I'm just a just a little noob. Come on, you and the guy. <laughs> Standing in front of you, holding a sword and a shield. And probably part of your opposing enemy's forces. You wouldn't hit a guy like that, would you? Hey. I'm doing A-OK. -okay, and I'm happy you remember that. Turpentine. I don't know what that is. Turpentine. Let's see, this is inventory stuff. Turpentine. Natural leaves and collected from a pine tree. Apply it to the right hand weapon to recover and fit the fire. To cover and fire. Cannot be applied to wooden weapons. I see. That's very interesting. Let me do a couple things here. No, that's not what I meant by a couple things. 
I use my grindstone. Okay, so first I'm going to use this. Because I'm doing a little bit of a thing here. I don't know how long this is going to last, but I'll do it. Give it a try at the very least. And of course get Please oh please oh please oh please not throw another firebomb at me. Well, that's my life. I That probably takes you back to the Nexus, I would imagine. Actually, let me test that theory. What will this do if I track with it? Yep, return to the Nexus? No. I should have ran back when I had 1,200 souls. But whatever, I didn't. Live and learn, I suppose. Let's go track the two enemies. One to the left, one to the right. Come on, I want to practice parrying and stuff. Try and get the timing back. I bet. Yep, Reed is the enemy. I'm learning. This is my first Souls game. So I started the first one. I thought it made sense. Moongrass? I definitely do need that. I guess on the bright side, I didn't waste any of my big really bad last time. I also got more turtles, I guess. I don't have much right now. I'm very, very meager in my supplies. But I'm going for it. That's definitely what I'm doing. Okay. Got that guy over there. He's gonna go do the bean by the bean. I'm gonna practice pairing with you again. If you'll just come and say hi. I feel like I'm getting the timing for pairing again. I, I had the timing off earlier, but I feel like I'm getting better at it. Probably because I pulled it off three times when I intended to go. Let's see if I can keep up the trend. So, dude, that's kind of fucked up. They're just kind of pushing the, your buddy around with your feet. I'm not going to judge you, but you do you, I suppose, but... Alright, you're next up on my hit list. I guess you both are now on my hit list. Practicing! Come on, I'm still practicing parry. I feel like I'm learning this okay. No. <laughs> Sorry, you don't want to do that with your core body. Of course. Ooh, I got a new type of shield too. They're being a little bit merciful on me because I've had some difficulty, I think. But I'm still learning, I'm still learning. these things go? how these things go? Moving on up. And that means I'm gonna still try and practice hell the fun. Running around the corner of a tree. Oh, an arrow guy wants to get some difficulties. I just want to trigger the one enemy. Sirs? My fault, sir. I want to lock on to you. Okay. Still practicing the parrying. Come on, sir. I'm still practicing. I messed up the attack, but I did the parry attack. That was a longer attack. Nope, I did not. Was that floor ever not... Like, wait, wait, wait. When I came in, the floor was already destroyed. It was kind of obvious don't walk into that. I think maybe an enemy walked into it. I did not fall into that hole. Actually. Ooh, 
If you mean that hole, I have definitely not fallen down that way. The wreck I have died here several times. I died to the Red Knight at the end, and then I was like, oh, I knew that guy was bad news. They were framing him weirdly. I thought about going down, but I decided it seemed like a foolish idea. Wow. Come on, come on. I think I'm gonna get the timing for this down. I think all my practice is paying off. I mean, I got it technically. Eat grass. I don't know what the story about. Oh, more grass. Thank you, I actually need grass very badly. <laughs> that would explain out of context. It wasn't exactly a parry, but it wasn't the worst thing I got either. Come on, I need to practice parrying with you guys. Gotta move up, up in the world. This guy's gonna try and throw a fire bomb. He got me with it. Usually I get there extremely the time. This was not one of those times. Okay, you're next on my hit list. And then you've got you, who's also got fire. Fuck, I was gonna try to get out of your way in time. Fuck that up. Firebomb, firebomb, only got one. Eat grass. I fall down the hole, this is an idiot. Alright, I'm gonna use this and make my weapon go on fire. Over here, my weapon's shiny. Got all the shinies from there? I think I got all the shinies from there. Also, I got two things of grass, which is great, actually. I don't know if the fire sword lasts forever if it's on a time limit, so I'm just gonna try and take advantage of it. I, can. I guess eat grass because I've got the small grass right now. There's these two enemies around the bend. Again, I don't know if this fire lasts forever until I die or if it's a time limit thing. Oh, it's definitely a time limit thing. I would have saved it if I knew that, but I guess it helped me through those last few corridors. That's not the worst thing in the world. You can practice pairing with these guys. Fuck! Oh, oh more grass? I mean, I'm not gonna complain about grass. <laughs> There's a bow and arrow enemy up behind me. Voila! <laughs> There almost got me. I don't want to go in this way. Because I know I'm not going to go face the guy. I guess I just want to face the for some reason. Collect, oh, collect their souls. I don't have to fight spear enemies yet. Evidently not. Please don't throw a bow and arrow while I'm fucking eating. I should have hidden behind this before I had a chance to. I don't really know why I came this way. I haven't mastered the spear enemies yet. I am definitely have not mastered who the fuck that guy is over there. I'm not ready for him. I'll go this way for now. Moving on out this way. Checking out the other way. I'm gonna eat some grass. Eat some grass. These blue guys sometimes are easy and sometimes are hard for me. 
I died to one now. Most of the time, I kind of just demolish them. I'm going to try and parry him. Or not, because he's being kind of stupid. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. That was almost a fuck up on my side. Come down here for a chill, so. That was I almost fell off the stairs like an idiot. Eat grass. Oh, I put myself in this corner. Well, we both died. I guess this guy counts for something. I did get my souls back, so it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. And I guess that technically means I'm mining souls. I'm also losing items in this process. So that's not really a good trade-off. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my souls, then I'm going to run back here. I'm going to see what I can buy with my souls. I've determined that. I know it's going to make the enemies respawn. I've already fought this one time, so it's really whatever at this point. I am sucking terribly at this first fight because I got a little impatience when I take care of it. Alright, so there's the guy that's gonna come. Parry him. But I messed up the parry. Racked us back on the parry rooms. I had it last time. Did I just die? Really? Okay, well, I lost my soul, so that doesn't really matter. I was being reckless, and that was my fault. I'm sucking terribly, and that is my fault. We got the enemy over there, over there, over there. There's another one. There's two behind the barrier over there. Come here, sir, to the circus show. I'll show you a good time and parry you, I guess. Maybe if I can, if I can pull it off, I guess, because now it's not like my time is terrible. Enough. Last time. Because I got a little bit on the angry side, need to keep into a zen state of mind. Hmm. So the guy comes from over there. He says hi. What a fine day it is, sir. No shinies on there, right? I do need grass badly. I cannot believe that none of these guys are really so I can't use it yet, but I got it. Come here, sir. There's two sirs in the back coming on their way down here. I'm gonna practice that parry. Further, I'm still practicing parrying, sir. Come here and be my test up. Mass that one up. Now I eat grass. Alright, so my soul reserves are gonna be like shit over this first one because I've lost a lot of souls during the process of practice. Come on, come on. Here, hello, sir. How much practice can I get in on parrying against the normal, regular zombie enemies? Let's find out. That's a two combo. I want to see if I can keep this parry combo going. Do you have anything? I mean, no, you did not. Come on down, sir, to the parade of parry. That's a three combo. Three is where the combo really begins. Many people say you can do it once, you can do it twice, lucky times. But third time takes a little skill. Just a little bit, though. Try it 
trigger the enemies because they're silly gooses that want to die. Trigger on at least one of them. It fucked itself over, really. That was nothing that could be done. I just parried. <laughs> that was a little bit hard to read, if I can be honest with you. I did that too soon. Well, that's okay. Could have gone a lot worse. That's definitely true. Alright, sir. It's just you and me and your bow and arrow. I've come to know those bow and arrows plenty of times throughout my life. And I thought I'd miss. Frankly, that was a lucky hit, sir. I, I, if I were in your shoes, I'd feel pretty pissed off that I didn't even face you directly when I did that. Hi. You know we saw each other. I loved you since the one locked eyes with you. That wasn't really a parry, but hey. I'll do one more against you, sir. And then I need to heal. So by the fact that I use my good healing items. I'm trying to hold on to these, but... When if, I, if a man's gonna die, a man's gonna die if he doesn't heal. So let me waste this. Oop. I'll get more grass when I get back. Still learning the time. Are you going to regular grass? That's good, at least. Not going to use it yet, though. At least I'm going to try not to use it yet. Day in the hood. Firebomb attempt. They came right for my life. They were out for blood. Oh. Sir, would you like me to do some parry practice on you? <laughs> Wasn't exactly great practice, but hey. Okay, moving on up in the world. I have stuff I need to see. Come over here, you're next on to my fire. I was going to hopefully avoid that. Poor you. <laughs> I say as I clean them up into the air. He's gonna throw the firebomb at me, is it you? Nope, not enough time to, I guess. Give me the silly goose throwing firebombs behind me. I don't want to waste my only grass like that, so try not to get by the fucking firebomb guy. Now we're back here. Guess what? We turn a corner, and there's a guy. Okay, I'm gonna have to get my grass out of this. Had a bad day, eating some grass, nomming it up like it's nobody else's. I still need to learn parrying against you guys. I still haven't mastered it. I didn't saw you trying to go for that firebomb. Run on back down here. I fucked up that parry so bad. I took this run up there with this baby health. Wasting all my healing items, but that's okay. I mean, it's not, but it is. Coming towards a theater near you. Murder. I don't know why I'm attacking. Well, let me take care of them. Oh, well, I guess that's why now that I've got their targets on me. Let me 
Wow. Look at all those <laughs> souls. Okay, okay. Here's the part where I usually die to the guy in the blue armor. What do I want to try and do here? Not get myself cornered like I did last time. I definitely summoned him. I looked at him funny. Okay, so I'm learning a little more about them than I found a few times. That's why I've had such easy times and hard times with them both. I'm starting to figure it out. Okay. Half moon grass. I could just walk that fog gate right now. That'd probably be the easiest thing. But I'm gonna check over here first, because I haven't really done that fully. I think my first grand mistake was going backwards when I got to this point. I think that's where all of it started going downhill for me, <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest with you. something special? So you can try throwing fire, but I don't really think you'll make it from here. I think those were explosive barrels in the way, and that's what that was trying to warn me about when those enemies get destroyed by it. That was just a miscalculation on your part, sir. Yeah, red barrels exploded and killed them, that's what happened. Well, this is my first time being all the way over here, so that's new territory at least. Is that not a suspicious looking wall? Am I crazy? I guess I'm just crazy. Not really know what I expect to find. Like, whatever this is, I don't really know what I... Do I just hit this? I don't really know what hitting those did, but I did definitely hit those things. That is definitely where I came from, so does that mean something opened? I don't know. I'll continue downward this way. I guess it's not a special wall, now I sort of see that corner piece that kind of looks like corner pieces now to me. Oh, I didn't even see that. We're gonna have some tricky spots here. Don't attack again, or else I'm fucking. Yeah, I'm gonna have his fate. It's not the ideal fate, I would say. I don't want to get killed to one of these fuckers. <laughs> Not when I've come so far. Oh, explosives. Stop fucking on to him. I was trying to step out of the way. Maybe I should do more of a defensive maneuver with that. What do you have for me? Slide, slave shield? Sure. I definitely do see we have to be careful because they're next to explosive barrels. Now I understand those are explosive barrels. Ooh, press the moon grass. I'll eat some of that. <laughs> and this was a shortcut that would have saved me so much time before, isn't it? I hit it. Do I interact with it? Oh, there we go, I do like this. And this opens up back to the main area, right? Yep. Yep, I recognize this thing. It's the cleanery. Oh, hey. Old ragged rose, old ragged spice. Jade hair ornament. Where'd those things all come from? 
That's a very good question. Okay, so I don't know why there was new enemies that fell from, I guess, up there with these fancy new items, but let's see what we got. Equipment, shield, slave shield. Obviously, this shield is better than the slave shield. It's not actually that much better. Okay. Bastard sword has more damage, but it's a little bit slower. Falchion is what I'm using. Rapier, mail breaker, slave shield. I got a ring thing, which I feel like is for this. Yep. Lose less hit points when in soul form. I mean, that would be nice, yes. No helmet. Ragged old robes. Surprise, that's weaker than what I currently have. Actually, no, not weaker everywhere. It's got a little bit better blunt defense. A little bit better magical defense, but pretty much worse everything else. It's a little less weighty, I guess. Ragged old gloves. Well, this is better than no gloves. Ragged old boots. Those just seem worse across the board, except that outside of weight. So I'm actually going to return back to the fucking zone. Might as well. I've got some souls to do something or another with. I can sell some stuff, store some stuff, whatever else. Then I know the enemies respawn, but I've already had them respawn to me like several several different times because I've done sort of terribly in this first game area. But hey, I'm getting to that Soulsborn groove. Let's go all the way back here. I assume this is a little bit faster, but uses up stamina. I will return to the Nexus. It's my first time returning there. Sage Freck, the Visionary. Hello, fancy little man. Do any of you have something to say? You came for demon souls? Uh, we're welcome here. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing, same dealio. I'll sell with it's you It's simple. And trade with your souls. So you won't let me sell you weapons, but you'll repair and let me buy things. I might need to buy a lot of grass. <laughs> Dagger, da, 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 da. I can buy the bow stuff. I'll probably just buy grass. I'll buy four, five, I'll buy five grass. That's all I'm doing right now. Voila. You come back alive. I need your business. I need your grass. You let me store I stuff. I would be happy. Okay. Deposit item. Now I'm assuming you don't let me use my souls. Yeah, you don't let me use my souls. That's what I kind of figured. Jade hair ornament. Single jade hair ornament. Let me see what that's for in a little bit. A nexus binding. Can't get rid of it. Grindstone? I'm not really going to use that right now. Let me get rid of that. Okay, put that away. Old spice cover a large amount of uses magic points. I don't even got magic, so you know, I don't know what I'm going to do about that right now. You can take it. I don't know when bleeding occurs. Let me put away late moon grass. I kinda don't want to rely on it. I want to save it in case I need it for something. Okay, so I got a lot of stuff. Um da 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 clean green, old ragged robes. I mean I guess if I need them. Old ragged boots, I mean I guess if I need them. Hard leather boots, da, 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 broken sword. Why do I need this broken sword? I don't need it. Rest assured, your best of luck. Deposit items, let's see. Slave shield. I'll keep one slave shield in case I need it, but I'll put the other one away for now. I've got mail breaker, I've got a few swords actually. Best of luck to you. I'll keep my swords for the moment just so I can sort of practice and see how things roll with me. Good enough for me, let's go on back. Yes, I will go there to the warp to the selected area. Okay. Now I'm going to have to fight all the enemies on the way back because, of course, I am. I'm going to spawn to the left and to the right. There 
There they are. Still practicing my parry. Do you let me parry on these deer, sir? I would have parried if I was just a little bit closer. But now that's fine. No goodies on them, though. Alright. I'm gonna run through here. I haven't opened up that secret passageway. I've only opened up the secret passageway in front of me. Hi, sir. Come here. Come here. Come one, come all. It's a show berry. You got this. You got this. Easy peasy. You two, they're behind the barricade. Sometimes you're fast, sometimes you're slow. Which is it now? I could have hit you guys. Now you're doing it. Now I feel like it's gonna be a waste for me to try and do it. Parry it up, old laddies. I was trying to step out. Why did I get my health back? Did I get my heart, my whatever back? Why do I have more health? What the fuck? Oh, it's because of the ring. Nice. Oh, you guys are on a little show, right? Come on. I get more grass? Well, that's pretty cool. So I got like a jaded ornament? I don't know where you would put that. It's like here? It's just an item? Is it consumable? It's one of these. It's not one of those. Clean ring. Hard leather boots. I guess I should just look at my inventory and figure out what it is. What is this jade ornament? Sell jade ornament. Could it belong to a poor little girl? So it's for a side quest. Okay. That makes sense. I thought it was like a better deal. Still practicing my parry. I think I'm getting pretty okay at it. At least it used to be any of these. Just watching. Voila. Another one bites the dust. I'm going up here. There's an enemy over here. An enemy over there. I think you. No, that one already came out. Alright. Sir, thank you very much. You up there, you're next in line for the Perry Parade. Wow! Bird Rose Seats. Now, I did open up this passageway, so let's see what we got going on here. Of course, these guys. Wanna throw a firebomb and blow yourselves up? That'd be kind of helpful. I messed up the parry parade. It's okay, it's a passageway. Oh, I fucked up really bad. Grass. Look at all this relentless murder. I want to make sure I don't set off those explosive barrels. I don't trust fire next to explosive barrels. I know that's a little bit of a suspicious thing to say, but... Climbing back up where I once came from. There should be a few enemies to give me a little bit of... Oh, there's one of them. There he goes. He's actually still okay. Should I go after him? Ah, he'll find his way eventually. Oh, I'm so lucky. So 
still down there? I think he's still down there. Oh, this is what dropped the bodies, wasn't it? With all the fancy new stuff I got from them. That's not gonna go well for you. Actually, could've gone a lot worse for you. That was definitely not your worst movie you could've made. I might even say it might make you help live, make you live another day. Those in the way. Oh, here I go. Okay, so this led to a gateway back. So I have to go through the fog gate. That or I fight the red armored enemy. I guess theoretically I could, but I don't think I'm ready for that yet. You know what? This is actually a good place for you. Follow me, sir. I think I know where I want us to fight. <laughs> That's a, what is going on? Is someone throwing fire? Oh, can you just destroy them without fire and they won't explode? Well, that answers a few questions of mine. I took a little bit of health off. Honestly, it was not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I was hoping. That's kind of my strategy with the Red Spear guy, by the way. All the same. Let's move on over this way. I'll take the Fog Gate. Sure. I don't really know what I expected, but I'm here. Ooh, I'm inside someplace. Bunch of explosive barrels. Ah. Yeah, I know. You're fine. I'm gonna try and parry you. Uh, if you try to fire me, sir. I'm gonna keep on trying to. Oh, you're not dead, dead? I thought you were. I didn't see your health bar. I thought I did enough to damage you, but I guess I didn't. Stuff it right in my face. I like this hallway for some reason. I'm gonna prep Harry practice against you. Didn't do it great. Could have been a lot worse though. <laughs> Dear sir, that was some trickery you tried pulling there. I thought for sure there was gonna be a trap. Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Sure. Mostly stolen, but who's telling you? That's fair. What you selling? Oh, crescent moon grass for cheaper than the guy. Yeah, it's like a fifty cheaper. Good sells. Longsword, club, short sphere, light crossbow, wood shield. You got some stuff. You definitely got some stuff. 
Plate helmets. I'll come back to you. Go ahead, take your time. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> not a bad shopkeeper. Hello. I want to talk with you. Be a brave knight or depraved slave. The demons will snatch your soul and you'll go mad. And those who dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of Great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> There's this skinny fella, clad in fabulous armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. He's another one who's managed to stay sane like yourself. Probably some pampered son by the looks of his attire. I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his shirt. Anything hey, else you want to talk about? It is the end of Great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't nope. send us to our deaths Same in dialogue. battle. <laughs> okay, okay. Just gonna destroy the tableware. It's not trying to hit you, sir. Know that. Yep, seems fine. Back out the way we go. I'll remember if I need to buy some more grass that he's the one that's presented in such a very cheap, affordable price. To the left, to the right. Nope, everything seems okay. This doesn't seem like a trap. I think that'd be safe to land on. I think that would hurt me. I mean, it looks safe. I'm not gonna lose a whole lot if I die here. I'll try it. Oh, it was safe. Oh. Okay, let's see. We got some things that we want to check. I kind of fell down here just because I was curious if I could, and the answer was yes. I see a bow and arrow guy. I'll come back to you. I just want to destroy these things first. I'm just getting a feel for the lay of the land. Don't mind me. You can't destroy huge one structures, but little one structures, they blow up in an iffy pissy smithy. Somebody alerted. Oh, I alerted two guys. That would make some sense. I saw that firebomb coming out, I was like, oh no, oh no, not the firebombs. That's okay though, they gave me grass to eat. What am I, a cow? Jack into the left, jack into the right. That's a bunch of enemies. Well, that is a bunch of enemies. Ooh, doo -doo. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. I'm gonna go over this way for now. This stuff. Nope, or even destroyed, I guess. They are not destroyed at all. Do I interrupt their party? I guess I first see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's something over there. I only just noticed. For some reason, I thought it was a lantern at first, but it did stick out a little bit. A Schmetar. I accidentally grasped. Oh, no, I switched my position. That's okay. Inventory for my equipment. I guess inventory is the better thing to see items, though. Go over to the swords. How does this go against without my default weapon? It's honestly about the same. Let's see. Currently, I've mostly been using the falchion. My durability is getting a little bit lower, though. So that has a little bit more damage, but not a whole lot. The durability is obviously higher. It's a little bit less weight. Not a bad replacement for it, though. It will do just a teensy to be a little bit less damage. I'll take care of this enemy over here before I take all of his enemies sort of like hiding over there, having a little party. Though this looks like a place that could house several enemies hiding on the sides. And that makes me a little bit anxious. Hello? 
You know, I don't really trust enemies standing at the end of long corridors. Should I be intimidated by you? I can't really tell what you are from here. You have an axe. You look kind of tall, dark, and handsome, but I can't really tell too much from there. Don't mind me. Yeah, I'm having fun. I'm just going to ignore that guy. I'm gonna sweet talk this over here. He's watching me, but he's not doing anything about it. Uh, don't mind me. This is not an offense. I'm just attacking this chair. Of course, that sent him off. Are you just a regular soldier? I mean, I hope you are. No, he's just a regular soldier. I kind of expect a little bit more than that, if I'm going to be honest with you. Inventory. Da, 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 da. No, I want my inventory. I want to consume the guy's soul. Mmm. Delectable, delectable souls. How are you enjoying Elden Ring, for the record, huh? Sir, you don't see me through the window. I'm just here having a good time. What was that? Destroying a barrier? Oh yeah. Okay, I see what this is. That makes sense. I hope you had fun with Manas with friends. Sir. There's a lot of enemies around me. I'll figure it out though, I'm sure. Try and slowly poke my head out because there's definitely enemies throwing stuff and stuff over here. Yeah, if I could just trigger one of you guys at a time, that'd be appreciative. This little small corridor for them is not the best thought, though. I didn't carry success over there. Ooh, more grass. Won't complain about that. Try and parry from here. There we go. Let me get back to the parrying spirit. Oh, wait, is there a bone arrow guy just hiding up there? Of oh, fucking course there is. I'm gonna run back here. There's another area full of the basic, normal... I don't want to call them zombies. I think they're supposed to be slaves, because they got, like, slave shields, slave boots, other things. All the fashionable accessories that a slave could want. Um, but there's, they usually drop stuff like that, so that's why I assume they are. But they kind of, like, look like... Oh, that's one arrow enemy. Alright. And you with the arrow, you're next. Eating. Don't mind me. <laughs> Good luck with work there, Joe. Ooh, shiny. Unknown hero soul. I'll eat it all the same. If you give me a soul, I'm gonna eat it. Nom, 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 nom. I'm starting to get back up on the souls chart. That does mean I should probably think about getting back to the Nexus to spend those souls. I guess there's a the guy upstairs that could just... How do I get back upstairs? I kind of jumped down here without knowing how you... Okay, I'm going to try. Anything hidden in the stalls? Doesn't seem like it. Are these like test dummies? <laughs> so... Hey guys! Don't mind me, I didn't see a bajillion of you down there. We just did one at a time. Oh, don't. You jumped out. You jumped. I wasn't really expecting that from that distance, I guess. Not a bad move, though. Not, definitely not a bad move. Um. Who's next? I guess I could. Th do I have a firebomb? Do I have a firebomb? Nope. Well, this is gonna be great. 
Hey boys, what's up down there? Yeah, yeah you can just you, you can look, but don't touch. Uh. All right, all right. Only only a couple of you. That's I guess that's better than the whole crowd at once. I remember that. Let me let me see if I can do some parries off in here. I want to be impressive. I want to show off. Come on. I mean, I, I crap did it. That was not me showing off. No. <laughs> that was, in fact, quite the opposite. Oh, you dropped something? You dropped grass. I mean, you can't say I don't touch grass, I guess. Eat that. Alright, that's two down. Two X from the crew. Is it you? If, if, if I... If, what if I swing? Oh, I ate grass. That was, that was a waste. Oh, that was the wrong button. There we go. I was hoping that would set one of you off, not all of you off. Just one at a time, please. Don't worry, they're scurrying. He's scurrying. Come on, come on. We got this. I'm going to just do a little spin dance. Can I practice parrying? What attack are you coming at me with? A stab, it looks like. Yep. I just want to practice that some more. Well, that's two down. Uh, maybe I, I think I can take care of the rest of you now. It's only like, what, four of you? I mean, if only one of you wants to come first, I'm not going to complain. Easy peasy. Oh, you gave something too. You gave more grass. Can't complain about that. I fail. Oh, that was that was a failure on my part, honestly. Well, you destroyed them. That's the bright side. Good work, you. I destroy them? They, they, they are explosive, but I don't think swords, at least when they destroy them with swords, doesn't destroy them. Okay, more grass. I think there's one more. I, 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 I accidentally somehow took This is not what I wanted to do at all. I'm happy you're a weakling. <laughs> that was a huge fuck on my side. Hmm. I'm stripping all of this, and through you, a shard of hardstone and a shard of sharpstone. <laughs> I assume that's for something. I don't know what. Was crafting invented back in 2009? I don't know. I guess there was crafting in the Alone in the Dark 2008 game I played. So I guess crafting existed in some form before then, but it was definitely not until Minecraft that crafting became a popularized mechanic, so I don't really know what I expect the shard of stones to be. I guess there's a bunch of other enemies on the other pathway, which is the next thing I'm going to investigate. All of the different corners of the world. Alright, so I saw like a bajillion enemies having a little party over here, but they're like the easy ones. Right? Please, help me. I am trapped. Surrounded by draglings. Can I do this? Tackle that fire sword right next to exploding barrel. Well, not quite. Either. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a boo boo on my part. That's okay. Hello, sir. My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Boletaria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. Oh, okay. Where are you gonna go now? <laughs> don't, I, 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 sir. Please don't die. Maybe I should help guide them on his way back. I'm gonna go do that. I don't really trust him wandering off by himself. I did destroy a lot of enemies on the way here, but actually, I don't even know the way out of here precisely. I'm just gonna follow him for a bit. Now I must go. There is something for me to take care of. I need to still finish the good life right now. I'm playing Demon Souls, though. It's all right. Um, I'm gonna try and guide you. There. No matter how far I venture, only the soul staffed remain. 
Is there a single sane person left in Boletaria? Maybe. I, mean, I don't really know. I've just been killing a lot of things. No matter how far I venture, only the soul staff remain. Is there a single sane person left in Boletaria? Probably not. Uh, let's just. I'm just gonna follow you for a bit. I'm curious where you're going. Is, is, was there a pathway over here I missed that you know about? Because I definitely didn't spot anything. I'm just gonna watch where he's headed. I mean, I did destroy all the enemies over here earlier, so I guess that's a good thing. What? Uh, does he just like randomly wander? <laughs> Maybe he's like on a pathway trying to get himself killed. Like his AI goes into places where all the enemy spawns were, and if I had already killed them all, um, he would have just got himself killed or fought them, one or the other, really. But I already took care of all the enemies over there, and there was there was a bunch of other enemy spawns over here, but I already killed all those too. I'm just seeing where he's going. I mean, it's not like there was much more for me that way anyways. Sir, lead the way! I'm just genuinely curious with this I am. No matter how is that You're going back? Sir, are, are you just gonna sort of wander these halls for a while? Whatever, he hasn't he hasn't looped back to a place yet. I'm, I'm gonna give him a chance. I'm just curious. Morbidly curious where you think is a good idea to go is. They're going back over there. Okay, I think he's just going kind of in like a cycle around this area. I'll come back to him in a second. First, I guess I'll finish investigating this corner of the world just to make sure there isn't anything. I don't really think there'd be anything over here outside of him to rescue. He gave me a telescope. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with a telescope, but sure. I think I've done all I can in this corner of the world anyways. I assume the staircase is up for the bow and arrow guy was, sh uh, was shooting me earlier. Did the guy, like, spawn out when I didn't look at him anymore, or is he just... No, no, he's still here. I thought he might spawn out or something. I've already killed all the enemies through here, dude. My dude. My man. Let's see where he's headed. If he goes to the right and then goes, oh no, to the left... I'm just going to observe him a little bit longer. I bet he's not actually going anywhere, but hey, I'm curious enough to sort of use this as an opportunity to learn. You're headed back to where you're being ambushed. Is that where you want to go? I guess so. No, no, you're headed back. He like jaggers. Jaggers, like Aaron Jagger. Uh, but he just like goes so far off track that he like does this weird like turn around like he's like very fierce all of a sudden but then just kind of gives up he goes back to regular walking does he keeps on going back there whatever the case i'm going to ignore him now over here is where i assume is the way back to where i came from before i decide to see if i could actually go over here and i could uh there's bow and arrow in me that's giving me a little bit of trouble you know there's definitely a staircase there i guess that's what i'm headed towards the fun of a bow and arrow guy. That's not the bone. Oh, you're the bone. There's the bone arrow guys. I found them. <laughs> Just want to take care of the guys that are shooting bow and arrows at me before I figure out what else I'm doing. Are you the fucker? You're the fucker. Easy as pie. We getting a few of those unknown soldier souls right now. I don't quite know where I'm at. I kind of walked out of a window because I saw there was a pathway down there and so I just walked out and then I ended up here. That was the story of my life. Can I destroy these? Another bow and arrow enemy. Hmm. 
Oh, there you are. Oh, this is where I was earlier. Okay, I'm gonna go to the shopkeeper that's over here. What? What the, where did you two come from? I mean, if this is how you want to do it, we can do it this way. It's not really my ideal, but... Yeah. Where's the other dude? Where's the guy? There's my guy, I guess. Oh, shoot, that was close. Da, 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 da. I've got plenty of souls. Turn over this way, make sure that I'm fucking come and ambush me while I'm fucking doing this. I just want to eat the souls of dead soldiers. Mmm, dead soldiers. Their souls are delicious. Mmm, finger looking good. There was a shopkeeper right over here. I'm gonna go check out and see what he's up to. Hello, what can I do for you? I guess a few things. Alright. Let's see, what do I want from you? I could do with a little bit more. I'm not gonna spend all my money on this, but I'll spend like... Actually, let's see how much the other stuff costs. Alright, so there's the change item list. Plate leggings, 20. Go ahead, take your time. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I do actually need to take my time. How's my equipment looking right now? 28? Oh, that's better. So it'd be better to repair this than not. Physical defense. Stone that radiates soul light. That's a key item. Hello! Okay, so looking at this place here, the plate helmet. Do I even have a helmet? Go ahead, actually? take your time. I don't do it. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a helmet, do I? No, I do not. So any helmet is better than no helmet. Hello! Coat plate. So yeah, these uh, these armor things are slightly better than like currently have. Yeah, just slightly though. Plate gauntlets. Plate leggings. I'm gonna have to invest in the coat of plates. This guy he's up most of my money. But hey. Thanks for that. Come back soon. Now, from also, I've got the shiny rock on me that I'm paying attention. I'm very shiny. Go through here, go to my equipment. Leather armor 28. It's only a little bit better, but it is all around better. There's actually nothing that's worse outside of the way. I'm not overweight or anything yet, so that's fine. Hello! And I guess I will buy grass from you. Yep. Thanks for that. Come back soon. Of course. Wait, what does the telescope do? Why is that my items I can use? Inventory. What does the telescope do? A rare craft which uses wrap glass to allow you to see far, see far distance clearly. It's most likely an item from the comparatively advanced region of southern Volteria. That, let me just. I'm gonna try this, and then if it's like a one time use, then that fucking sucks. Yeah, okay, so if it's repeat use, that's kind of neat. It's not the most useful thing in the world, at least from what I just saw right there. But hey, it's something. Let's go over this way, learning what all that does. There's still that bow and arrow enemy that's up there being a nuisance to me. Damn you, bow and arrow guy! 
one day I'll get my revenge. <laughs> okay, so until then, though, let's destroy all the stalls, all the woodworks that everybody worked super hard on. I want to be like the guys decide. There almost never is, but you know, you can hope. You can cross those fingers. Does that look like secret passageway? No, it does not. Okay, so I don't know how you get to that bone arrow guy. It's just been lingering, hiding up there, but I'm gonna do my best. Hello, sir. I'm rounding around the bend. I'm gonna give you a good old fella hello. I guess, yeah, up there. That would make sense. You're one of the blue armor guys. These guys scare me the most. Well, not the most. The red armored guys, so far, the normal enemy that I've seen that scared me the most. But they're a variation of you guys. How the mighty have fallen. Oh boy. Do I have fire bombs or anything right now? Not enough time to check. This is the hallway I face you in. I fell for the double hit twice, then I hit him afterwards. I just want to make sure I don't lose to this fucker. You can heal yourself too, noob. <laughs> oh, he oh he got me with the parry, the rappel thing. That's kind of neat. So he's basically like... Heartbeat sound. Am I bleeding? And there that goes. Grass. Okay, moving on back. Sometimes those guys are really easy to me, sometimes they're hard. They're one of the harder to predict enemies on my side. Is to predict from this bow and arrow guy, which I'm eventually working my way up to. I'm getting you, sir. I'm getting closer and closer. <laughs> okay, so now we just have to climb the lawn staircase back up to wherever this guy's been hiding before the blue knight came for us. Your time is nay. Let's make sure I don't have the same fate. Get some grass. Oh, that's a portal. I have to work my way back down to him. It's not one thing, it's another, isn't it, with this guy? There he goes. And he'd have an item on him. Yeah, I'll take some grass, sure. I'm just gonna eat some grass. No. Gonna climb back up the staircase I came from. Gonna check out the fog portal. I bought a lot of items, and that's okay. Does it look like there's a boss or something on the other side? It's kind of hard to tell until you walk through, but I guess I'll check it. I mean, at a glance, it seems fine. These things aren't destructible, if I remember correctly, but I'll still try. I hear a bunch of crows, which makes me think about to enter into an open area. For some reason, I guess I think crows are in open areas. Am I wrong, though? Oh, wait, there's the dragon! I don't think that's a good thing for me. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, how do I approach this? Oh, no, I'm not ready for dragons, I don't think. I don't feel ready for dragons. Trying to parry you, I failed. That was my fault, sir. I should give me a good proper <laughs> parrying burial. Well. Oh, I'm so happy I stepped out of the way of that. I even 
realize that. I unintentionally stepped out of the way of that. I didn't realize that. I should have paid attention because I knew those balls were there. I just didn't realize that's how that was going to go down. Grass. I'm a little bit nervous. Just a little bit. I know those dragons probably won't see me from here. If these guys didn't fucking set them off, then I'm probably fine. And it does look like there's more than one. Like, do you see like it looks like there's another one right like right over there? Walking through the pile of corpses. Things to pick up, won't you see? Corpses. I ate grass and axed him. I guess that was okay. I got more grass. <laughs> I wasn't on full health, so I guess that was not the worst use, but not the best use either. Everyone over here okay? No one's alive? That That's okay for me, I guess. Alright, so we established the dragon just sitting over there on a little cliffside, just having a little nap time, like the giant cats or something. We'll go over here, because I'm not ready for a dragon. At least I don't feel like I'm ready for a dragon. Like, a, a tiny guy kicked my ass once. Like, a little guy with red armor. You're a firebomb thrower. I hate you guys. You set yourself on fire. I'm not used to the... Like, oh boy, I'm not used to these spear guys. I fought them before, but I'm not used to them. I should have gone for the last hit, but I guess my stamina was also low, so... Take what you can get. Oh, you have a little grass. Mmm, little grass. <laughs> I'm not used to the spear enemies yet. There are just two of them loitering over there. Okay, so there's two passageways to go. Up here and over there. The guys did come from here. I'm just gonna poke my head out over here. Okay, I'm gonna practice parrying. Not really the case. The forces are getting a lot stronger on the walls, I'm finding. Oh. I'll check the other. Mm -hmm. No, I think I can handle them. You know, maybe I don't want to try it. Like, I could handle them, but maybe I should see what's over here first. I guess the dragon's over here, though. Oh. oh. Or maybe I don't want to handle them. That looks scary. That looks very scary. I was wondering what that fluttering was. I guess it was dragon wings? I kind of heard it. Dragon, are you like waiting for me? Are you doing like a little dance show? That looks seems intimidating. Did not do a good proper guard there. I meant to, but I didn't. The dragon flying in and out is kind of intimidating, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not ready for a dragon. At least I don't think I am. Sirs, are you not gonna be terrified of the fact that there's a dragon flying in and out of here? I'm gonna stick around because I want the dragon to kick your guys' asses. Here he comes. Come on. Come on. Dragon! Kick their asses!
Oh, I just. Oh, I need to move. Oh boy, oh boy. I am so low on everything. Let me live. Just please let me live. Oh, I'm trying so desperately hard to live right now. Between the dragon and guards aplenty. Souls I'm racking up from their corpses. I'm trying my best to survive, but a dragon won't stop trying to fly. I feel like the dragon's supposed to be like a boss one. I keep on running away because there's so many soldiers. And I'm just slowly taking care of all of them. It wasn't really what I planned to do come into here. I'm gonna get this item, at the very least. At the very least, it was grass, okay. Now we stay. Now we stay. Am I, was I supposed to fucking... Oh, I somehow survived that. I somehow survived that. He finally did it, though. now sticking around. I want those shinies, though. <laughs> I'm a fool and a madman, I know. Now I run away, because I know the dragon's going to be here in like two seconds. Dragon's just camping. <laughs> so I'm pulling out the fireball. Oh, how do I handle this? I'd probably go the other way. It's probably trying to tell me I don't go that way. But I'm just. I, they got items, though. See him lower in and out. You're scary, sir. Very, very scary. You're not done yet? Okay, that's fine, sir. Just wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. You can throw your little temper tantrum. That's fine. It's gonna go back. And now I go. It takes him a second to fly back, and I want to get that shiny over there. Give me the shiny. I needs it. That roll is a bad idea. Whatever I'm wearing is making me go slower. I don't know why I'm fucking risking my life for this. It's just fucking grass. Okay, time for a race against the clock and avoiding bow and arrows that kind of home in on you slightly. Like that one kind of barely avoided me? Why don't you kill those guys? Why do you have it against me? I'll eat some grass. Don't know why I did it. Kind of was okay. Alright, so they really don't want me to go that way. I could go that way. I've, I've raided plenty from there. I'm gonna walk, not gonna run. The dragon can have all the fun he wants, really. Peekaboo. Well. This doesn't feel like a good idea. Not at all. Ah, do I... Like, 
what, like, this isn't where I need to go, is it? They're just trying to lure me in with all those dead people there. Do I have to go on, like, the little cliffside? Is, is that safe? I don't know. I obviously don't go up there where all the smoldering bodies are. I'm probably going to get smoldered in, like, two seconds. I know the dragon's been going over there. He's been camping me like a motherfucker. I don't, I don't know. Am I supposed to go down the cliffside? I'll try. I'll run. If I don't make it. Uh, how's my equipment holding up? I'm definitely rolling worse than I once did. Is that my status I should look at? Where's my weight at? I should be okay, but I definitely have noticed I'm rolling slower. Well, no time like the present. The moment you twitch, I'm running. I see your idle animation. Is this really a good idea? I don't think this is a good idea. I mean, I'm here. I'm not greedy. I'm okay with what I got. I'll just walk over this way. I won't bother your nest. Please, oh please, just leave me be. I'm doing it. Scaring me half to death. Scaring me a whole lot, that's for certain. Oh, I have did not completely forget about this here coming up that I'm going through. I don't know the game. Don't mind me, I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking. Oh, is that's what I get for my troubles? Shard of Archstone. And full moon grass. Well, that's cool, I guess. Time to go back. <laughs> a tail gave me a slight heart attack, I think. Just having fun. Don't mind me. Just moving on my way back. I know he's gonna blow more fire. He did when they passed by last time. It's okay though. Just a little roasty. Don't mind me. A little toasty. And I'll just calmly walk this way. That dragon's camping that gate though like a motherfucker, like legitimately. You'll see what I mean in a second. He keeps on flying over there. Don't panic. That's how they always get you. Because you panic. At the moment, as long as that dragon's there, all these goodies are not available to me. He's going to blow fire on me. And I did learn that fire isn't a one-hit kill, but it's definitely nothing you want to fuck around with either. He's fast and flies a lot. I guess what they're trying to tell me is this is like a dead-end, dead-end area. Because the dragon will fly over to this bridge if I try going over there. And the dragon definitely doesn't want me to pick up all those items as long as, as long as they're around. Okay, okay. I did get most of the stuff from over here. But I think the dragon's going to fly in place before I can go over here too fast. Yep. I don't even know what's over there that's worthwhile, really. Here he comes. There he goes. I'm just gonna figure that this, like, I, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. The dragon evidently doesn't want me here. I don't think I'm ready to fight a dragon. I don't think. Oh, he's flying back to where he was. Okay, good. I thought I was like trying about to fly over here. I was like, oh no. I'm not ready for that. Dark Souls is not a remake of Demon Souls. It's like a very different game, but it's inspired. It was obviously inspired by Demon Souls, but they wanted to make it to a different IP thing. Because this area is very similar to one in Dark Souls. I see. I, I don't know that specifically, but yeah. 
Probably, I think that Dark Souls is more, oh, hey, we had an idea, but we think we can refine it. Keep on, I haven't played much of Dark Souls, so I don't really know. But, I mean, Dark Demon Souls had a remake that came out last year, so I don't feel like Dark Souls was also a remake of Demon Souls. And also, the little bit I played of Dark Souls it doesn't seem that familiar in Demon Souls. So, yeah, yeah. I'm just glancing. Like, where do I go if this isn't the right path? I guess there was the other Rue with that one armored enemy, but he was also kind of a mother trucker. I guess I'm going back to that? Like, what do I feel like facing? The guy with the scary red mask, or do I feel feel like facing a dragon? Because the dragon's blocking both my pathways there. I don't know if I'm ready to fight a dragon. I guess I'm trying the other way. I'd rather face the guy with the red mask on. I did do damage to him. Back over this way I go. Don't mind all the people I've slaughtered. Well, that's right. That, I was about to say, why do I hear an enemy walking? That's the guy I saved earlier. That makes sense. Because he's got the same, like, armor walking sound. Okay, okay. I'll just... I'll go with the, down the other pathway. And that should be... Okay. I've got an idea. Would that work? I've got a crazy, stupid idea. I have no idea if it will work. So first, before I do the thing I'm stupidly thinking about, I'm going to go back over here. I have a crazy idea. Okay, well, no time for like the present to try my stupid, dumb ideas, I guess. Because either I'm doing this or I'm facing a dragon. Both don't sound very appealing. Something else Demon Souls, of course, from soft make that a name only. Right, that was the deal back then. I actually think I knew that. That guy wasn't there before. I mean, it's not like you're a super tough enemy, it's just. You were definitely not there before. Go, boner. I'm not great with the spear guys yet. If one of the spear guys is gonna be over here. I did very well against him right now, but yeah. Okay, now the thing I'm worried about. There is guy over here who stands all intimidatingly. He kicked my ass once. I don't think I'm ready for him, but right now, literally the only paths I can go down are either with him or with a dragon. And I don't know, I feel like I have better chances against him than I do with the dragon. But you know, who am I to really say, I guess? Hmm. 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 I don't have any. Do I have any fire bombs? Let me go check that. I took the fire bomb in before, and that worked out okay. I don't think I got any fire bombs. Okay, so my strategy, which probably isn't going to work very well, but I'm going to run. The moment I know he's really, really, really fast, because I got he got chased by him once. But I've tried fighting him then, and when I should have tried running, I'm going to run all the way back over there, and I'm going to see what happens. Okay, the, what is his trigger zone? I'm running the moment he moves. Yep. Wish me luck. Don't say too, too much, because I don't want too much backseat. I'm playing this blind as hell. I'm doing this right now, though. Still run oh, yeah, he is definitely still running after me. I think my plan may work, though. Come over here, dear sir. Did he give up the chase? Yeah, he gave up the chase at some point. Backstab him. Nope. Hmm. 
When do you give up? You chase me into here. Yes, you will. Well, that was close. I do the tricky thing where I need him to follow me. Also, I don't want to get <laughs> too close to me. It's a very precise practice, you see. It's getting a little bit too close for comfort. Nope, he's still determined. Honestly, I could probably get back to where he was. up here. Actually, I actually have an idea. It's a foolish idea, but it's definitely an idea. I did not unlock the front gate. I did unlock a gate around the front area, but I'm not going to call it the front gate. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm running this way. Let's see if this strategy works, though. I just need to get by him. There's probably a bunch of tougher things past him, which I won't be able to handle, because I'm not ready for that yet, because I don't think I'm ready for him. But I think this might work a little bit. A little, little bit. If he, by the way, ended up back where he was at the beginning, I call bullshit. Please don't be guarding the way you came from. My father, the way to get you out of the way. Do -de 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 -da -de -da -de -de. Running this way as I do. Okay, good, he's gone. That's what I was hoping for. Now, what do I get from going over here? At least a body. Unknown hero soul. Honestly, not worth it. Now I need to... Oh, it appears to be locked. Okay, well, it seems like that'll open eventually because it's got, like, a little locked message. Now the goal is to get around him as he's probably returning back to spawn. I don't really want to meet that on the way, so the dragon is the only way to go. I don't have a choice in there. The dragon is literally the only way I can do this. I'm a little bit worried because I'm definitely going to run upon him on my way back now. Here's hope I don't meet him in the absolute worst location. I don't actually know any way to put himself up to. Well, that's not what he wants. <laughs> I actually have a way to do this, though. Fi fo fum. He wants the blood. Sir, that's a door. Sir, can you figure out the door? Worst part is I don't have any long distance things right now, so if you get stuck in that door, we're gonna be a kind of standstill here. Sir? Oh no! 
I've tried so hard. On the right side, you have a gate open. I just need to get there without dying. I got all my souls back. I want it. Guard. Go for it. Back into the room. What did you give me? You gave me something. I didn't have a chance to see what that was. Like, was it a sword? And it's gonna pop out from over there. Come on now, I need to practice parrying again. The bright side, I did get the soul thing. Now let me see, those disappear when I die? No, they don't, so I should actually probably hold on to them more often. Probably shouldn't have used that right now, in retrospect. But I did do it. Two guys, I am here. I'm gonna risk it for their sakes. Wow. There. I want to try practicing parry and stuff. Come on. Bit too early. Anything your body? Nope. Come at me best you can, sir. Sirs, I guess. Because they both suck. Easy come, easy go, I suppose. Got the guy hiding back here. Nothing in your body? Nope. You, I want to practice pairing with you. Pop up through here. If this is what you meant by the front gate, I have opened this up, but I haven't opened up any other shortcuts at the moment. Come on, come on. Who's first? You're first. Eat some grass. Yeah, it's a good turpentine. I'll probably use that. You guys can have a little party there if you all desire. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, I'm getting out of that situation. I'm eating some grass. Yeah, yeah. Eating some grass. Well, okay, I see. Hiding up there. I'm gonna swing and miss. I'm gonna go up here. This one's probably gonna be stupid. Yep. Swing and miss. But you're not gonna be stupid. Should have guarded. Oh boy. I just didn't want to fall down there and deal with them too badly. I just want to get back to my souls and thankfully I know the red guy won't be there anymore. He'll be back at his spawn points. It's going to be pretty easy to get back to the red ones. So there's going to be all the enemies in that direction again. And I guess I'm going to have to deal with all those enemies again with the fucking dragon having a little spizz. I have to deal with you too. Um, like, either I do really well against you, or I do really badly against you. Actually, wait, I can trick you again, like the last one. Yep. Yes, sir, you've got the right message and read the main around you. Don't be a fool. No, you're not being a fool. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's why I roll around you, sir. Thankfully, I have invincibility frames. Unfortunately, I'm not using them to a great effect. I let them all have their fun and just ignore them. 
I don't want to deal with all the enemies here. I've already dealt with all of them before. I just want to get back to where I was. Running on back to get my souls back. Also, I guess I'm going to go the way of the dragons, because I didn't really have much of a choice. I guess somebody killed themselves, because I definitely just got souls right then, but I don't really know what happened. There's my beautiful souls. Oh, is he killing people? It's that armored guy, isn't it? You're going to use the bomb thing. I wish that hurt you, too. I realize now with the sword find I was hearing, it was the an NPC dude. Oh boy, the double team up. Oh, I did just get my souls back, so I guess it's not the worst thing. But that's not the best thing either, that's for certain. I was secretly hoping I could just kill them and eat grass, but... gonna run past everything here and hopefully not die in the process. I know it's like 1,500. Yeah, whatever. Actually, I won't risk it. I'm just gonna like everything. That's too many souls to think about throwing away. I'll practice and parry and I'll get some more souls. My soul count will slowly go up. There's a shopkeeper right next to him where I can buy a fucking helmet. And I guess, yeah, because I, yeah, I do have enough souls to buy a helmet. That's gonna be my new motive. Buying a freaking helmet. That sort of push sometimes you have to do the hard times. These two destroy it super fast like this sometimes do. Nope. Voila. One beta, one, two beta. Terrible murder. Get some grass, because of course I will. Get over here. I'm gonna try and lock onto you. I guess not. I guess I'm just gonna kill you. Voila. Fire enemies, voila, you guys all get here, a little jamboree, I guess. I have to eat some grass. Now I want to waste that on. wasn't the best place to fight all you guys, but whatever, it's done. To climb. To get those souls back. And then to buy myself a helmet. The helmet's the only thing that's pushing me forward at this point. If I lose those souls, my soul will die. Try it. Trying to get some souls for you and I. Gonna have to deal with the blue armored guy in just a little second. It's okay though, he's kind of easy to cheese. Not the easiest to cheese, but a little bit easy to cheese. Yep. Voila. Hopefully he gives up there. I kind of feel like he wouldn't. Of course that fucking hit me. Just going to ignore that for now.
sir, I'd like a helmet. Hello, what can I do for you? Buy an item. Give me that helmet. Also, I think I need some more grass. Okay. Thanks for that. Come back soon. Of course. Now go to my equipment. I now have myself a helmet. Oh yeah, it looks like one of those people. Okay, that works out okay, I guess. Should I help that guy take care of all the enemies down there? Yeah, I will. Might as well get this whole sword as well. Yes, sir. I'm coming to aid. Not the outcome I was hoping for. Oh, roll away, roll away! Oh, this armor, I'm so much slower! Oh, thank god. I guess this is a case for late moon, not late moon, half moon grass. So you're gonna die. Why are you doing this to yourself? I'm so much slower. Holy hell. This dude's gonna fucking die from just the most basic of enemies. I guess that's why I was hurt. Voila, I was gonna run down here with a bajillion of them. Did he already kill most? No, we did not. Definitely almost kill most of them. I want him to live. I don't know why. I feel bad for him. Come here. It's a stupid idea. If I get killed here because these fuckers, I'm blaming this. Dude. Right side, they do leave a lot of grass. feel bad for him can only be stopped by so much. I mean, it does get me a lot of souls, and I know I'm kind of being reckless with them, it's just because I'm like, eh, we're taking care of There's a bunch of enemies in this area, so. Yep, and I'm gonna have to take out some of my armor before I race against that dragon, because otherwise I'm not gonna make it, because I'm definitely moving a lot slower now that my weight's gone up more. Yeah, he took care of all the enemies in his little spawn location, that makes sense. And now we should be mostly safe outside of that one enemy hiding on over there. Oh no, he's fighting these guys, because he's a fucking fool. Is he already dead? I think I just watched him die from a distance. Mausoleum key, so having him killed was actually worth it for my time? What? Still alive? Mausoleum key. I'll look at that in a second. trying to get rid of the basic guys that could have like countered you but the bow and arrow guy is causing a few late distractions you could call it. I'm also not very fast right now but I do have more armor on. I go over here and eat grass. Okay, as these guys try and figure out their lives, let me go over here into my items. Opens Boltrelia Royal Family Maris Liam. Carved, I got a key opens the Voltarian Royal Family Mausoleum. Is that the locked door that was on the other side of that one night enemy I ran away from? The door that said it was locked. 
I would say that Kyle was like a mausoleum. Then I just have to deal with that fucker again. I kind of want to do that right now. I guess I'm doing the dragon path first. I'm gonna try and counter you. Failed that. Grass. Trying to counter you without first a jillion bow and arrow enemies for me. Oh, you dropped an item too. So I have to go back to you. Grass. I mean, grass is worth it. Don't lie about that. I'm so bad at rolling right now. <laughs> I'm going up there to take care of the bow and arrow guys, and plus that one uh, blue armor guy that's going to be up there, which I remember about, which is kind of a nuisance. Fight spot we're gonna get around these parts. I'm kind of learning how to fight these guys more a little bit. Just a little bit. Not like a whole lot, but a little bit. Up here we go. Moving around the bend. Gonna take care of this fucking bow and arrow guy, which I kind of forgot about until right now. Oh, I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Of course I did. I know I hit it at least once. Okay, though. Second time's the charm. He dies for good. Now I've got. I could actually buy more armor stuff, but I also kind of need to get a little bit lighter. So I know what do you do in these situations when you have souls now you want to protect, but you also have to face a dragon. Please don't drop an item. Thankfully, no item. <laughs> okay, so the balls are there again. Will that hurt me? It's not hurting me as much as it's gonna hurt them, but still felt a little bit cheap when it hurt me. Because I was definitely not to the side of them. Alright, run down here. Collecting all the bits and pieces. At least I got a lot more grass. Okay, so I'm going to take care of the enemies in here, and then after that I'm going to take out my armor and I'm going to figure out how the fuck I'm dealing with these dragons. <laughs> Not like that, I suppose. A little cobbler style thing. I'm not great with the spear, guys. Very not great with that stuff, so half eat grass. Okay. So here comes the part I'm dreading. I need to change my equipment. I'll unequip this. How do I unequip it? Uh does it say how to unequip it there? Boy, how am I going to do this? The weight thing is going to make this a lot trickier. Uh, let me look at my status overall. I'm 
in terms of what I'm holding, I'm at 24 out of 40 for equip and 40 out of 90 for the other stuff. But I'm definitely moving noticeably slower. That's definitely noticeable. I'm gonna get the dragon to kill off most of these guys first. I sort of need to stick here and not hit too much. And it'll definitely cause some problems for them. Is that enough for him to do fire? Nope. Dragon? Dragon! Dragon? <laughs> Fuck you, dragon. You're very unreliable in the situations I need you most. the corpses of your brother and stop you. <laughs> I'm a coward and I'm running, I know it. But, I need to live. At least I'd like to live and not do this all over again. Dragon's very, very reliable. Okay, back to the dragon's lair. Dragon's just having fun. Chilling over there. Chilling over there. Chilling over there. Try and parry you. Can't fight you, obviously, but hey, you know, I guess it's what matters. Dragon, please be reliable this time. I'll take care of this guy at least. Okay, so we're back at the Dragon Gate. The Sunset died that one time. Please, Dragon, please, please burn them to ashes. I can only skedaddle here for so long. That guy's got a spear. These guys got bow and arrows. They're kind of scary. Not as scary as you, big old dragon, sir. Please be fire. I'm here. I'm ready for toasty roasty. Okay, you're the one I'm fighting. Didn't do the parry correctly, but at least it wasn't full attack on, so I guess that works. Oh boy. Can go for Rosie Toasty round three? Nope, you're good. Grab these things, get the other guys to run out that are fucking cowards. <laughs> Want the dragon to be toasty. Okay, okay, we'll parry. I did not parry that correctly at all. But I did kill him, I guess that kinda counts. But it, does, it doesn't count, it really doesn't. Eat some grass, and now think about what to do with this. I do definitely need to unequip some armor. I'm definitely not fast enough for this. I also don't want myself to be too weak though. Unequip. 
be a lot more nimble. I got that going for me. Done. That looks done. And now I'm trying to book it while I still can. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't want to lose 2,000 souls on this. Same time, though, there's literally no other pathway to go. Just let me buy, please. Just let me buy, please. Just let me buy, please. to equip everything. Well, now I guess open this lever. Another thing to open the lever that open up some gates. Oh, that's the front gate. Now I know. Front gate's finally been opened. What is it, only five hours in? <laughs> Four hours in. Oh, that let something out. There's boss melody and everything. I kind of want to see what's out there. Boss, I don't want to bug the dragon too badly. Shiny. Soldier soul, I'll take that. break. Oof. That's all I had. You guys can feel his trouble. Okay. Okay, that feels pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, does that mean the dragon went away? Hmm. I'll test it. Worst comes to worst, I fly back across. The dragon's definitely not flying to the bridge anymore. That's the good news. The dragon decided, ah, fuck that bridge. That probably doesn't mean the dragon's disappeared over here, but I'll look. I will definitely look. Just morbid curiosity, call it. <laughs> I feel like this is like a Resident Evil 4 chamber. You have to look up to see if there's any shiny treasures or not. Nope, they definitely haven't left that area. That's fine. It's pretty much expected, even. I don't care how many yellow shinies there are over there. I'm obviously going to get burnt until I'm, like, fire-resistant. <laughs> Moving on up here. Will the dragon show up now? Now that I'm coming in from this way? Oh, I don't hear any wings. That's usually a good sign. Okay. Running on across. I've made it from one side to the other. Now I feel more leisurely. I can't destroy that, but I guess that's okay. I opened up this gate, and I guess we're going to see what's on the path anyway. Just check and see what's down there. I guess we're going to be climbing back down now, which makes a lot of sense, actually. Gonna walk down here. See what all there is? Oh boy, I don't know why I didn't expect an enemy around the corner. Like, there were two enemies around the corner. I just about one of them. I tried parrying, but I fucked that one up. Go over here to the flat area. It's a little bit easier when we're not on the stairs. I'm gonna do a stab, I see.
to the right, to the left, and everything seems okay. Just gonna break some destructors, but it's a force to them. I say that's all up there, there's not any tricks to this. Nope, just turpentine. Wait, do I have a lot of turpentine now? Did they say I got four turpentine? Inventory. How much turpentine do I have? Yeah, I think I picked up four turpentine because I have five right now. Definitely more than I was expecting. Moving on over this way. I should have checked the border if I ran into some sanities around the borders. would definitely something that sometimes happens, like you. I'm not good at using the border enemies yet. I'm still going to take care of you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I need to eat grass. The bright side of Tossa took care of you pretty easily. Easier than I was um, thinking it'd be. Couldn't see in the dark yet. Oh no! Oh, well, you missed, so whatever. <laughs> it's fun to see the ragdoll. Destroying this nice little dinner place, I see. How many <laughs> dinner tables can I destroy? Apparently, not that one. I don't really think there's any, then any of these. I'm just enjoying them because I can. I'm kind of enjoying the game so far. I don't think this is going to be my favorite Souls game. Of course, I'm still super early in. But I like the gel of the Souls game, so it's got that going for it. It's kind of interesting to see like the first one they're figuring out their formulas. I was going to try and do a sneak attack on you instead of pulled out on me, both of you. Some praise, I guess, for that. Now, the grass. Kicking them on down as I continue my descent to full core. I was about to say, what are you hiding there? What are you, actually? I, I don't know what this is. That was different than everything else I fought so far. In an interesting way, I suppose. So the point I probably shouldn't have just ran at it and sort of tanked it, but that was new. There's another one though. Okay, this time I'm gonna be a little more strategic now that I sort of understand. I get it kinda. Of. It's very slow. Oh, I didn't die. I got that going for me, I guess. I didn't land next to another one. Right? Fall damage is not as harsh in this game as I would have imagined it being. Yeah, if you get past the shield, the fences are like shit. And they're very. These are very, very slow to turn, so the strategy is pretty obvious. They throw a long distance, though. You hit them with a shield. They're very odd, but it makes sense. Oh, there's just a glowy down here. Is there any hiding around here? Not that I can tell. Half moon grass. I mean, I'll take grass. I'll take grass any time of the day. Let's pull this. How do you? Another gateway open. Now I can figure out whatever came out of there that looks kind of scary. Uh, I guess I'm gonna switch over to Half Moon Grass because I feel like we're probably about to enter into a boss battle. It feels like it's entering into a boss battle. It definitely gave a cinematic thing to show that thing that threw the sphere, and they even showed me an angle to show how fucking huge that sphere is. That's a big sphere! That's a big door! How's my weapon durability doing? I've been using the fucking Falskin this whole entire game. How's its durability? 41 of 120? Wow, I sure could go back to the place and repair that, can't shouldn't I? That sounds like a good idea. Right? Okay, I'm gonna go do that. Don't mind me as I run like a Well actually. <laughs> now I'll do it. I'm right here. 
I'll try and defend against the enemies after I take care of the thing that's obviously, super obviously a boss portal. I don't even know what I think the boss is. It's got giant spears, I know that much. Return to the Nexus just for a little bit. Is there a place to deposit souls? I'm guessing the answer to this question is no. It feels kind of weird that there isn't. Hello again. I'm keeping. I want to deposit some items. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know what the shards do. I'm collecting them. Or I guess for crafting or something. Broken sword. I'll give that to you. Bastard sword. I'll keep it. Smiter. Eighty. Ninety-five. I'll, I'll put the rapier away. Mailbreaker, got the windshield and this shield, the falchion and smiter, and the broken sword, sure. I'll get rid of the dagger for now. Oh wait, I have that equipped. Not gonna, I guess I got that equipped. Deposit item. Uh, how's my all this doing? Durability is okay. Coat of plate. Old ragged gloves. Durability is okay. I'll put the leather armor away for now. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. You're suspicious as hell. Oh, did you? I can forge weapons. Repair equipment. Can I upgrade a weapon, actually? Mouse skin. Shard of Sharpstone. Have. What does this do? Increases the damage by that much? Sure. I'm using this enough. Mouse skin plus two. But I need more. Schmiter. What does this do? Okay, and I guess I'm going to repair equipment because I'm here. Durability on that's fine. Fine for the most part. Can I improve the durability of my weapons? I guess not repair equipment, right? No way that was on that. Guess not. Buy item, resin and grass, rest spice. I could buy a battle axe. It's actually not that much more powerful though. You come back alive. I need your business. Yeah, yeah. But I can't actually die here. Isn't that the whole point of the story? That I will just come back as like a soul here? I'll just lose souls. I guess come back alive because I would have souls. I guess that kind of makes sense. The more I put thought about it. Okay, so I'm going to replace the telescope with the grindstone for a second. I use the grindstone without realizing it? When I put the grindstone with him, I remember that. Hello, I'm keeping. Because I thought I'd accidentally use it. Or no, I didn't. I know this is deposit. Take it. Yeah, I remember I left the grindstone with him. Full moon grass. Most of it uses IP. Gonna stuff this away for when I feel like I need it, which is not now. I'll put two of these away. Lightning grass. Yep. You have a heart. Replace the telescope with Ed's grindstone. right now for this. How much does that actually improve it, though? I actually do not know. Let me take a look. My equipment. Because I know vaguely what damage I was on before that. Oh, it, like, fully healed it. Like, I didn't realize this is how it worked. I thought it was just a little bit of heal, but that didn't fully heal it. Gold 
Altarian's place. Yep, let's go. Now, of course, we're going to have to deal with all the enemies again. But hey, we got the boss portal open in front of us. So that's cool, at least, finally. Come on, I want to parry you. There's enough distance there. This one. Give me your brass. That's what I wanted. I'm afraid I'm not... I mean, I have to be ready for this boss. The first boss is just tutorial going to kick your ass boss. It's probably also going to kick my ass, but I have to be able to. Probably back on that. Do we have the other thing? Is there anything left of us in just a second? I'll see if I get them before they hit me. That was my fault for forgetting. I carry this. Unfortunately, yeah. no large wool. I thought he dropped something because of my own shininess. Now you're gonna break through there because you always go do it first. Here. That was easy. I guess my weapon is a little more powerful because I'm mostly killing the same as one as opposed to the usual two. Just a little bit though. I'm getting all that as we do. Okay. I do not believe I'm ready for this mentally, but hopefully I'm ready for it. Other than mentally. Let's see if I can peek in and sort of tell what it is by just looking for a second. Well, I see another portal, which implies I guess I can just run through the arena, which actually makes me a little bit more scared, because that means it probably means I'm not supposed to kill this thing, probably, because I definitely do see another fog barrier on the other side, which implies I can run from this thing. And if I can run from this thing, then that's probably what I'm going to do right now. I'm not confident in my abilities enough to be able to take on the boss. We'll see what happens, though. Oh, it's like the thing that's saying up all those armors now. Oh boy. Plan It's very slow. I see a weak point, but. Oh no, I need to beat it. Okay. Okay. I see the big glowing weak point. Get out of the way of that. The only thing I can say about this is that it's very slow and weak, just like it's weather. Alright, that seems doable. Not easy, but doable. Wait, oh, those, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm getting poked around a lot. It's like a big old mass of them. I only just figured out fully that it's like a collection. So I have to destroy all those smaller ones. That's the shield side, which is not the ideal side. Either. Okay, well, this seems doable. Again, not the ideal, but doable. start poking these sticks. I don't think they're infinitely respawning these things. Again, I think there's like a certain amount which are collected there. Like maybe a fire bomb would have been really useful in this boss. But since they're very slow at turning, I think that's like the basic right idea. Yeah. 
Uh, I shouldn't have eaten my half grass yet. Now the way I go is I take care of the small guys fucking themselves out. I need to remember I can roll more often. Definitely it's a mechanic that's decent for this boss, especially. Try and learn me with that, I guess. I'm not gonna heal yet. It's a little bit fun seeing them like poke their legs out. Just take them out bit by bit. That's how it's gonna be a little bit of a test of endurance, but it's gonna be the smartest way to attack those. Uh, yeah, if I see the weak points, I see how they sort of mass into each other. here. Okay, well I've got the basic. I wish I had a distance attacker now. Maybe I should have bought some fire bombs. I didn't really think about it. The sphere thing should have given me a tip out of these enemies because they do use spheres, but this wasn't what I was expecting, I guess. I'm trying to take care of them. Bit by bit. That one's over there by its lonesome. I don't know if it's returning. It does get faster as less of them are out of the body and more of them are out of the body, I think, but... At least I think that's how this boss is working. I think I'm right about it, but... It definitely seems a little bit faster than it was a little bit ago. I guess that will happen when it loses more of the boss. Roll out of there. Doable, doable. Let me kind of run out of the way. Sorry, because I'm getting my ass handed by those things. I think it sends more of itself out when I'm like more out of the way. Can I even like leave the arena? No. Okay, so the fog barrier is when you enter into the boss area. You can't leave it there. That makes sense. But yeah, when I lean it to one side, there's a lot more which are kind of like willy, willy waggle. Yeah, this is definitely the better strategy than whatever I was doing. They get more separate when I let them uh, go on out with like this. Try and lead all the way over here, and that's probably gonna leave more of its uh, brethren along the way as it travels over this way. Come on, come on. Okay, so that's why I keep getting hit by from this scaling the throw attack. Oh, 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 boy. It actually left very little behind. That's kind of worrying. right then. Yeah, it's definitely losing a lot of its mass. There, I thought I was about to get it, like stabbed to death, but made it. <sighs> okay. 
okay, okay. I'm doing my best. I'm doing pretty okay, actually. So, yeah. Yeah, well, a bunch of its little things when I start attacking like crazy. Oh, boy, yeah, I need to get out of that zone. That was definitely hit zone. I want to feed all the smaller ones before I just hit the main. I'm not gonna hit that. I'm gonna purposely try and hunt it right now. Yep, try and put its shields mostly to one side. Now it's trying to get away. Is this little bit? Touch our stone. Lead demon souls. Try Nexus? Nah, not yet. Or maybe, nah, not yet. Compiling shaders. Well, that also restored my humanity. I'm on full health again. Just looking in the big scary cave, seeing all the things there is to see. Hearing something. A little creepy. So, yep, I'm probably gonna stop relatively soon, because I do want to get some work done today. But I got past the first boss, here's something sleeping. Guys having fun over here. Well, definitely have figured out how they work for like positively fucking lootly. I guess they can also throw their sphere sometimes. I didn't really figure out the whole throw sphere thing. I guess I kind of saw it the first time I come to them. Hardstone. Didn't actually need that for sure. How do I get over here? Grab this. Throw them out. Yeah, there's one. This one which I had sort of tank there because it was blocking this particular right here. Oh boy. I am starting to get a higher up in the souls again. I should probably be a little bit careful about dying. Sharp stone. Hearing in the stream. Yes, I didn't like anything worthwhile destroying. You think those treasure chests would be destroyable, but well, I guess not. It's probably not all of them. I haven't checked like this corner of the world. I hear something that's continuously yelling, it's like making a noise. Or bull? Half moon grass. 
Yes, can do with that. I just want to hit those things. Yes, I have. There is another shiny all the way over to the right. I'll go for it. Don't worry. I can fix this. I'm just learning the area. Can I go into the back, please? Nope. That looks like a shiny. Unknown hero soul. Might as well risk all of it on a few souls. Lead demon souls. Unknown soldier soul. Use. Unknown hero soul. And finally, lead demon soul. Why is it why does it give me a special message about that one? Does that do something if I use it? I, I don't know. Like that one they never really asked me that question about that there before, so. This is another dragon bit. It looks like another dragon bit. This looks intimidating as hell. I'll get back to you in a little bit. Let me. <laughs> Let me use the lead demon soul and see what fucking happens. Ah, it just gave me a lot. I, mean, I guess that makes sense. I wish I could store my souls. I really wish I could. I'm gonna go back in here and defeat these enemies again, I guess. But now I'll eat a little bit of grass. Moving on back. I know all these things in here are going to spawn again, but it might be, I think it overall will be the better idea, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get attacked by a dragon in that next scene, and maybe I might want to spend some of the souls I fucking have in my 6,000, almost 7,000 souls right now. It's probably not a whole, whole lot, but for this point in the game, how much I've saved to this point, it seems like a lot. I'll turn to the Nexus. Maybe there's a few things I want in life before I decide to throw my life away and become a half-soul thing again. Oh, cutscene. Welcome back. Yo. It's the missus. The monumental awaits the above. Monumental will explain the nexus to thee. I believe it. So I'm assuming everybody's got updated dialogue. Like you. Still alive? I am impressed. This is something that might interest us. The black robed maiden of the nexus looks after the flames. She's a morose type with eyes occluded by wax. She can control souls like no other. Sure. Bring her the souls of men and demons, and she will embolden your flesh and blood with their power. That's interesting. But beware, do not devolve into a foul beast. I see. Thanks for the warning, pal. What's happened? Have you lost your nerve? No matter. Have a seat. We can sit here forever. At least we will be safe. <laughs> yeah? What's happened? At least. Hello, ma'am. The monumental awaits the above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Anything else? That's it, I'm assuming. The, monu the monumental will. I can forge weapons for you. Let's talk. Be thankful that I'm st still that. No interest, eh? I can tell you're not gonna last long here. Hello again. 
I'm keeping a close watch on your belongings, rest assured. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a madman. When I came to, I was in... Yep. You have a heart of... Back in the time that I lived below Bonataria Castle, King Aland left on some strange business, then returned with horrible demons in tow. Sure. But no. soon, the land was ravaged by demons and soul-starved madmen. My spine shudders just to think about it. If I did not have my miracle stone shard, a keepsake of my grandfather, I may not have survived. I don't think he survived. I, the, the whole point that why we're here is that we didn't survive, right? Am I mistaking the lore of the game? I don't know. If I did not have my miracle stone... Is, is she not aware? Oh, hey, there's a guy here. A warrior from afar, are you? May you enjoy victory in battle. Umbasa. Sure. A warrior me, Umbasa. Yes, I have sinned. I swore allegiance to Saint Abane, but was of no use to him. And now I have run away and abandoned his honorableness. Oh, for I have not the strength to punish myself. You say, O oh Lord, punish thee. Oh, honorable one, I hesitate to imagine your present state. Deep within the darkness, where no light shall ever shine, will you continue to pray, even in such misery? I don't think I was praying before, sir. Oh, honorable one, deep, will you... Let's see... There's a few more people that were not here before, and I know that she wants me to go up to the top of the Nexus, but first I'll take a little gander around. That statue over here is still doing its statue things. I don't think that one of the other portals should open yet, because like it's it's right next to the portal that we started from. I know we went through a whole round trip around the castle, but you know it wasn't that far away from the last point. What do you want, brute? What? I have no use for miscreants like yourself. Away with you. What do you want, brute? I have no use. Okay. I mean, if that's his way to feel. I don't know him. He has a negative opinion of me. It just works like that sometimes. Nothing around these parts doesn't seem to be. Let's head upstairs, then. I am going to check the door portal things for a second. Just to check something. Yep, that's sealed. I think they're all going to be sealed outside the first one. And that's honestly to be expected. Just there's a little bit of a weird comment that I want to see. Nope, okay. That's actually what I was hoping for, because I would think that the last portal was too close to this one to really be considered. Like, oh, it's sealed, you're free to continue. Alright, so I'll go up here and see what all the fuss is about. I'll also check the side areas to see if anybody else has spawned in them. I kind of don't think they have yet, but hey, I can check. I already know they were empty before, so I can do a little bit of a skim and see, oh, hey, there's somebody there, or hey, there's nobody there. There does not appear to be anyone there at a glance. I looked. Didn't really spot anyone. I wanted to make sure that that, like, glimmer wasn't something. The answer to that is negatory. It was not. All right, continuing to climb past the statue. We are slowly going to fill this area with more NPC news, it seems, though. To the top, because that's where the Black Maiden with the wax eyes wants us to go. I'll go say my hello, please. Hello. Oh, hey, yeah, there's a door here that wasn't here before. Let me go up here. Bridge crossing this way. All the places to see. Mama Mary on the way. I want the view of this goddess statue up here. That's a very pretty view. Okay, so. Hmm. 
two roundabout ways. Is there another pathway here? Yep, I'll look up here first. In a systematic way, it makes the most sense to me. They're definitely sending me up. Up and up. This doesn't open up till later. Back down I go. A down, a down, a down, down I go. All the places to see and show. A down, a down, a down I go. Go, go, go. Check into the left, I'll show, 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 show. All these people just sitting around, you look kind of attentive. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until, a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the Old One back to his slumber, yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and half the world lost erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the Old One inside this Nexus, and banned the Soul Arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. So I guess reality is falling apart if you're the last one remaining, you guess the fabrics of reality. By the power of monumentals, the four sealed arcstones have been released. Oh. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? I'll accept it. Yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. Okay. And the rest of them all are all just sleeping. Stone of Imperial Eyes. There's some more of those hanging upside down statues I saw before. That sure is a lot of death of them. Wowza. Back up we go. With a candle and stone. 
I'm looking at all the half-dead things. Most of them I don't even know. I wonder if I just, like, jump down. I just keep falling and falling and falling? Probably. I probably get killed. Or I might just take a lot of damage. Given that fall damage in this game is not nearly as severe as I was expecting it to be. I'm gonna go this way because I'm gonna check to see if there's anybody that's inside the NPC zone that was over here. That's the NPC zone I was thinking about. In fact, I'll drop off here. The atmosphere of the game is very good so far. I 100% agree with that. This is my first time playing it. I don't know how the atmosphere goes through the entire series. Again, this is the first Souls game I'm playing all the way through. Um, I've only played a little bit of Dark Souls, like three to four hours of it. I did not get very far. I was a little bit stubborn and figuring some stuff out about it. But I decided I'd hold out until a Bloodborne PC came out, but then I guess what actually prompted me to want to play through the series was Elden Ring. And thus, here I am playing Demon Souls, the original, on the day that Elden Ring came out. Because of course I am. Down to the pits I go. Where will I stop? Even I don't know. Alright, monumentals spoken to. Do you have anything else to say? No, I've talked about them. Brave soul who fears not death. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. Lie stone, white eye stone. Ice stones temporarily connect the diffused world. Should you lose your physical form, remember the ice stone. Maiden controls in human souls. This power allows her to aid those who slay demons. What is it? Dost thou seek soul power? I guess. I'll seek soul power, sure. So be it. After all, thou requirest strength. Go forth. Touch the demon inside me. Uh -huh. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. Seek soul power. Let's talk. As for me. I, I keep the candles oh, lit and serve that. the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave. I keep. Six soul power. of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. I mean, obviously Vitality I'm doing first. I get my Vitality up to 13. Um, Strength, I'll move up some. Luck. Faith I'll put up a little bit. And now I don't have enough for the rest of it. But now I understand some of the things I can spend souls on. So that's good, at least. Moving on up in the world. Eh. Art thou done? Yeah. May thine strength help the world be mended. I mean, that's the hope. That hairpin, that belongs to my daughter. Then she didn't make it after all. My dearest little baby, may she rest in peace. Would you mind giving up that hairpin? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. I guess good dialogue. Stop pressing that. Hey there, AJ. It's been a while. I'll give you the jade in her armor. I don't really need it. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I mustn't forget. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I'm a bit ashamed to say, but... I found it one day, discarded on the main road. But it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. Sure. Green of Heruclean strength. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. They want to talk about that. That candle maiden cared for me during my first days in the Nexus. She says very little, but has a kind heart. She's just the age my young daughter would have been. 
pretty sure she's older. The poor, poor girl. Trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. If only something could be done to help her. Alright. Don't want to deposit anything. Da -da 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 -da. User loses souls and is returned to the Nexus. White eyes down. Return to your world when the phantom. Soul science seeks to help other worlds. So this is for online stuff. Got it. And they make it weigh nothing. Which I guess makes sense. I'm not going to really use the brass telescope. I'll put it away for now. I have, I have more than one telescope. No, okay, no, I don't. <laughs> Elden Ring did come out. It's time for Ryan to play Demon Souls. Yep, that's the spirit. If only something could. Um, hmm. I'm just looking over things, figuring out. So raises maximum. Oh, that's nice. You have a heart of gold. Whip! I can put on a second ring. How much does that increase it? Oh yeah, a decent amount, not like a huge amount, but an okay amount. I can forge weapons. You want to talk? Be thankful. Nope. I spent most of my souls um, earlier with uh, upgrading that stuff, and I don't regret it. No interest, eh? Nope. If I did not have my miracle stone shard, a keepsake of my grandfather, I may not have survived. Maybe. I would have a little bit more faith in yourself, though. Okay, anything you want to say, sir? Have you met the last surviving yes, monumental? Yes, I just did. Those, Those fools revived the old one on a whim. And now they've trapped us here in the Nexus, in a desperate attempt to undo their mistake. It's all a travesty, if you ask me. I mean, sure. We wouldn't have a game without it, though, sir. I guess all these have opened up now. City of the Barrows, keepers of the huge tunnel. Most of the stubborn exactors who support the soldiers of Meloteria had their souls taken, lacking their own will. They may endlessly want to work to you working. So yeah, so basically it's one level and now they've all opened up. Or at least a lot of them have opened up. Let's take a look. Alright, we got the Island Shr Shrine of Storms. When you release a cosmic horror for shits and giggles. Yeah, they thought it'd be funny. It turned out they didn't find it that funny. The Island Shrine of the Shadow Men, who worship storms and mourn the dead. Here the storm beasts fly above, and the souls of the dead inhabit empty skeletons to move about freely. Sounds like a cool place. You. This damp valley, this is the valley of defilement, oh boy, it looks like a swamp level. <laughs> this damp valley is the resting place of those who have been thrown away. Overtaken by poison and plague, oh I'm gonna love that area. The dwellers attack anyone who wanders this valley, hoping to offer souls to the woman who showed compassion. And now one of the portals is broken for now. I assume it's repaired later, but it's not broke repaired for now. And this one, Tower of Lateria. Lateria, land of Queen Ivory's tower. An old man took revenge in the queen by locking her family in a prison within human guards. All that escapes this place are the prisoner's cries. However, I'm not doing any of that yet, because I'm first going to return to this level. I wasn't done. Oh, hey, they'll take me here. Okay, yeah. So you get more portals as time goes on. Arkstone of Demon Faldix. Past the huge Baratarian castle gates lies the cliff pathway. Now fiend ground for dragons. This leads to the inner ward where the knights live. I probably shouldn't go out of my way to face dragons now, should I? That doesn't seem like a wise idea. I'm going to try something. I'm actually going to go back here. What I'm about to attempt is very, 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 very foolish of me. But, I have an idea, I've got a theory. I'm a little bit stronger, just a little bit, than I was before. That sounds like I did a lot of story stuff when you get back to the game's mechanics. Bada bada swing! You got this. I didn't just guard against that, but so good. Sounds like a terrible idea. I mean, it does. I've got like a, I've got this idea in my head that I want to try, and it's probably a terrible idea, but it sounds like it might be cool. All right, the swinging thing. 
Koala with you. We've got the two enemies just gonna have fun over here with themselves. That was insane. I suppose. Give me your souls for upgrades. I was hoping I could run out of the way. They just went for it. I got, I'm getting a little bit sloppy. I got a little bit too rest into the story moments. Wow, wow. Any shinies? I wouldn't mind some more grass. I'll buy more grass. <laughs> Gaining the powers of grass. Voila. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'll take this path now. It'll be the fastest way to get to where I want to go. It's not nice to be on fire. I'll tell you that one. Being on fire a few times today. Remember people, be considerate. Don't set your friends on fire. I'll take the interpret time. Sure, why not? I'm gonna climb up like this. I'm gonna see where I go. I'm not collecting souls, because now I know I can use them to upgrade myself. Oh, wow, here I go. We Didn't hurt me that bad. Seems <laughs> like he had a good time. Do I have regular grass? What's the stone? Let me, what are some of these items I've been carrying? <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? Resurrect user's body from soul form? Okay, so basically, what I understand about this. An eye stone which uh, deteriorated more than halfway resurrects the user's body. It can be used in soul form. Once it is used, it crumbles away and is lost. So basically, it's a thing that will bring me back to human form. Soul science. Proof you have been accepted by the monumental as a demon slayer. You die and enter soul form, you use this to send a soul sign. I can be only used to the soul sign. I think it's for online stuff. Yep, that's for online stuff. Obviously, there's no more a online network, so. Up places I go. But basically, if I die and go into my fucking soul form again, I can turn back into a human once. With ease, but only once with that item. It makes sense. You and I both messed up. Like we're having that was that was one of the dumbest battles I've had so far. I'm between legend and dumbass is very fine indeed. You know, it just brings up the question: What do the gods do when they're bored? I, I guess an answer to that is they might summon a giant eldritch entity. And be like, woohoo, that might be funny. I only realized now that wasn't very funny at all actually. Okay, I don't really love you guys, but I need to practice against you so. I need to roll the top now, right? Half moon grass, eat. Late moon grass. Going over this way. He just decided to watch as I just ran right up to him. Didn't really have much of a plan there, outside of me to explain soccer with his corpse, so that arrow almost hit me. I'm not great with the spear on these. I'll definitely try though. Use this shield effectively, oh boy. Okay, so I'm a lot stronger than I was earlier, but I'm still definitely not the strongest. And I'm not confident in my ability to take- I got one spear my ability to take care of this guy over here. But I do think I got the monument key earlier. I think that's what I picked up from that one dude. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run like a little bitch. I'm gonna do my running strategy, but this time I think I can actually achieve that. Now maybe I'm strong enough to defeat him now, but I kind of highly doubt it. I probably could stand my own a little bit better with him than I did before. But I don't really think I'm ready to quote unquote kick this guy's ass. 
Alright. This could go super badly for me. I should probably learn further away than I have. My hope is that the key does exactly what I think it does. And if not, I'm gonna pay with my souls. That's what I've determined. And my life. And my souls. And my life. I was here once before, but this door was locked. I think this is the monetary. It kinda looks like what I would describe as one. Yep. Move, move, move! Thou who seeketh the king's sword, I am the old king. Cool. Show me thine strength and the strength of thine souls. Wait, am I find both of you now? Well, I did have the key for that. That's the bright side. That's the good news. I was right. Moving back over this way. That was the monetary, I believe is what it's called. But can I beat that guy if I can't beat this guy? Can I cheese this guy? Can I cheese it though? Is the can, can I cheese him though? <laughs> no, oh boy. Well, on the right side, my souls will be very easy to pick up. No, I am not ready for that red dude yet. Which probably means I'm not ready for the key. I did use the key and open up the monetary though. Monetary? I don't know how to say it. I know the word. My soul should be pretty easy to get to because I died right there, though. I want to parry you. I want to really parry you. Shy. I destroyed a lot of you guys today. In fact, I've destroyed you specifically quite a few times today because I've gone through this area. Ooh, small grass. Oh, I'm in soul form again, aren't I? Well, easy come. You know, I'm not going to use it yet. I'm actually going to try a stupid idea first, and then I'm going to use it. I've got a stupid idea, which I want to try after that one. So I'm not going to use my soul thing to get back to my non-soul thing again. Replace the latent grass with just the basic crescent grass. wall dee da dee da I did that way too much. He kind of just jumped in front of me when he wanted to die. goes another one. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. No items, no items. You're my next target. I'm gonna parry you though, come on. Wow. I like saying wow when I parry the weapon. What? It's just the language amuses me. Alright, up the deadly steps. Dance party. Whoa, 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 sir. Whoa, sir. I, I, being on fire was not part of the contract here. I guess it's grass. Continuing the climb. So many places to see. To get back to my souls for my stupid idea, which didn't really work. Slave shield. I don't really need that many slave shields, but I do have them. I don't know if you can sell items in this game, or you just have to drop them all off eventually. If you yeah. Yeah. This the wall is my worst enemy here. Voila. Okay. Gonna move past these. Gonna destroy the blue armor guy. Get my souls back. 
gonna try and cross the dragon road and probably die. Because I'm not ready for dragons, really. Maybe you can sell stuff, I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. Come here, sir. I'm learning how to better deal with you guys. To roll the way, not to the other thing I just did. when I get back. I thought we could exchange blows there. I was right. More grass? Oh, you shouldn't have. My souls are over here. We're running back over this way. You're an easy peasy guy. He's gonna back away. If you come at them strong enough, they'll just kind of stand there and accept their fate. I think. Yep. Souls, 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 souls. I'm not good with spear, guys. Right, whoa, 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 buddies. Give me a second, I need my stamina. <laughs> All I know is that you said no vaccines. I think there's some um, hub areas, so I hazard guess that probably means you can sell them. You'd think so, and there's a merchant there, but he doesn't seem to quote unquote let you sell stuff. He'll repair stuff, he'll sell you stuff, but I can't see you sell my stuff to him. Maybe there's, there's been two merchants I've met so far, so maybe somebody eventually will let me sell stuff to them, though. I'm definitely not ready for the red guy, so I don't think I'm ready to face dragons. In fact, I'm pretty sure what I'm about to do is a fucking suicide mission. But I'm doing it, and once I fail it, and when I determine, yeah, I'm not able to do this yet. I'll then go the other way, and I'll run on back and choose another portal, which I'm pretty sure is what I'm supposed to do at this point. I've never played Demon Souls yet either. <laughs> I mean, I'm playing it right now, but outside of playing it right now, you know what I mean. It's part of the fun of these things. Running on down the one staircase, no one can really stop me. I guess I could stop myself by jumping, sort of like this, but I'm doing that at an okay level with the jump. Prepare myself, for I'm going to Dragon Road. That's gonna definitely kill me. I'm gonna lose all my 2,000... Maybe I'll teleport and come back quickly. <laughs> I can get, like, one upgrade, and then I'm going to sacrifice my souls for this. In life and in death. Return to the Nexus? Sure. Oh! Hey, Blackbird. I'm playing Demon Souls blindly. <laughs> I'm going to see... Where'd the Black Maiden go? Oh, oh, there you are. Thou seeketh soul power, dost then touch. I'll touch the demon. Soul sure. of the mind, key to life's ether. I want to get all my soul stats to at least lost, ten. Be drawn from its vessel. Yes. Let strength be granted, <laughs> so the world might be mended. I want my so stuff to get to at least ten. I know it's kind of a silly goal, but I want everything to at least be ten. So my faith is gonna go up. Art thou done? Yeah, I'm done. Main. You, can, you can say whatever you're saying, but I don't really care too much. I'm gonna go back here. Follow the next arc stone. Time to die to some dragons! Vala bean, bada boon, dragon death for me and you. Gonna have some fun with dragon. Alright, so I'm pretty sure what I'm about to do is a suicide mission. Heads up, full disclosure, I'm probably gonna die. And then I'm going to use my human stone and turn back into human after I die to this dumb shit. Hello, slippery slimy. Oh, you're going to poke me with a stone? Oh, from a distance, you both. All of you, really. Come on, come on. I know you're weak backsides. Oh. I'll take some hard stone. Oh, you both dropped some actually. That's unusual, even. Don't mind me, sphere throwers. They really love throwing their spheres. Yeah, that one had ready to throw. I know I'm taking some hits here, but it's partially because I just these guys are kind of a nuisance to deal with if you don't go and like just rushing at them. I gotta say, starting with this is good because the most punishing of the bunch design wise have fun. Yeah. Well, I'm, my, part of my concern is that maybe the others will seem too easy once I've, like, done with this one. 
That's a little bit of my concern, but hey, this will be part of the fun of it, though. They were clearly learning how to make Souls games. But hey, I'm doing it. I'm here playing the first one. I see you over there having some fun. I basically have to tank this one. I need some grass. Mmm, delicious grass. Probably shouldn't go out of my ways to kill these things, but I'm doing it. I'll believe it. Nom 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 grass. Okay, let's go to Dragon Road just to die. That's what I'm looking forward to. On the Dragon Road, with all my friends, I'll see the Dragon's Road. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me here. They're even trying to tell me this is, I shouldn't be doing this. Look at all these burnt corpses. <laughs> hey though, nobody likes a quitter. Nobody likes a quitter. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that was going to be a suicide mission. I'm not going back for the souls, by the way. I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> Why start me? Oh, yeah, right. I guess I'll go for the souls once. And if I lose them all, I lose them all. Oh, there's a sprint button. Actually, thank you for reminding me that. I kind of forgot there's a sprint button. Saving up my stamina, I'm gonna dash for it. I can take a few hits from the demon from the dragon fire. It's definitely, I don't think this is what I'm supposed to be doing yet. I think they made this probably harder, so to make sure I did not try to do what I'm about to try and do. Definitely doing it. Well, I'm trying it. I'm definitely not not trying it. <laughs> sir, come to Sir, sir, over here, please. I know you and I have similar hats as in your friends. Oh, I'm locked down to the dragon? It's not exactly the target I was trying to game for. I'm still not great with these fucking spear eggs. They're terrible at fucking like in dealing with them in general. I didn't, I'm definitely not right for this place, but I'm doing it anyway. Da 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 da. That was just me taking hits. Not the best way to handle my hits. I guess I'm going down. Yeah, just a bunch of crows. They're having a crow time. I don't really know what crow time is. I guess it's the time the crows have. Definitely down here. Peekaboo. Are you gonna look at me funny, dragon? <laughs> I 
I don't know why. I, I, like, I was even kind of expecting it. Easy peasy. La -de -da -de -da. They want to make this area a little bit more hostile. That's okay. Just kind of exploring. That looks like a trap and a half. I guess it's fine. Ring of Nash resistance? What's that about? Equipment. Ring of Nash resistance. A sort of bearing ring, a bright red seal, increases resistance against bleeding. Made by Garrel, a friend of Sage Freak, the visionary who is known for his magical handicrafts. The seal's design is a fissure. I guess that makes sense. Well, I'm definitely going someplace. This is definitely a place. Place that is not open to me. Well, that's fun. This guy waited <laughs> for so long, he's had his moment finally. Wow. What was the other side of that fence I saw? Like, I know exactly where this is. This is like a shortcut? But if it's a shortcut, then it wasn't open from the other side. At least I don't think it was. I don't see an opening from this side. I guess it's just there to be a dead end on both ends. Well, let's see what else is going on around here, then. Comparatively to upstairs, it's pretty peaceful down here. Maybe I'll just live here. As a half-souled person for the rest of my life. Crisscrossing back, there was the gateway with the gates open over here as so we watched the dragon fly by. Bye, dragon. This will be fine. I'll be fine. Hello, gate. I hear it's something. I don't really recognize the sound, but I definitely hear it. Is that a dog? Oh boy. Doggo. Doggy doggo. Doggo, doggy doggo. Hey, you finally saw my character's face. I'll give you a close up. <laughs> having fun as I go. Doggy doggo. I thought you were a dog. Unknown hero soul. Sure, I'll take it. Doggy doggo. There's the dog. Is there definitely a new enemy? Oh boy. In packs, they're sort of frightening. Otherwise, they weren't that bad. But they can hit hard and fast. I see. They're not like out of my skill ability to take care of. That was my first time ever facing them, so I wasn't fully prepared for them. But they're definitely not in I can't handle them territory. Doggy doggos. The shield forward is the best idea with them as well. The shield seems to do a good job of reflecting most of the damage when they do their little leap attack. Peekaboo for me and you. I saw the air I size, I wanted to see what that would do. Ah, more of this. Don't mind me. There's like some weird sounds in this whole place. Voila, eat some grass, some bugs are asking. I, I'm a pretty patient person, not gonna lie. <laughs> I know. Ah, 
Now we meet again. Fancy oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Hope you find something that suits you. You saw grass for cheaper, so I appreciate that. Mm, one sword club, other swords. I think the demon soul servers themselves are down though, so for demon souls at least there's not really too much to say there. Do I better buy better pants? They are they do way more though. How much better than the pants I have on are they? I'm sure you'll turn things around. <laughs> How much better than the pants I currently have are they? They're about the same, actually. Like, there's probably a few stat differences. Got not what I meant to do. So the gauntlets are 16. Hello. That's 20. Yeah, that's definitely an improvement. Okay, okay. So I'll buy the gauntlets. And then I'll buy a single thing of grass. Now if I die, I don't really lose that much even. Thanks for that. One last thing I want to talk to you. Hello! I realize I should have pressed talk. It is the end of Great Voletaria. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our Same deaths in battle. <laughs> Hard times, eh? I'm sure you Okay. So, equipment, I've got slightly better gauntlets that make me a little bit heavier. I guess my plague resistance takes a little bit of a hit. Oh, actually, it takes a huge hit. I guess when I go to the plague place, I'm going to put these back fucking on. La -de -de -da -de -de -da. Now here's the problem with me, with Ryan, Aesthetic, Gamaraka, Duskull. I like to explore everything. So even though this is probably the safest path, because the fucking dragon's above ground, now I want to go back to where I was. Let's see what's on the path I missed. Did I run down different... I guess I just didn't do... Oh, right, I was afraid of the dogs earlier. So I didn't there in case the dogs were up there. Up here is where I was originally. This is like the first area with the dragon attacks. I forgot what he does fire wise here. Doesn't really attack. A little bit intimidating, but it's not kind of very scripted pattern. intimidating, but not the most intimidating thing. Now, I can... Yeah, this seems like a bad idea! There is definitely a way around this location, but it's not really what I want to indulge myself too much in right now. Should I continue that pathway? Nah, I'll come back to it, actually. I'll touch the archstone for now. I only lost 150 souls. Wasn't that bad. Win some, lose some. <laughs> I know what you're saying over there now. Thou seekest then touch the demon inside me. No, I'm good. <laughs> Let's see what's over here. That's the poison place. I don't want to go to the fucking poison place. That's the dead place. I guess I'm going to check out what this place is then. Say the burrowers, keepers of the huge tunnel, most of the suburban evacuators, is for the soldiers of the burrowers. Their souls taken, leaving. Uh, 
Lacking their own will, they will mildly continue to wander. Sure, let's try that. Let's go right go in here. Let's see what this has in store. Oh, it's got a nice little gravestone in front of it. The next enemy is susceptible to pierce attacks. I think I have dragon in the PTSD. <laughs> Hello there, souls. Souls. I trade fine goods for souls. Oh, shopkeeper. Well, you sell things more expensive than one of the dudes does. You are giving the pickaxe, though. How does that work? Hammer? It's not that great. You want to play? Well, you've got to pay, don't you agree? I'll talk to you for a second. I always forget to. Our little town. Well, it's a nice wee place. All those lizard-eyed townsfolk are busy tinkering with stone. And don't bother with old men like myself. Makes life rather easy for me. I can get away with anything. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for this golden opportunity. <laughs> he seems to be living it up. Schmuck, schmuck, schmuck. Have you heard about that sparkling lizard? He's not easy to catch, but he's got some fine stones, and I know where his nest is. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't give it away. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lord, for this. Sure, sure. I'll go this way first. But first, mass destruction of barrels. So of course, I can. I do have a thing that can make me human again, but I just first want to sort of. Scan the area before I use my one item to myself back here. I don't know, and here is soul. That's a, bur a burnt out bridge. Guess we're going away with all the rocks being dropped down. Checking on over this way. Destroying a carriage. I was kind of in the way, just a little bit, maybe. Alright, so time for the thank you some dropping rocks. The next enemy is to hold the spells. Okay. Are they throwing in the same spot or random spots, or they're trying to throw it in? Not the first things, not the same spots, not the same spots. Oh boy, the aftermath just hurts you. That's a little bit cheap. Definitely in this place. Lingering hitboxes. It's part of the fun, I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna go up and destroy over throwing the rocks before I go for that uh, thing I see over there. I want to come back down here, though. They stop throwing stones, but I assume they will if I go back out. Oh. You know what? If they're not gonna bother me, I'm not gonna bother them. Okay, I'm sort of learning your attack pattern. You working on the railroad, I'll live on there. Have definitely much more health than enemies in the first area. Well, honestly, you're very susceptible to being stunned. Kind of super stupid. I don't really know what to make of them yet. They seem easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I guess pierce attacks are their weakness. Roll a pull. 
No, if you're not gonna bother me, I won't bother you. I'm not that much of a blood shutter. I'm not that geary. Fights! I'm not an attack first, ask questions later type of person. You guys, if you're not gonna attack me, I'm okay with you guys. That was a wizard. Here I come. Oh boy, here I go. <laughs> Maybe I should do the dragon place first. The enemies here definitely seem a little bit above my grade at the moment. I could definitely get past that guy, but it take a little bit of strategy. I can't really stutter in like we do the other ones. I'll check the other way. You guys just enjoy yourselves. This is fine. Moving on back. See where everything's at. It's out here. Can you even climb in this game? It feels like sometimes you can jump in this game, but I, I, I don't. I, I've never found the jump button. It's not really my suicide idea. Yeah, we killed your dogs. Got burned now, leaving. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I don't have the right weapon stuff for this at the moment. They have like a lot of health. The goblins are easy, but that thing has a lot of health. It throws fireballs, and I can't really stagger it, so. Okay. Well, I'm out of here. What a nice place to visit. I don't want to live here, though. Out they go. Don't think I'm ready for that. I mean, I, I feel like if I really beat my head against the wall here, I can make some progress here, but that doesn't really seem worth it. Does not seem worth it at all. Actually, let me do something quickly. Unknown hero soul. Soul. Woo -woo -woo. Final time. Wee -wee -wee. Is that enough to afford one year thing? I seek soul. Ah, it gets more and more expensive each time. That makes sense. Soul of the lost. I shall await thine return. I'll actually be back in two seconds. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I get those souls. Out. It makes sense that it gets more and more expensive. You can definitely farm souls, though. That's the thing in this game. The souls are very farmable. Right, now stand like give me a second. Maybe all your guys are just little shields in the pile. Fuck, I'm getting my ass handed to me like in a way I've never had in this area. Time to eat grass. I have never had my ass handed to these anybody but this thing's as bad as I was just having to run right there. I'm gonna start a little fast and kill them all. Is there not a lever down here to open up it from this way if the other way wasn't working? Nope, doesn't appear to be. That's okay. I was just checking. Nothing like here. Nope. And 
And now that should be enough souls for my travels. Should I just travel more just to be on the safe side? Because I can actually see these. Act nah, I think this is enough. I'll have to destroy them again, but that's okay. I'll come back anyway. Running on back. Let myself get a little bit of stamina back. Continue running. Return to the Nexus. And I get one more stat upgrade before I decide to take the pathway. I won't take the upper road with the demon or the demons with the dragons, because I don't think I'm ready for that. Thou seek then soul of the mind yeah, I got to life's ether. Again, I know not the smartest thing, but I'm going to try and physical defense tight physical defense like tight to everything, isn't it? Yeah, physical defense no matter what you do. <laughs> Huh, that's kind of interesting. You think endurance would increase it the most, but apparently not. I want everything to at least be 10, but I kind of admit magic and faith I don't really have much of a use for yet. And this does have poison resistance. I'm gonna fucking do endurance, sure. Da -da 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 -da. There that goes. Now to think about it. Art thou done? May thine strength help the yes, world be mended. I have a thing that'll make me human, but I'm not going to use it until I feel more confident I'm not going to die. <laughs> I think that makes sense. Oh, yeah, I don't have anything for anything. Might as well go here. Ostrava of Volataria. Yep, I know. But then you also get souls when you destroy them. And currently, everything's still inexpensive for me. But I was just thinking about running past these guys. This one is going to be easy easy. I've played enough survival horror games. I'll save my stamina for this little mad dash. Hello, crows. I don't know how you're supposed to avoid it the first time. I think maybe you have to Oh boy, oh, I'm about to get killed killed there. I was on lower health than I realized. Right side didn't have my humanity. <laughs> and I can pick that up on my run back. Yeah. I'm learning the best technique. So I could survive a dragon hit this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and summon the dragon once they run past it. That's what matters. <laughs> Don't mean a lock on the dragon. I'm trying to fight my similar hatted bro. Haha, <laughs> same hat, same hat to the new bros. We all, you and I, we're not the same. <laughs> I am terrible. However, I'll take the bottom path. It's definitely the path I want to take. It's a lot easier to go path. Pull my shield out. I got this. Yep. And if you move on to the next part, it'll then move on to the part after that. It's, it's got it, the dragons are very, very on the rails. How they function. Doesn't take away from that sometimes, though.
Yep, he's just barking up a storm. Here comes the puppers. I'm about to get my ass handed to me by some puppers. Well, I'll get my souls back next time. <laughs> I didn't even have that many. The dogs are bad in a swarm, but they're not actually that bad by themselves. It's just that you have to be a little bit careful with them, I suppose. Alright, alright, I can do this though. I don't know how you not get hit by the dragon at least once with the dragon bit that I'm about to do. That doesn't bold well for my survival of the dragon stuff. That's just they also throw arrows, but... I'll try it, though, and if I lose my souls, I only lose, like, 200. That's fire. And I got them on the way there, mostly, so... Oh boy! I did it without actually getting attacked. I'm actually getting hit by the fire. I'm very, very surprised. I fucking suck at the arrow, guys. I was trying really hard to lock on you. I have a lot of difficulty with that for some reason. I'm not very good at spear at this. Dragons have their fun times. The guy around the corner up ahead. Nope, not this corner. It's that corner. It's this corner. Nothing on his body. Do a second. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to do a second attack. Well, that was stupid. Now here comes the part where the dogs attack. Wow, I wonder if where my souls are, if I might get attacked by something. Well, that... <laughs> so, I need to... The first time I did it, the dogs were fine. Now they're fucking ravaging me. I think I just need to take a few steps forward and take them one by one, as opposed to fucking taking on the fucking six dogs that spawned there. Let my stamina go, go through. Now I run. Yep. That was a lot of dogs, not gonna lie. I think if I time this correctly, like the, the, by the time the dragon starts its on rail descent, I run backwards because that's enough to summon the dragons. I have some stamina to get back. But now enough to run it! Yep, okay, I'm figuring out how to get past that first dragon. I can never see you get good luck. Oh, yeah, I finally got good luck on you. I don't have to parry these guys, though. Yeah, I'll find you here. Give me more grass. I don't I hate that. Just like that. This time, the dogs don't all come at once. It's like a few steps away they all get summoned. Because they're not like. They have like a radius which they attack to, so. Now we're gonna have the enemy hiding around the corner. This corner is the next corner. Get the dog barkings from here as that's up. Give me your souls. Okay, heal myself because I know I'm about to get a 
after just buying puppers. I won't be tempted by my souls this time. I'll do this a little more strategically. Only a couple dogs come first. And then doing them smartly as opposed to attacking them all at once. I almost can't see where they are, but whatever, I took care of it. Souls obtained. I don't really need them as much, but hey. The dog attacks you very low if you have your shield pulled out, that's not a thing. Bow and arrow guy, I remembered you just now. Charge. Smaller grass. So what's this? Sticky white stuff? Well. Well. Uh, anyways. Going over there. What is this? Apply to write mail for magical effect instead of be a waste product of a magical slug that bathed in the forest and river. Well, I'm not going to use that right now. Right now, and that's of the fire effect, I'm going to go back to this type of grass. That's where the shopkeeper is. Hello! Sell me more baby grass. I need baby grass. I have baby Thanks grass. for that. Baby grass. Okay, now to play how the game. I haven't actually gone up here yet. It's the fun thing. <laughs> it's because so far to this point, I wanted to see if I could do the upper path. And my opinion is no, I'm not prepared for the upper path. So let's see what this is all like. the dragon's path The dragon has seen never attacking. Punk short bow. Oh, wow. a heavy arrow. Not bad. Dragon lady. Now the problem is, um, I definitely have to do the last stretch of this. I have a question, really. Oh, it's a fog portal? Oh, boy. I was not ready for that. The dragon stops there. I meant to lock on to. I want to parry. I died from that! Well, at least I know where my souls are. <laughs> also, got bought stuff with grass. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> Gonna go back on my way. Here I go. Fire does hurt, yeah. I think I insta-died to a fire by stepping it earlier. I kind of expected it to damage me, but I was like on full health and it killed me all the way. Just a memory I'm having right now. No particular reason I have that memory right now, but I'm not really remembering that now.
because the dragons are super, super scripted, it's pretty easy just to take advantage of their path and stuff. Okay, sir, come down the way. I'm terrible against this spirit. Killing yourself is fine. No chance for you to heal a second time, sir. I don't know why I can share melee this one. Case going downwards, upwards path, bang the dragon's easier than the ground with the dogs. I learned that the hard way. Isn't it easier? This doesn't seem that hard, honestly. The dog stuff, I can do my own stuff too. Plus I get souls for it. There's not an underground pathway choice uh, the next bit. I actually have to take the upper path regardless of whatever. Eat some roots. Eat some roots. I should summon two of the dogs. As long as I like take baby steps. <laughs> the dog's baby trial, I guess that makes sense. That should be enough to summon the next dog, I think. Oh, I was healing with grass! The dogs, one at a time, aren't that bad at all. It's when they're in a pack that they're like, oh. Woo! I just want to say it like that. Alright, sell me two green grass. Oh. Thanks for that. Thank you for the green grass. Now I go up here, and I'm gonna have to fight from this side of the this side of things. I'm gonna roll the bow and arrow enemies right there this time. I mean, if anything, the dragon's predictable. <laughs> Souls from last time. Period. It's been a while since I parried. Here's me hoping to get some goods. Good old reliable Bessie. I'm gonna get hit at least once by this. I'll let that time be this time so I can get everything. I have to run back though, that's the problem. Okay, well, I made it! Inside and make it. I did get some stuff along the way. <laughs> Before I go all the way, I'm gonna go up here and fight the fucking enemies. Fucking, fucking silly Magoo over here, I guess. We're going arrow guys. I can take care of them. Oh, yeah. 
I was hoping they'd drop something. That was honestly part of the reason I decided to fight them. But whatever, more souls isn't bad either, I guess. I get to dispel this fog gate. Dragon. A dragon. I guess I got into the parry motion, but that was definitely not parry. The crows are the trigger point, I know they are. Because they definitely are. Well, that is a long stretch. Now I should continuously do this because I'm here. Well, this is terrifying. I can't really do. I'm gonna get burned once. Alright, now I am. Oh boy, not like this though. Well. This stretch, that look, I'm gonna go for one more time. I don't mind losing 800 souls that I mostly gained on the road there. I'm going to do it one more time. If I lose, I lose. Um, but, obviously, I would prefer to make it there. I guess I guess you can run with your shield forward, can't you? I'm not sure if you're as fast, but... Okay, I'm going to do this a little bit faster than I've done previous times. I'm going to. I'm not going to go as far back for the goodies as I was risking right there. I'm also running a little bit of grass, so you know. Voila. Wait for the big boy. Dragon no longer spawn over here. Well, I'm gonna try one more time. I don't think the dragon spawns over here anymore. I mean, if it comes up behind me, then fucking great. I'll survive, but it won't be great. No, I just did decide to show up. It's super late to the party now.
definitely got a radius which doesn't wear. I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm gonna pick up the goodies. I'm gonna hit because of this. Hello there, Nihi. Missed that entirely. Eat grass. Eat grass. So I know he doesn't really hit here. He does summon them. I'm just gonna run back for you, my souls. Okay, I'm gonna first run in, grab my souls, run back. Like the coward I am. I got my souls back, that's the bright side. And I did get them a little bit closer away from the middle where the dragon was. Running directly into the flames, maybe not the best idea though. I was at the very corner edge, but if I had put my shield down earlier to pick up my soul stuff, because I can't pick things up when you got your seal up, shield up, I probably would have worked out okay. La -di -da, -di da don't mind me. I'm just a silly goose. An incredibly silly goose. Oh, there's no turn back. I'm trying this. I'm gonna first see if I can summon this dragon here. stuff up, because I am a goddamn fool. Being glad doesn't kill you makes you stronger, as they say. Perfectly. I don't know how I did that perfectly. Do the soldiers let us this one That was like the ideal of how that could have gone down. Let's see what the dragon does here. Yep. 
Why are my souls all the way back over there? <laughs> well, I know what to do this time. I'm not going shields up. In fact, I'm going to be doing this the stupid way. I'm going to first grab some grass. Now he's coming back around. Okay, so the starting point is there. I'm going to wait for him to do it one more time. Scaling the area. Yeah. So I think he starts here. Like, I see where he generally starts. I'm gonna wait one more time. I think I'm okay here. If I get hit, then that's my own downfall. I don't feel that fast. <laughs> Grab my souls and run on back. <laughs> okay. Wait one time as I gain my stamina. I'm gonna be running there this time. Oh boy. I think I'm okay right here, like right at the verge where it's okay. I kind of think I'm okay as long as I don't get too far ahead of the carriage. This is a stupid bit. I'm probably going to lose health for this if I'm wrong about my estimation, but I think this is the best spot to start. I'm actually not going to pick up those items. I'm just going to run for it here. I'm going to shield my way this way. There's one taken care of. <laughs> uh, making a little bit of progress at least. You're not a red one, so yeah, you're okay. I get by the last strike. Eat grass. You and I both can heal a little bit? That's okay. Now we both eat grass. Late moon grass, a little bit more of that. Oh, full moon. I guess I'm gonna use a little bit of full moon grass, unless, of course, that was late moon grass I got right now. I got, like, one more thing of late moon grass. I need to buy more grass eventually. Oh, they gave me eight? That's pretty nice, actually. Well, you don't mind buying corners. That took a little bit. That's okay, though. I want to slowly destroy everything. Don't mind me. Dragon Road wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It does look like I'm here at another boss battle, though. It appears to be locked. I don't have a key for that. Is there a door over here? That one's open. Before I go through the fog barrier, I don't trust. I don't think it's a bot. Well, it might be a boss barrier. Let me first go up here. What? What was that? Oh, it's one of these things. Is that do I not do that with that? I thought I was going to hit the chain and get something to drop down. I guess I was just wrong. Sorry about 
it's not that I really don't have anything to put on. Rion Soldier's Soul, sure. Crescent Moongrass. I can go for a little bit of that right now. Equip, replace the big grass with the little grass. Oh, right, yeah. I was wondering why I wasn't moving. I was like, oh, right, I'm still going to pause my new. I need just a little bit of grass. Unknown Hero Soul. Over here. Royal Lotus. That seems important. I'll look at what that is later. For now, I guess I'll go back down. Gamer Close Calls. I saw like a ghost, which I assume is like something which I haven't seen since the beginning of the spirit things. That would be a lot more of if I was playing multiplayer, but because I'm not playing multiplayer, I sort of occasionally see it. It almost looks like he can lower the, ga lower the gate here, but I guess that's not what we're going to do. Instead, we're going to go on ahead, and we're going to go walk through the fog. This kind of looks like boss fog, which has me a little bit more. Assuming I'm not finding the giant thing by itself. So let's do this. Nice. It actually does not do as much damage as I thought it would. I'm throwing throwing knives. Not exactly. I guess continue my movement. Hello, sir. I got some more of that for me. That's pretty nice. Awesome. Okay. Da, da. Well, we'll figure that out, won't we? You guys are being really stupid during this game. Not that I'm complaining, but... Whoops. Yeah, I wasn't going to avoid that one. Well, I, think I don't think I need to use the actually. I think I wasted that one. It's not as hard to avoid this attacks as I imagined it being. Well, that just killed me. I guess that makes sense. I'm coming back to this, though. I feel like the fight seems doable. I do for now there, Nii. Nee. <laughs> I'm gonna come back for those fucking souls of mine, but on top of that, Something about that tells me that fight is winnable. I don't know how, but something tells me that that fight is winnable. Like, obviously it's like winnable, but I mean to me at this point in time. His attacks don't do as much damage as I was expecting they would. And something about that fight seems a little bit easier than what it initially looked like. Of course, I don't actually know that. I'm just going to figure that out for myself. But, of course, up close, he's a fucking danger. He's a fucking huge thing. I'll just grab the abs in the way. I seem to get a lot of grass from going this route.
I think I'll dodge with that. I think your tiny shield is going to start off. So? Yeah, I'm still going there, Connor. I guess I have to play for several hours. I definitely wasn't lying about that. I'm stupidly going to run back here just because I think it'd save us a little bit of time. I guess. But I'm learning that those carriages are kind of safe spots. I'm just gonna take the hit here because I'm gonna get hit here. I think it's crescent and grass for me. <laughs> That's pretty good. Well, that could have gone a lot better. I did like that perfectly last time. Kind of terribly this time, but I guess that works out. Don't mind me, I've just got arrows to my chest. I kind of have to be on full health to be able to survive a dragon attack. I kind of know that I'm safe. Dragon will spawn now, but I'll just save him. If we destroy this. I believe I'll be safe here for the next go. Yep, I'm learning my lessons. I'll also my shield up because they're going to be throwing bow and arrows at me. Yeah? Demon Souls is pretty good. Oh, my weapon broke. Well, that is bad news. Dagger time. I brought other weapons with me, but definitely not what I'm used to. I was healing, don't mind me. Ah, oh, well, there goes all my souls. I'm gonna come back to this thing. I'm gonna look at this for a second. Now that I died, died. Weapon breaking is the last idea in that situation. So let me look at my equipment. Falcon. Well, it's not broken, but it definitely needs to be repaired. Okay, I don't know if the souls stay if you leave and come back, or I'm going to sacrifice my souls here. I mainly want to beat the boss. The souls are nice, but they're not the most important thing. Also, I've got a bajillion of these things. Tell me what I'm about to do. Use item. Use item. And then hero soul. That would make sense. I won't have as many souls as the ones I dropped in the arena, but hey. So firstly, I'm going to be stupid. I'll upgrade one more stat, because I'm always silly. Why is that 74 and 74? So the world might be mended. Endurance might still be a good thing. Vitality. That, of course, is just good idea all around. I'll fucking do vitality. I, I kind of need it. Okay. Art thou done? I think so. May thine strength help the world be mended. Of course. It's in trade with yours. No interest, eh? I can. What are you saying? Say it's something different than you usually do. It's simple. In trade with you. No, you're saying the same thing you always do. I'll talk to you. Be thankful. Nope. I need you to repair equipment. Can you repair this? 
Yes. Wooden shield. How's that? At? I mean, I know this. Fine. <laughs> Might as well one here. Buy item. Actually, I'm gonna buy. You come green back ass. a lot. I'm gonna get to the other guy. I think I know how I'm gonna do this. Okay, repair the sword. Repairs, grass, part of the fun. I think I know how I'm tackling this bit of the game. Of course, I won't know until I'm there and happy and triumphant. That boss feels beatable. It looks impressive, but something about it seems a little too easy for how it appears. is. I don't really know what's weak point is, but I can figure that out. I can definitely take out all the bow and arrow guys from the arena. They're surprisingly piss easy, like they're not even really trying. I'm back. First stretch of that taking care of. Wait for him to go back around again. No shinies here distract me this time. Huh. Back to where we were. I don't want to destroy that though, I guess. Got you before you got me. Simple as that. Yeah. Not too many more of the drops, but that's okay. Get my grass, get my grass. Fucking get to fucking bigger grass. Oop. A little bit of slow down there. That's okay. Unfortunately, I triggered both the blue guys, which is not what I want. Yep, 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 yep. The grass, I gotta fucking roll like my life depends on it. I don't want to get back in the dragon radius and the bow and arrow zones. I think it might be better if I just run for a little bit. Grass, run. I don't actually get much from finding these guys, do I? Fucking through the fog! The massive attacks on the thing will kill me, but its distance attacks aren't that bad. Of course, it's better if I don't get hit. I do get hit, so I'll try to play the best I can. I don't know where that was. I, I don't know why I just picked up something, though. Okay, that fight will get easier and easier as I destroy each of these. Okay, the 
power lines. Take a few chips out of me, are you fella? You too, buddy? I've been using the dagger this whole time. Well, that's something. Oh, I revived. That was not what I meant to do right now, but sure, I'll do it. I guess I got full health back. <laughs> that was actually not what I meant to do. But hey, we did it. <laughs> Well, I've got more on the stake now than I did before. Okay. Wooga, wooga, wooga. Okay, so I've got throwing knives? close and personal for a fight, you will stop throwing spears. The spears do less damage than the other attack I experience. He's got like a point there and here. Okay, he's got a long range. But not as bad as I thought that would be. His up close shield attack is the worst one. Start myself with that. Okay, so it's about dodging timing this fight right now. Step, down. Step back when he does a shield attack, but of course that also opens him up for a little bit longer. Not the attack I'm gonna need to roll away. But you don't want to avoid the big shield. Okay, so he's definitely beatable. It's hard, but he's beatable. Yeah, that fat rolling is not helping you much. Your character needs to go on a diet, really, obviously. Okay, so I can do that fight. I need to re equip some things, though. I was not well equipped for that there. Late moon grass. I have used up a lot of my grass. I need to buy more grass. I know where to get more grass, though, so. I guess I gotta throw on my turpentine and some of the other stuff. I do have stuff which can help me here. What does this do? Heal the user from poison. I guess that makes sense. I won't heal until I'm in the arena and I'll go with all that. 
I don't know if well, I guess fire might be useful. Fire's being useful against the other night weapon, so maybe. Throwing knives has it wasn't really useful though. Okay. I think I know I'm gonna tackle this. I'm gonna buy some more um healing knives. I'm gonna grab what I can and then use what I can. Yep. I'm gonna also try and lower my equipment to see if I can help that at all. But first Trigger the dragon. Hey, dragon, look where I'm at. I see him go over there, I know what he's about to do. Alright, I'm gonna put my character on a die in just a second. Okay. Equipment. Unequip this. Unequip this. I'm not even really using the dagger, so I'm going to unequip that. Show away things elsewhere, so I thought maybe they would. I'm gonna try this stuff during the next fight for the record, just so I'll like, go in and do more damage. Hopefully, that fire helps, I guess. to without a shield. towards the very back end drop stuff, which means that they'll be easy to pick up. Grass. I read grass. I need grass.
I think it does affect your sprint speed. It definitely affects your movement speed. But it's like a few different tiers of weight. Where would this dog come from? The fuck? I never seen that dog before. <laughs> Whose dog is this? I am definitely moving a little bit faster than I was before. Of course, my defense is a little bit lower. Win some of those. I was kind of mashing. I'm not gonna lie. Mmm. Grass. Come over here, Bubsy. I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna see if I can do the easy way of dealing with you. Oh, I got a cocoon there. Okay, a little bit of movement speed will probably help during this fight, honestly, because part of this thing, it's big deal, is that it's a big deal to hang out. That was not the ideal way to start this fight. That was less than the ideal way to start this fight. That went terribly! I remember being that aggressive before. Right, like, right out of the gate. I'm not getting the souls I lost during that fight back, but I will find my way back. I am so stubborn. Holy hell. Moving on over this way as I go. Then get my stamina back. Then I'll just run over here. Try to the fun. The dragon's like, wow, there's some fresh meat. Will the dragon go over there? Yep, it's coming. Thought it was. Here it is. Wow, running all the way there. I'm gonna go up to the bases and see if they drop some for me. These bases. So bad I definitely can tell my defense. Hey, hey. Hoping for more souls, for more grass. I'm gonna go down and buy grass specifically from the guy down in the basement, but I'm actually gonna take the one. Actually, no. Yeah, I'll take the this route first. And I'll take the other route.
here and get my little bits and pieces as I'm trying to heal up the healing items right now. Did I just get hit by a dragon? Oh, dog! What? I don't know where the dogs come from at the time. Oh, boy! Oh! Oh! I do not want to get ravaged by dogs right now. Thank you very much. Well, I just got my ass handed to me by dogs. I really wasn't expecting to fucking see right there. Well, on the right side, I guess I can buy more fucking grass when they get there next because my soul's be like right there. I remember that the dogs fucking come up from there if you go over there. I actually did not know that they did that, but now I do. That also explained that mysterious dog that attacked me that one time. Wow. Isn't the Falcon a downward slash? Oh, yeah, I'll equip that when I'm actually into the fight arena with it. Especially since I'm not using my shield that much. Keep in mind, I'm not an expert on these things. Wow, sure is enjoyable over here. There goes the dragon. Having a good time. I fought the dragon, having a good time. I'm the worst spear enemies. Usually it's better for me to rush you, because that's like the most likely way I'm gonna take these on them. Giving me too much grass. What's the deal? Yeah, that's exactly what I want, but I'm surprised you guys are giving me what I want. Okay, we'll go over here and see if these guys drop it. Okay, now wait for the dragon to be over. But usually don't expect that. I'm gonna keep in mind that dogs are gonna fucking come and attack me. Last time I just wasn't prepared for them. guys right now when you find fellas. There's one arrow guy right over there, remember that. Give me your soul. Trying to save up to buy more grass. Given I actually might have enough grass this time. Should be one more enemy, which is over this way. Don't mind me, I'm just charging on through. Remembered you. Okay, 
one more enemy, or is that it? Probably at least one more. There's that. Oh no, I guess it's just the one. Okay, so I'm gonna buy some more grass, because this vendor sells grass cheaper than the one in the Nexus, about 25% cheaper, and that makes a difference over time. Let me go on over this way, seeing all the places to see. We already took care of the dogs, it's okay, they're dead. Moving over this way to the shopkeeper. hopefully have enough money to buy a few things of grass for the fight on up ahead. Grass, grass. Hello. I would like to buy grass. I will be buying several of half moon grass, I think. I'll be buying two half moon grass and two of these type of grass. Thanks for that. Oh, you thank you. Do, 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 do. Okay, and I have that all equipped, right? Okay, and I'm gonna can recollect my soul, which I already recollect my souls then. Yep. I want to make sure I don't lose my health. I don't think I'm going to get hit by the dragon anymore because I kind of figured it out exactly precisely. But. Still better to be safe than sorry. Nope, no yellow things on the way, so I'll just wait a second for him to do his return lap. Oh, so I have to run and run back. Open up my shields to get bow and arrow stuff thrown. Oh boy. Came back when I eat. Oh boy. That was not what I meant to do right then. That could have gone a bajillion times better. I do have souls there, and I do have grass, though. So, yeah, I didn't use my big grass. I accidentally used turpentine. I have, like, ten of those, so... <sighs> I might just run past the enemy next time, though. He does oftentimes drop grass, and that is what I'm kind of after right now. Get off my turpentine. Get onto this. I do have five of those. I do think I'll get my souls back. I won't go on my way to fight all the things in the basement this time. I will fight the dogs and all that. But they'll come as they come. Get this back. Hey, look, dragon, I'm over here. There goes the dragon, friend. Dragon tails, dragon tails, burning the bridges with dragon friends. Come on, burn on the bridge, that's where all your corpses are. Peekaboo. Sir, I'm terrible with your spears. Let me just kill you easily and quickly. I could have been better. Take it or leave it. Wow. Bone arrow guys definitely trying to get their game up here. Well, you did give me some grass, so I'm not gonna complain about that. On to the next bit of stuff. Over here now, buddy. Was 
an item. That means I'm running back, because otherwise I'm gonna get myself killed here. Oh, I'm probably gonna get myself killed here. I'm running! It's gonna be a close one! <laughs> I got killed. Lost my souls from before. I did get more grass, though. So, you know, can't complain that hard. Didn't spend much grass, got more grass. I lost some souls along the way, but they're the same souls I'm literally just about to get from literally doing this again. So, you know, win some, lose some. Move along the way. Don't mind me as I do my thing. If one wants to climb a staircase, I feel like this is the run. At least to get me back to the boss. I'm not going to say it's the run where I fucking beat the boss, but I feel like this is the run where I get back to the boss. Because I can't have a very grasp of things. I know it feels like I would have up and because I've done this like ten times now, or a dozen times maybe. But I realized something the last time, which I felt so bad. I'm also not gonna go out of my way to fucking get grass. I feel like I'm starting to roll a little bit too much in grass. <laughs> so we can do this a little bit faster. That as I went all the way this way. Oh, thankfully, that was right there. So ah, more grat. Oh, I was afraid for a second. I thought the game might have frozen. No, it's just a little bit of freeze. Like, Fucking dealio. Come on. Look, I'm just gonna fucking run by you guys. That was not what I meant by run by you guys. I guess I pick up my souls again, though, so I guess that's okay. I'm back. Let's go. You came back at a great moment, you blackbird. I, the lower defense is definitely affecting me. Especially against those armored dudes. I wanted to run by him, but I accidentally got into a corner with him, and that did not go as ideal. I do have all the grass I need, though. I have definitely stockpiled enough grass for the grass to not be a I'm trying to hold on to my grass and do runs. I have lost souls along the way, but they're just souls that can be back by doing this over and over again. Summon the dragon! Hey dragon, it's your old friend Ryan, standing right here, ready to be burnt to a crisp. I know you see me. I know you do. Look at the dragon go. What a sight to behold. Alright, so first off, care of. This dragon. Dragon, come on! I'm waiting on ya! Match the A button. Ah, there's only one item that was dropped in. It's all the way over here. This guy's gonna jump. He's not gonna get caught in the fire with you, sir. Grass? Don't mind if I do. Oh boy. <laughs> that was why I was a little bit scary. I'm gonna put them all to do their rounds one more time. Not the perfect round against them, but pretty damn good. Until that point, that part was kind of bad. Oh boy, this part was especially bad at me. It's okay though, I got enough. Mmm, mm, delectable. 
purple grass. More, I got two, three grass back for my two grass spent. That, that's just the gaining grass. Really. Yeah, the dog's on it. Is that just the one dog that's gonna pop up this time, or is it gonna be more than one dog? Well, that did not go ideally. I was hoping I could hit him from above like I usually do, but that didn't work this time. Or whatever reason. Well, that was a miscalculation. I was about to move backwards because I was like, oh, he can probably hit me here. I'll just eat green grass. Don't mind me. I believe the roots get easier. I believe it, 100%. I have to roll out of the way. Please just let me have this. I realize I also need to pick up my souls. Otherwise, this will be just a waste. I think he's coming back. He's gonna roll, roll, but then you have to make it weird. I just want to beat your ass at this point. Of course you're gonna fucking do that. I am so sick and tired of this. I hate these guys when I've got my lower defense because I can only get hit twice by them. I'm like, ah, and I have to run around and think about grass. They don't give you much of a chance that little small area for grass. So I know how to do this. I just need to execute it correctly. I still have a good amount of grass. I'll grab whatever I grab on the way there. I'm not gonna go out of my way to get more grass at the moment. I did pick up my souls, which is a good thing. Means my souls are slowly impiling as I do this. <laughs> slowly amassing souls through repetition. I wouldn't say this, like, the, the part that's screwing me up so much is the last part in particular. Just the blue guys, I'm not great at when I have lower defense like this. You no, know, the thing is, he does this thing where he parries you. Uh, that enemy is kind of like your human character. He can heal, he can parry you. If you shield against him, he usually parry you and then hit you, and then you'll get striked down. It's like this really annoying thing. My shield is now also my shield is now under uh, defense. I should mention. Okay, that's a sign so I picked up more grass and I'm running backwards until... <gasps> boy, boy! I'll wait for the next train. Oh, you can parry him, definitely. I just haven't timed that expertly. I'll try it next time, of course, just parry him. There's definitely a few ways to go about this. I've defeat... Those enemies are weird ones for me because sometimes I take care of them super easily and other times they're like fucking nightmares. Idealist ideal, but it was still pretty good with the soldiers. Now to be wary, a dog's probably gonna come up and attack me from behind. And there it is! Now eat some grass. <laughs> yeah, I'm really enjoying an elder. He definitely knows anything. Come on, do your thing, bud. Let's see. Rada, 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 Strain's gonna do his little thing. Yep. I ate grass next and I meant to run. Probably. Keep in mind, I'm not an expert. This is my first Souls game. It's not like I'm a fucking expert. Like, oh, yes, I know exactly how this shit works. 100% of the time. Alright. Through the Dragon's Path. Also, I should lower or raise my shield because I'm gonna be trying to shoot bone or And this fucker's hanging on the way, it's super annoying. 
This is gonna sound stupid, but I'm gonna run backwards, let the dragon fucking probably kill me. This is a dumb strategy that I'm now gonna try. Did that strategy actually work? <laughs> Souls obtained. I mean, it worked. It wasn't exactly the ideal way to tackle that, but it did work. And that's gotta count for something. I'm gonna try and parry him. I missed that parry entirely. Now I should roll away, roll away! I was rolling! No! <laughs> right side, my dragon run back strategy will work against one. In fact, I should probably lure both of them, but that does actually just work. I'm having so much difficulty with those particular enemies. I was, I think I was out of stamina, wasn't I? Because I was mashing the B, but I was like, bash, 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 because I was trying to roll so hard on that situation. <laughs> Moving on past all the dead horses, waiting for some dragons to fly by. Come on, dragon. Come on, dragon, dragon. I'll be right here because I need to sort of pop up right ahead. Not the optimal way. In fact, I should have probably waited around, but I'm probably also still going to make it. Set the trigger zone for the next bit. Dance for me, yes, which means I'm gonna run back. If I drop two items for me, that means I'm even going back even more, because I like grabbing the items before the fucking dragon comes back. <laughs> yep. That's okay, don't mind my rush. I'll go over here, get the stamina back. Yeah, we'll good we'll run and fucking doing these things. I didn't know your stamina uh, takes long time to feel as you do your thing. And now a dog is gonna come attack me. We're usually a dog. Oh, but well, you're stuck. He stuck up on you when I was trying to attack my dog. That was a joke. No show pup. Okay, so I've got a strategy now, which will hopefully help me in my lower defense state just so I can shield go faster. Ellie will charge you. I can just kick this guy's ass. That'd be great. Or nope, my souls are right there, and I die right now. Great! At least I'm not piling up souls anymore. That's exactly what you want in this, right? <laughs> I am. Having, I should have just ran backwards. I was thinking, oh, maybe I can actually defeat him, and I do defeat him a lot of the time. But then the second one will kick my ass. The thing is, I'm used to taking being able to take three hits from them, but since I'm right now. Uh, Unequip my armor so I can run and dodge faster if the boss fight is right past there. Um, I am definitely not great with a lower defense, especially against those guys. Um, they're kind of like, sometimes they're super easy because they've got high defense, they use their shield a lot. You just have to wait till after they attack. But they can you do like a one attack, a two attack, or a three attack in a sort of attack combo chain? Hello, dragon. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There you go. Running through the fields with me and me. 
battery stock. I'm gonna stand here and see this is good. I think this is a good stand spot for the dragon here. The only one that dropped an item was the one that's way over here. I picked them up in the side. Complaining about grass. <laughs> Do I want to drop anything? Nope. I need to make sure the dog doesn't pop up and surprise me from behind, so I'm gonna sort of sneak up. But you decide to sneak up because I didn't expect you to turn around with some purpose. This is also the second enemy. Yeah, we got a good dog showing up. Okay. And yep, no pupper. No pupper as far as I can tell. I'll wait here for the dragon. Bat a bat a swing. Excellent grass. That was waste of one thing of grass, but that's okay. I'll wait for the next round. If one has to wait. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I would say that there's not been no rage. I'm not a very angry person. Alright, gotta charge, shield up. This doesn't really seem to affect your speed. I'm actually gonna be a fool. He didn't actually kill the blue enemy. I think he had shield up, actually. But this is a better arena for him, anyway, so he's also about to get blasted. Wow. You're just fucking tanking that, aren't you? you know, just stand there for a second. Just a second. Now I book it. La di da di da. Just didn't take care of the bow and arrow enemy because I knew I was gonna try and prioritize that. Well, it could be a lot better. It could be a lot worse. Hey, okay, sir. I've got a strategy for you. Oh no. You know what, actually? You're kinda slow. I'm gonna go over here and eat some grass, and I'll probably just pass the fucking portal. I hear him catching up, so I'll send you through the fog. And I'll fucking avoid this fucker. Oh, I, I was rolling. Oh boy, I'm gonna die here. My defense is so much lower during this fight. I get revoid that! Yep. Use a smaller grass while I have a chance to, because this boss can't really hit you in all the places in the arena. I'll keep this out while I'm fucking dealing with this one. stuff I like doing them there in this fight. Need some more grass. Hopefully I have enough grass for this. Avoid this he does his little charge up attack. Oh, 
thankfully it doesn't it does do more damage when I have less armor, but it doesn't it still is like one of those weak attacks. Eat some more grass. Okay, I'll wait for him to do one more charge up attack. Oh wait, there's still one more bow there. So he goes back to his charge attacks for a second. Thank you, boo. It's a charge attack. Okay, okay. That was okay, because I'm also about to do this. Which is not the ideal stay I want to be in at the moment, but it's workable. Okay, okay, and hopefully the increased speed helps her ass me a lot. So now I can roll, dodge, and all that with him. Use shield attack. Think of this like a Legend of Zelda boss. It's a little bit harder though. Almost all of his attacks have to be like this thing, which is really cool. Going up here. Yeah. Trying to defend himself. On the right side, most of his attacks can go. I'm gonna use that really now. I guess see that's his distance attack. It's only it's actually his distance attack is super easy to avoid. If I only have like a further I guess I can try the throwing knives. Oh wait, I was gonna use this, right? You think the sweep attack I can just get close and I'll probably avoid it. Was the shield attack the wrong one? I, I didn't show the wrong thing. Shield, shield, shield. Yeah, you're right, close enough that one. You're completely correct on that I'm not great at this, but I'm trying. Turpentine has a cooldown on it. Okay. I'm gonna run away, I'm gonna heal, because he can't get you inside there. areas. Anyways. The defense feels like it helps partially because I'm not great at this. I'm definitely, I have not heard him. <laughs> can't run here, I'll heal up a little bit. Honestly, no. Wait, where did my weapon go? That would explain some things, actually. Why did I put them away? Okay, so I'm going to light it on fire and I'm going to just sort of run towards it. This is probably a stupid idea. I'm not going to lock on them because I think I lose a lot of my movement ability, movement options, but I kind of like it. Out of the way of him and hit me with his shield. That's the worst part. Oh, you can't just fucking dodge roll if you dodge at the right time. So you can't dodge steel roll against this fissure. Okay, I'm gonna retreat, strategic retreat for a second. Heal a little bit. Okay, I'm starting to figure him out a little bit. Uh, 
here. It's not exactly what I meant to use, but sure, I guess I used it. Look at that. I kind of think locking on that makes it harder, actually. Especially now I'm starting to figure out a few more hits and pieces of this. So I'm just the attacks I kind of roll in time. Should probably not risk this, but I'm gonna go for at least one more attack. Yeah, okay, uh, after he did the little move thing, I was gonna take that chain and run away for a second. Half Moon Grass, got the right killing eye on the Okay, I wanna use Turbin Steam again. Thankfully, that thing is fucking weak as hell. I'm also attacking his shield, I guess. I wanted to roll in time, but I couldn't, so... Time for me to retreat. Yep. I'm gonna use the late moon seeds to gonna heal most of my health, not all of it, but most of it. I'm very, very low on healing. Turbistine's also going to run out very, very shortly, so I'm just going to refuel it because the fire does a little more damage. So I'm not going to beat this boss. I, I like Theoretically, if I was good at the game, I could beat the boss. I'm going to try. I'm not going to give up, but I don't have much confidence. I, really. I guess my sword has a little bit... Okay, okay that's a So I'm getting a decent idea of when it recharges, but yeah. I'm definitely trying. I'm not, not going to try. Did mostly done. Finally, on the right rolling time for this. The parts that are glowing green actually take less damage. I'm starting to learn how this works. Oh, that was almost. Oh, that was almost death. I got hit by the shield, but I didn't actually die. That's time for a retreat, especially since I did a good amount of damage that one. Okay, so I'm figuring out that the green parts do less damage than the other parts. Da -da 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 Unfortunately, this is also my last healing Do I have anything else that could help me with healing? I did take out like a third of his health there, so if I did the same thing again, that'd be great. What do I got? I know, I'm not confident because I'm out of healing items, so I'm like, oh no. I should have got more grass. Oh wait, no, I'm not out of grass. Okay, this is gonna use my good healing items. Full moon grass, we're gonna lose all that. I mean, when push comes to shove, I guess I'll get more it later. How's this weapon store building? I'm still good for a while. I mean, I'm getting a little bit better. Equipment, inventory. I think I have this. Okay, I'm gonna run away after I'm a little. I'm gonna hit him a little bit, then I'm gonna run away from this. Okay, okay, time to run away like a little baby. I've got a full heal. Use it for a second. I didn't attack him much right then, but I knew I was just going to do a little bit of the heals. I don't think my turbo scene's going to run out so soon, so I'll just go back in. Oh, I am. Ooh, I, I was dodging because I thought, what? You get to the head, you get to the head. That's where the weak point I need him still is. Okay. I'm gonna run away like a little baby for a second because I'm gonna put my fire back on. I'm actually not gonna heal yet because this is a full heal, which is all I have left. 
but I'm gonna put myself back. Okay, now I run back and I heal myself fully. I usually dodge that. Uh, 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 uh. Well, last healing item for good this time. Definitely try. Yep, I'm dead. I wish that the damage stays. Now I've ran out of items mostly. I'm like, oh boy. I tried though. I definitely tried. I'll go back for it one more time. I'm gonna return here. I'll fucking just the stuff. Hmm. And if I go back to the arena, I have to the stuff, which means I can't. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I'll come back here for a second. I know what I'll do then. I'll collect a few souls. I'll buy some fucking healing items. I know who to buy the healing items from. I'll go to the level that's right before this, because I can deal with these guys super easy peasy now. Hello, easy peasy fellows. I'm over here to mine souls from you. Don't mind me, just grinding a little bit. Here to get grass. And the shield enemy should be over here. I'll go this way, just because it's a little bit different than what I've done previously. You're defending from that way, that's cheap. I need to get behind you. Or I guess we just chip away like this. It's not the ideal way, but yeah, be a little bitch like that, I guess that's just how it's gonna be. The well, next one's like right here. That's one more corner. I got it once. Thankfully this one's much easier to get behind. Have any items? Nope, they are giving me souls at least. Ooh, did I never get this? Well, there's some souls right there. Up I go. Well, I'm gonna use my one thing of grass for the moment, but I'm gonna definitely save up more. They're the fucking spear enemies that I fucking suck terribly against. I mean, you can fall down a cliff. You know what? I'm gonna go a different way. I don't feel like you guys are worth the trouble right now. If you wanna jump down a cliff to chase me, feel free to. I'm not gonna stop you from doing that one either. La -de -da -de -da. Moving back over this way. Should be a few more enemies down here. Wow. Do you have something? Yeah, you have some, a little bit more grass for me. I got one here. I got something. I'm being a little bit reckless with them. I shouldn't be as reckless, especially since I'm trying to save them. No, I'll try doing more parries. It's been a while since I practiced the parry. Another one down for the camp. There's one more enemy in this area. He's over here. There he goes. What a trooper. Decides to spin to win. I'm going to take the long route because I want to get all of the souls I can before I get to the guy who sells the stuff that will give me more souls. I forgot about you. I remembered you when I saw your shadow, but I forgot about you. Wait. I was just imagining that. Thank you, boo. That could have gone a lot worse. Could have gone a lot better too. Big 
Nigaloo to all of you. You're lucky that that was my sword swinging direction. Hello, sir. I mean, souls are good. I'm also just kind of secretly hoping that we're also going to be dropping items that did my thing, no, sir. I was going to go and try and see if I before you attacked me. Alas, alas. Bum, 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 bum. The song from the boss is now stuck in my head because it's kind of like a little bit. Bum, 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 bum. Type 2. I guess I can just fucking revive as a human, sure. I probably shouldn't do that yet, actually. Now hold out. I'm a little bit worried about these guys. If I die of them, then all the souls in that arena are gonna be lost. Come on down, the water's fine! I did that too early, I'll know. Well, I'm near death's door. I guess that's a sign I should turn human again. Unfortunately, if I die again, I literally cannot turn human again. So just don't die! It's very rare I get 10 in time. Now they're starting to give me healing items. And more souls, so that's a good combo. No ones with fire weapons. I think I've got throwing knives. Give me a second. Whip. Throwing knives. They're somewhere here. There they are. He's gonna drop the rest of the way. We. Off the cliff there. Alright, slowly collecting souls. There's actually quite a few soul opportunities here. So I'll be able to get a lot of healing items, and I can probably go back to the arena when I feel like I have optimal stuff. Firebombs? I'm getting firebombs. That's probably why I picked up the other guy, too. Stuff that earlier. And I'll take care of this single guy up here being such a wise, tough guy. I was thinking about dodging, but I decided I was gonna charge you because I don't have to focus on your enemies. But then in this case, they have one spear guy over here who I'm not great with spear guys. Then I've got the fucker over there who's gonna kick my ass if I go back towards him. I'm not ready for that fight yet either, but I know he's there. And we got one of these fuckers, so I just fucking love. Adore him. I do really great against this one. 
He did give me grass, though, so I can't complain too hard, I guess. Go over this way. There's a few more enemies. I can gain souls from down here. Yep, they kill themselves. Like easy souls. They even drop something here for me. Oh, and I need more of that, so that's good. Definitely at least one more here. I'll take care of him just because I can. Okay. Back up I go in my soul farming collecting fun. Next stop, a bunch of healing items. There's gonna be a bunch of enemies up ahead, which I can take care of. I've taken care of most of the real big toughies already, so. Let's go this way. Exit stage arena. This guy's gonna throw a firebomb at me, because that's what he likes doing. There goes that fella. Shopkeeper is to the right of me. First, trigger these guys. Come easy go, as they say. I'll drop down here. <laughs> oh, Not a second time, sir. Half moon. Oh boy, 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 boy. Sir, I was quite right for you. Need some grass, go over here. This that dude trying to hide. Uh, there's gonna be several enemies over here. Nope. These just stay dead, I guess. Now I know. One of the very few enemies that stay dead, am I bad? Oh, I guess they were part of a side quest, so that makes some sense. Okay, you're up next, Joe. You even got some soldiers. Well, is for me. I still need to figure out bleeding this mechanic, because I haven't really experienced that too much yet. guys that I've hit with one and didn't take down immediately, so I guess congrats to you. Just running around collecting the souls so I can get some more healing items so I can go back to that boss fight with actual healing items, because I'm not great at it yet. Rush through here. Now there's you at the end of the corridor here to say hi to me, what a cutie. Easy peasy. Oh boy, that did not go ideally. But when you are still alive. Oh, or, or is it the fucking bow and arrows that are shooting a bajillion times at me? I'll heal a little bit here. That's okay. Rush on back up. aren't so much in my face. Okay, I'm going after one of the bow and arrow enemies. Or, right, you have to go over here first. Hello, bow and arrow guy. Death is now. There's going to be a blue knight guy up here. Hello, blue knight guy. That 
that was an easy one. There he goes all the way down there. Of course, it's some soul collecting. I'm gonna do one thing and get some easy souls over here. do with more grass. Now there's some more enemies over there which are worth some more soul value I guess, but honestly I don't think they're worth the trouble. Um, there's a shit ton of them over there. And I just don't think they're worth the effort. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, so after raiding this area there's like a few more enemies I could fight I suppose, but I'm okay without the ones I haven't taken care of. Here, take care of this last guy. Wow, look how he went down. True winner. Run back over here. I could think about fighting the red faced guy right now, but I don't really feel like it. Oh, he moved from here permanently. I thought he was going to be here. I mean, I guess I can still be in the head with all the souls I've collected. I get a few more souls on the way there, and then we get some more souls in the arena. You know, it's just a big old soul parade, I guess you can even call it. But, I digress. We're going to be going back to Dragon Road in a second. I now have a lot more souls to buy a lot more grass with. Mmm, grass. <laughs> I guess I'll go down this way, because it is here in the fastest way, so I guess that makes sense. Wow, I too can run in squares. Watch as I fuck this up and like fall down and lose a bunch of health in the process. Ooh. Now a reverse square. It's still the same, it's just a different direction that was. Oh, oh. I tried rolling out of the way, but I was, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what is this going on here? I think I was seeing my sword over and over again against the thing. That was pretty shitty of me. Okay. Out of the way. I'm gonna fight all the little guys down here. Run across the arena. Now that I've collected uh, some more souls. I'll get some more from this bit. I'm also gonna fight the fucking doggos, because they get me more souls. I'm fucking gonna be a murdering pioneer in my time and day and age. I knew you were going to stab me, but I was hoping to get behind this one before you did. Yep. I am doing pretty bad against you in particular. That's all I want you to fight through here. Now we're returned to Dragon Road, everybody's favorite place where all the dragons are. Come on, dragon, 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 you see me. You see what I'm up to. There goes the dragon friend, destroying the pathway from you and me. I'm making time for goes all rar. And because I'm specifically after souls right now, I'm gonna put everybody in the bases. You up there, you're a base too, right? Hoping I hit him before he hit me, but at last that was just a foolish More of 
that grass, man. basement route for a second. I'm not going to take basement route all the way. I'm going to take care of some enemies, which I feel like are easier from this direction than the other direction, like the doggos. There's one single enemy behind us. To the left, up ahead. Not yet. I guess it's this corner. There he is. Give me your soul. Let's continuing to run this way. There'll be another behind the corner enemy. To the left. Here, oh, next corner, next corner, here, and now shields up for the enemy that jumps out of the dark. Oh, he has some more moon grass on him, I can't complain about that. This is the part I have to be very, very careful, because I can spawn either a few dogs at once, or several dogs at once. I think I see one of them just standing right there. I think I got several of them at once, which is not the ideal. Oh, if I fucking die here, I'll be fucking pissed off. I was healing. Well, I do get all my souls back, I guess. But I do lose the souls that were left in the arena, which is kind of sad. But it's not the worst loss. Um, ultimately, I guess how I could think of it is that if as long as I don't die again to the puppers, that's a gross. fucking grind for more grass. I just take grass. <laughs> okay. That does mean I lost my humanity, though, and that fucking sucks. But hey, gotta roll with the punches. Don't let them throw their little spheres, they do. Hi. That actually does suck a lot. I fucking lost my humanity. I should have waited for that, but and I thought that even at the time I didn't have any healing items right at that point, so I kind of needed to. But hey, hey, hey. Circle around here. Some of their enemies gonna fucking appear. I wonder if it could be a dragon. What a mystery. Run over that! I'm determined to beat this boss before I defeat or before I end this session. Like I am really determined. Since I'm still trying to do soul collecting to get a lot of healings before I go back to the boss arena, especially since I'm beating now. Oh boy, I should run away from this guy just for a little bit. I am so bad against spirit. That one was really bad. I can't see you trying to fucking pull up that spear. I hate you so much, actually. That might be a give up point for me, because I was saving up for grass for a little bit. Oh, that was a terrible ending. I know I was holding one of these, I guess two of these. Use item. Use item. But that did not. That, that felt bad. That felt very bad. Okay, I'll fucking... I'll do it one more time. There's a reason I'm gonna do it one more time. I've lost my souls. I'm not gonna be able to beat this boss this session. I don't feel like maybe if I really, really tried, I, I could do it again, but I'm like, I'm getting a little bit fatigued. But I'm gonna try one more thing. I'll do one more thing. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for that. I need to get a few more souls to do what I want to do. And then I'll try one more thing. What do I have available to me right now? Options. Yes. Don't fucking die of these things with any sailor souls right now. Grass. 
I'll take whatever I just picked up. I have no idea what I picked up. I'm not saving up for grass right now, I decided. I got enough grass for what I... Because since I'm not going to be tackling the boss right now, I'm going to go for my souls, and then I'm going to go back. That was a bit foolish of me to fucking challenge this right now. But I did do it. All I want is my soul back. And I'll fucking kick this guy's ass because I fucking hate him. I fucking hate you, spear enemies. Are you fucking kidding me? Souls, your soul. I'm getting a little bit angry. Rage is kicked. You know what? Since I'm not gonna be fucking caring about rolling for a little bit, let me go over here. So I'm better. My patience is gonna be worn a little bit thin, so I'm gonna be fucking fat rolling again. That's okay with me. The speed difference is definitely noticeable after I've been running a little bit faster for a while. That should be enough souls for my need. This is the shield. Head on down here. I will unequip this for a second because I'm going to go back. Unequip, unequip. I should be faster again. Move over this way. The best way to trigger this. Plus, I'll get more souls for this. Look, magical souls, all for me. Well, that was a close one. I would have actually died if I fucking stayed there a little bit longer. Oh, that would have sucked. Get my stamina back, so I can just run through this room. Oh, hey, I missed the thing that was going over here, probably because I was trying to rush on through. Got some stuff from him. That's fine, that's dandy. I have enough souls to probably upgrade a little bit more, and then I can try another zone. I'll come back to Dragon Road another time. I've got the path line memorized, and I'll come back when I'm a little bit stronger. Just a little bit stronger. Back to the hub. Hello, peoples. You are going to Thou seeketh so then. Yep. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Okay. So what do I need more than anything else right now? From its Luck vessel. is nice, but not really what I need. Let Faith and magic. I, I so am going to be dealing with many. poison stuff, so maybe this. A plague so and poison are two things I'm going to deal a lot with. What makes plague better? Does nothing make plague better? I guess that's just like the good old days. Safer landing. Attack power. Like this one almost does nothing for me. Magic power, that would increase that substantially. But I'm not really using magic right now. Miracle power, I'm not using miracles right now. That would give me one miracle memory, though. But at the moment, I think what I need more is either vitality... Strength will do, like, nothing for me right now. Dexterity... Will do, like, almost nothing for me right now. Vitality... I guess vitality is the thing which I'm definitely going to be needing the most right now, so sure. La di da. Art thou done? I guess so. May thine strength help the world be mended. That's the hope. It's something trade with yours. Can you repair my weapon? No. I can't upgrade. No interest, eh? I can tell you're not going to last long. How is my dexterity on this thing? I do have other swords, of course, but I've been using this a lot. Ah, it's gonna be a break in level soon. I should probably switch out. Until I can, like, repair it. So, replace this. Uh, let me look at some of the weapons I've been picking up. Damage reduction, some of it's a decrease. All of it's a decrease from what I currently am using, but not all of it is bad. A 
Spike shield? I have a second wooden shield, I guess. A spike shield seems better. I guess I can try using a spear for a little bit. I definitely have had annoyances with spears, I can say that much. I had a lot of spears, so... But what spear is best? so many wind spheres. Fuck it, I'll take it. And then I'll make a second weapon in case I really like that one. 70. This one's 87. That one's my good one, but it's almost dead. Another wind sphere. Oh yeah, all the wind spheres I can eat. I guess I'll try the familiar on this hand. And yeah, over here. I'm gonna be entering the poison place, so I guess I'm gonna do this. Hope my poison resistance helps. That's the hope. Okay. I'm going to the poison place. The damp valley is the resting place of those who have been thrown away. Overtaken by poison and plague, the dwellers attacks anyone who wanders in the valley hoping to offer his souls to the one who showed compassion. Before I do that, let me go back to my equipment. I have like clothes that apparently help a lot with the plague. Poison resistance, plague resistance. It's not as powerful as these gloves in a lot of ways. But it is lighter and it does do that for me. Wait, I also need to write fucking killing items from this stored away in this guy. I almost forgot I have stuff stored away. Hello again. I'm keeping talking. If only something. Nope. Firstly, deposit some things. I do not need this many fucking spheres in my inventory. I guess keep the wooden shield in case I need it, but get rid of this fucking slave shield. Wooden catalyst. I don't know what that... Well, I'll get rid of the things I do know I can get rid of. Weak spear, weak spear, weak spear. Da 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 da, bastard sword. I'm not really using the dagger right now, put the dagger away. Heavy arrow. Da 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 da. I'll keep that in case I side switch off. That'd be good if I'm gonna play the bleed anytime soon. For now, I'll keep it on hand in case I need it. Shard of Hearthstone. This is mostly for crafting stuff. Over here. Um, put six of these away. I'm gonna be doing stuff with poison soon, so I do want to keep that. I'll put it this way. You know, I'm not returning to the Nexus. Wait, does this not? Let's see. A shard of shade to the dark stones that are shattered. Well, also that's used by Nexus, dark stone, and all mental trust to the other bulls. I forgot to now the left foot. So this one returns you to the Nexus without losing all of your souls. That makes actually more sense. That means I'll keep one of them in hand. I'll pull one of them away just so I have it for later. Magic, throwing knives, firebomb. Yep. That's you have a heart of gold. Don't. You have a heart of gold. Sorry, sorry, I've heard that a few times. And now I'm going to enter the Valley of Defilement. We're taken by poison and plague. The, the dwellers attack anyone who wanders to the valley hoping to offer souls to the woman who showed compassion. Going on in. Wow. Inside the swamp of poison. Here I am. There's how I get back. Do I do a small roll or a big roll right now? I've got a heavy roll. Okay, so if I'm going to lean into my heavy roll, so I'm not taking off these gloves, they make the play go away more. Actually, wait, that is what I forgot to do. I forgot. The, one of the reasons I fucking talked to him. Part of the reason I talked to him 
Now I just can't stand in front of him. Hello again. I'm keeping a close. I have stuff to take. I need to look at some stuff about this. It's the armor I need to look at. I think the slave stuff helps against plague. I need to confirm that, but... Just give me a second, let me take my raggedy old robes. My old ragged boots. You have a heart of gold. And I still confirm this. I saw that the gloves would resist against stuff. Will this help against plague? That will increase my plague resistance. And that probably means these shoes will help me against the plague too. Okay. So Actually I kinda look. And I'll just roll like this. Yeah, that does allow me to fast roll, even with my silly little helmet on. Alright, I'm lower defense, but I've got bigger plague resistance. That's kind of what I wanted to go for, so I guess that works. Selen Vinman. Here I be. Poison land. I don't, I'm not great against poison resistance, but poison and plague or over worn will be here. I pick up. I, saw, I should stop mastering the button sometimes when I go into places just to see what I'm actually picking up here. Well, hopefully I'm okay with poison and plague. Rickety old rickety place. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I'm definitely gonna try. No, most definitely gonna try. There's a pathway on over there. Just seeing if there was something over here. Doesn't seem to be. I swear I saw like a pickup icon for a second, but maybe it was crazy. Okay, so you're an enemy. Definitely higher defense. Then again, I'm also using a weaker weapon. It's not like something breaking. Yes, that was an early warning to be careful of that. Stepping into holes. Is this attackable? Yes, it is. I also remember I've got further distance because I'm using a sphere, so I need to get as close as I was to the other time. Sure is raining out there in the darkness. Reowned Hero Soul. I'm not used to using this fear. Oh boy, am I about to get my ass handed by this fucker? Partially because I don't know how to use this fear. You're not dead yet? No, you're dead. I almost fucking went off a cliff. You do to you. Oh boy, I don't think I'm ready for this zone. But hey, I'm here. I'm gonna use the sword for a bit. I'm more used to the sword than the sphere. The sphere definitely probably has the pieces. Okay, so both these rings work. This seems like a dangerous place for me, but I'm gonna try my best. I hear clouds that, uh, I thought there was like something coming behind me almost. Yeah, I'm much better than that. I'm 
place with no music, just ambient so far. You're alive. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit better grasp on those enemies at least. I'm not going to climb down yet. Oh boy. Morning Star. I'll see about that in a little bit. Oh, oh, oh boy, sir. You were a little bit eager to see. Oh boy, you were really eager to see me. Oh boy, getting a feel for this. Oh, I am going to die so much here. Getting a feel for it. It definitely feels very shantily put together. I can destroy this right as I can. Yep. Yeah. Do I have any other healing items outside of at the moment? Equipment. I'm not going to use this anytime. So I, I think fire would probably work well against them, but no, it's not my priority right now. That's my only healing item. I guess I'll use it because I do think it's not going to put me in the full health, but I guess it did. Operate. He just gave up on life. Oh boy, I don't want to fall off here. Rock in a hard place. Stamina in the back. There he goes. There he definitely goes. Make sure I don't fall with them. That's one of my bigger goals right now. Oh boy. Trickery, treachery. I see a guy up there. I don't know if that's like a dead corpse or a guy. It's definitely a place to maneuver. Okay, I say the ridge over there can lead to him. And to get over there, there's a roundabout way because I need to climb up here and then go over there. I'm figuring it out. I think it's the first time they're going to climb the ladder. Okay. Best way would be to get here. Actually, I'll probably yeah, I could just got here without going up there. I'm silly. I crisscross the bridge. Look at a nice waterfall. That's a nice waterfall. Talisman of God, Widow, Lotus. What are these things on it? Are those like little spiders? It's like little insect things on it. Drop down here now. Oh boy. I was afraid I was about to drop a little bit more than I wanted to. Oh boy, I don't want to die. I also don't want to get killed by you, but I don't want to fall down whatever pit that is. I guess it wasn't that deep. I don't have any healing items. I need to find healing items. Was the white lotus do? I guess I'll look at the menu stuff and figure that out. White lotus heal users from plague. Okay, I guess that makes sense. 
I don't have any healing items. Part of me thinks I should just return now. What happens if I attack this? Nothing. Okay, okay. And the send continues, and hopefully the next enemy I meet doesn't kick my ass. That was a trickery and a half. last guy fucking kicks my ass on my fucking screen. I'm being so fucking cautious with him. To the point I'm actually just gonna fucking run. At the very least I want to get like one more thing. Oh no. Well, I'm not getting these souls back. <laughs> that zone is doable. It is definitely stressful. I did get a few items from it though. I guess that's gonna count for something. I also have to go in with lower defense because I fucking have my plague fucking. Because you can only, I guess, ignore the plague through that. But I want to check out one more zone. Just kind of getting a feel. Just getting an idea of things. I know I'm probably very under equipped for a lot of these areas right now. But I want to see. Show me the Shrine of Storms. Dead sound. I'm probably not ready for dead things. Bio, the twin planes. I'm definitely not getting those souls back. I didn't have that old, like that many souls anyway, so it's not bad for ages to us. Isle of dead things. Hmm. Probably not gonna get very far in this, that's my prediction. First thing that almost kicks your ass by itself, that's probably a way to tell you that you're not ready for the zone. Like, I can kill it, but that took a while. I, mean, I don't have very many healing items. This is the best area? I believe it. 100%. I don't think I'm ready for this area, though. I think that first enemy was to show you if you're ready or not. And I guess I did kill it, but that doesn't give me confidence <laughs> that I'm ready to fight more of those things. That's just I came here with zero healing items. Is that bone arrow enemy up there? There's like 10 waiting. I will probably like this area, but I don't think I'm ready for it yet. I'm just gonna keep on rolling like a big ol' fat so who doesn't have this things collected because I've got too much armor and I need to get more souls so I can carry some more. I'm just looking at the area. Let's just gain an idea of what each one kind of looks like. You also get your health back when you back to Nexus, so it kind of helps. What does this place look like? Tower of Lateria. I think it'll be A-OK. -okay. Totally, because it's the place at the end, does that not mean this is probably a very difficult location? It's not like the last location was like the one furthest away that you can enter. It kind of like a prison. Probably because it is a prison. A Guide of Guidance. But it is definitely a torture prison dungeon thing. Hmm? I see. Well, I guess I'm bucking the trend because I'm sort of experimenting with them right now. A guide of guidance. Okay, so it's a guiding light. I get that. What does that mean? A cell that temporarily radiates light when it comes to contact with air. It's probably. Okay, so this is like a place where I have to use light stuff to move. That makes some sense, actually. I see that guy running around over there with a the lantern. If 
appears to be locked. Kind of <laughs> Give me your souls. Probably because I was killing guards, one of them. Yep. I lured the guards. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. So because I was killing prisoners, I, that was what the weird bell sounds were. It was because I was learning guards, I suppose. And I tried this area before, and I felt like I was a little bit too weak for this area. But then I feel like I don't want to go up against the boss. I'll try this area. It feels like the area where I can probably get a little bit more ahead right now. A lot of the enemies are very non-hostile anyways in this area. Though there was one thing that was going to happen very early into this place. Because I already went to this place once. The guys are going to be throwing boulders. That's what they like doing. They like throwing boulders. I'll wait till they both throw balls at the same time. I forget they have the lasting hit response, which sucks. Okay. Look at them, the goblins go. They're working all day as they throw. Goblins do work hard, you see? They'll look over here, because one... I don't need to disturb the ones that are eating. There's no reason to. I guess if I want souls. Will they all start attacking me at once? Like this one will attack me, just because that one wasn't doing his job in the first place. It's kind of hard to lock onto him. I don't know if I'm going to attack him. He's about to roll away. I forgot how fucking slow his molasses right now. I just need to attack him. I remember the goblins are like fucking really slow. Ow, I got my ass handed to me. Wow. I had to kill them fine last time. I think it's because I'm a lot slower than I'm thinking I had a hard time locking on them. I might want to unequip some things, but also I kind of need the defense. Hmm, how should I go about this? I think the helmet's the thing I need the least. That gets the less defensive boost. If I'm like this, can I just roll fine again? Nope, it's because I'm having the shield, isn't it? Okay, okay. I'm gonna put the shield spear. And that allows me to go faster if I put the spear, I guess. A little bit of speed and the spear is a little bit less. I hate that the rock stuff has like a lasting hitbox after really they destroy it. Mostly destroy it. Alright, well, first of my souls, my delight, my souls. There you are, the one that's in the box. you're very predictable. You keep on going forward and using that. I'd probably do it like a. Let me try a counter strike against him. I'll try to use a different attack for I failed the counter strike, but now I'll be able to hit him anyways. I, that did not go as well. Boy, time roll. I don't have healing items, that's the problem with this. I'll be able to beat this guy. I am not ready for the zone. In fact, that is probably a sign I should just go back. But I'm curious. Can't tackle them one at a time. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready for this area either, unfortunately. Running on back. I think the poison area is the area that I'm the most ready for, but it's definitely not. I, I need healing items before I go into there. I'm not getting many healing items from there. So, what I need to prioritize again is healing items, of fucking course. Healing it all comes back down to that. And then I think I can take on the poison swamp right now, but. I'll grind them a little bit, and I'll fucking go. I'll go to the one guy over there and get his fucking plant stuff. Get all this grass, and then I'll go on to the next area. I won't grind for too many like that, so I'm not trying to grind for the fucking boss. Of that. Remember, I am patience. I need to relearn how to fucking 
I've actually learned something important here. This shield strike is a lot slower than the one I'm used to. As I was trying to time that correctly, I just realized from that, that shield strike is a lot slower than the one I'm getting used to with the wooden shield. Poison swamps. I'm also gonna practice. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see that guy there. Grab him. I'm gonna actually try and guard against you. So it's not like three really attacking the other ones. Nope. The timing is so much slower than it used to be on the other shield. I should probably just switch to my other shield. I have so much difficulty with timing on this one. At least the timing on this one for the parry is like super easy, all the other ones are very sluggish. Alright, some moon grass. Let's go over this way. Sir, I'm gonna try practice the parry with you now. I've got the fan I'm used to for parry. Oh, nope, but he kicked my ass. Wow, that's a sign I'm getting rusty. I gotta be able to, like, my souls are like, right there. You know, they're gonna be super easy to grab again. I am definitely getting rusty. Alright, let's go ahead and use over here. Lock all of them. No one has my anger yet, so that's good. Practice the timing on this. Otherwise, I'm gonna get my ass hand be like, I'm right now. Also, because I took care of the shield, I can probably put on these again. No, that's awesome. Is that. Can I put these in? Yeah, that's fine. gonna break out here. I was hoping they might give some healing items as well. They're gonna be the one that breaks out first because the other one won't really do anything. Come over here, buddy. I'm gonna practice parrying you. You're the parry practice buddy. Come here, boy. You got this. Do your little leap thing. Or you're come over here. Messed up. I need to practice. Come on, sir. I still need to practice parrying. So I'm not going to waste my healing items on this because I need to get more effect. I don't even have any healing items. So there's a portal right here. I'm going to take it back. I'm going to repair one thing, which might make this a little bit easier for me. It is going to cost money to repair, but I can get more souls back anyway, so it's whatever. It's something trade with your... Repair my equipment. Please repair this for me. Other stuff I don't care as much about at the moment. I don't have enough to upgrade. What do I need to upgrade this case? That's what I've been using recently. I have five, that's for four, that's for a plus two, and I need $630 for that. Okay, okay. I don't understand what this upgrade's about, but sure. I can make it to the plus two, which will put its attack to, yeah. You yeah, come back cool. alive. I will teleport here. And I need to get. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a soul run. Ideally, I'm gonna get 1,500 souls to the castle area. I will equip my main sword right now here. The main sword I'm using for right now. Voila. 
I guess I'll unequip the other sword because of weight reasons. If that allows me to run past her again. Okay, I'm saving up for several things right now because of course I... <laughs> Very practice. Did I do a parry attack? I was like kind of doing the animation for it, but. Try a parry again, whatever parries. I kind of suck him terribly at this right now against really, really basic, easy enemies. What am I attacking with? Do I not have a weapon? Oh, I'm stupid. I was punching them. I was wondering why this felt different. Well, for that little blunder, I'll fight them again. I guess in a way that gets me more souls, but that's not exactly the ideal way I would imagine. I think I should set that to my primary weapon slot because um I'm just half in there. <laughs> don't mind me, I just like punching foes, don't you know? One of my favorite pastimes. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a solid one in a second. Probably the ideal way for me to get souls. Should I try find the guy upstairs? I'm not right. I'm, I'm like getting rusty because I'm a little bit fatigued for playing for several hours. Um, but I do want to get the souls and I wanna try one more time with the poison area. So. No, sir. I guess this is a way to grind. It's not the ideal way I imagine, but it's definitely a way. I'll do it one more time, just because I do not want. I want to practice with them and so get myself back into the groove of this. Return to the Nexus, yes. I'm gonna try parrying, I'm gonna try dodging, I'm gonna try to defeat them without getting hit. They're the very basic enemies. I'm getting a little bit lazy with them so that I can just defeat them with one hit with so easy right now. But it's good to get into the habit of taking care of them, as opposed to just avoiding them all the time. Okay, okay. She only summoned one of them, though. It's ideal for what I want to do. Practice, practice, practice. Practice, parry, and speed. So I'll try and parry more in the swamp when I go there next time. I know they have spears and also swords, but same sort of difference. This way, so they'll be coming to more of a line. In that case, I'll have messed up that, but I did not get hit, so I guess I can say that victory. You, sir. Now since I'm trying to get souls, probably the better way for me to do this is to go this way. It's the longer route. Right now I'm not trying to get to any place, I'm just trying to get souls. Wall. I love walls, don't mind me. Any absolutely healing items. I'm both trying to get healing items, um, souls, and other things right now, so yeah. I think I tried locking on the Try and parry in the dark. Easy peasy. 
Easy. And now it's the knights, which give me a little more souls than the slaves for some reason. It's always, you know, Oh, they both drunk in the Firebomb and Moongrass. I will take both of those, thank you very much. And now, can I get to this guy before he throws a Firebomb at me? Yes, I can. He does that like half the time. Woo! Woo! This guy's gonna throw Firebombs behind me. And look at past him. Late to the party, but sure. Moving over this way. This guy's gonna be here. Now there's gonna be two knights up here as I try and save up for a few more souls. Out. The fire's fine. That gives me a chance. Oh, yep. There we go. Some more grass for me. Now there's gonna be a bone arrow guy. It'll just fire once at me, but we won't get a chance to fire twice. Well, we can see you get a chance to fire twice, but he didn't miss, so it's okay. Hey, the spear guys now. Precious items. I am not ready to fight the enemy on the bridge yet. I know how to cheese him a little bit, but I, maybe I should cheese him. Right, well, first I'll do what I need to do over here. This guy drops something. Nice. Could definitely use more healing items. <laughs> Don't mind the frag doll. Yeah, I'm just having some fun with that. I don't like you guys, but I know how to defeat you. Rust. Eat some grass. Whoop. He's gonna try and eat. I predicted he was gonna try and eat something, I'm not sure. Okay, if I can defeat the one enemy, that'd be great. I'm not gonna fight all the enemies in this area, though this is the best area in the first level to uh, grind souls, because there's quite a few enemies in here. And a lot of them are the like, easy peasy ones. <laughs> da, 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 da. Maybe I should grind a little bit for souls, but this area is also a little bit redundant because there's so many different enemies. Before the fucking bow and arrow enemies become a super huge nuisance. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna do some stuff to get some souls here. Wow. Gave me more moon grass. Not gonna complain about that. Running up the bill. Hello up here, up sir. You're here to defend your turf. I'll let you come right down right here. And then we'll do the do. Because him having the upper hand is right the one on me. Almost forgot. Oh, wow. You said, well, actually. <laughs> that guy's coming. This is a nice, more open area, maybe, for this fight. Oh, 
Too bad to do that. Roll away. I'm gonna eat grass. I'm gonna fucking run away from you for a little bit. This is like the worst place I could have fought you. I'll lead them back over here, I think. He'll charge if he charges, and if he dies, he'll die. It's true looking, uh, touching grass, just straight up eating it all the time. Every single day. Remember, kids, always eat your grass. Bunch of these enemies. So I was about to say it should be easier because I'm not taking your fucking fucking my life. That win is about as horribly as it possibly could have gone. Survived, but that was about the worst outcome. So, yep. Strength. Right. There he goes down here. I've actually never come to this area from this side of things. Oh, you're supposed to see the intimidating guy at this end of the hallway. I get it. That actually makes more sense than every single time I've been through. I think it's just a three, like, thrust thing. He grass, he grass, he grass, while he's busy showing off, whatever he's doing. Well, he almost killed me. He's going for the three hit kill. Oh, he got the kill. Right side, all my souls are right there. I know exactly where that is. I guess in my technical... Aha, I guess that's going to be to my advantage type of fake speech I'm going to make right now. I can just make up the excuse that I can just grab all my souls and I'll have more souls. I'm going to take the slightly faster route to get back there, though. I want to go through everything again. Should have locked on if I was trying to try and Okay. Here, I need to make sure I don't die again. Should be easy. Not being impatient. Another slave shield. I need to stop picking those up. I'm not actually using them. Souls. And I'll get the rest another time. Actually, this is the way I should go. I was about to go the other way, but I was like, wait, that would get me more souls. But right now I want to go the slightly faster route. Going back up, there's one of those two of them that come down. I'm gonna have to fight a few more of those fucking Moon Knight guys I fucking love so much, but... You know, at some point, they become like family. Hello? 
Mr. Blue Knight, sir. I'm over here just to fucking poke you with the sword, don't mind me. Is that what you like to do? It's that what it looks like what you like to do. Again, some of us have a really easy time with them. Try and kill yourself alright, coward, coward, coward. Here, throw your fire like the fire crazed man you are. I was hoping that was not what's gonna happen when I charge forward. But it is what happens, I just have to accept the truth. Shortcut to this place, just right on down here. There he goes. Main problem out of the way right there. And I guess because I'm in the neighborhood, I'll take care of the other things around here. Come over here for me, you fella. them over this way and shacking over here there's nothing that's okay with me i'm here to get my souls back they're right down that hallway actually i should probably just go grab them there they are voila and i do have enough souls to do all the stuff i actually wanted to do originally but hey i'll just do it again Plus, since I'm over here, I might as well take care of like the easy pile of enemies over there to the left. Watch these things I call easy enemies. I'll come and fucking kick my ass. I'm not gonna have to go back here again. I was hoping to get to you before then, but that's okay. Go down here, because I'm gonna be stupid. I'm gonna mostly try and tank this. Because. I think I can. Oh boy, oh boy, but not like that. Grass? I decided I was mostly going to tank that. It almost went badly for me, but thankfully it ultimately did not. Okay. Still a few more enemies to fight through, then I'll have 4,000 souls, and that should give me one upgrade, some grass, and an ability to upgrade my weapon. Oh, I unequipped my weapon. <laughs> I do want to unequip some of the stuff I have. Like, I don't actually want to use anything I have equipped, so I might as well have it equipped if I'm not going to actually use any of it, right? <laughs> I did not do great. I think I did badly hit the last time too, which kind of sucks. All the fucking bow and arrow enemies were fucking giving me some trouble. I'm gonna run over here, I'm gonna eat some grass. And now I'll take care of these fucking bow and arrow guys. They're definitely giving me some nuisances. Another one bites the dust. Rolling upstairs, another one goes, and another one bites the dust. And then your corpse today? Nope. Okay. Oh, 
That was a really easy time taking care of one of those things. Coming for you next, man. Sir. Really whatever you prefer. And then since I'm gonna be running back in just a second. Da -da -da -da. Go my marbles. There they all go. I have over 4,000 souls. I probably need about 2,000. Yeah, I need to get a few more souls, but I'll get them on the way as I try and get to the guy who sells grass. But that will be the ideal. down here. I'm a little bit too familiar with this area at this point in time. I need to draw something. Just a bolt, though. Unfortunately, the shopkeeper that was over here moved on to the Dragon Road area, which means I need to go deal and go out of my way to go get him. Should I risk trying to fight the red guy? Nope. He will definitely kick my ass. He'll attack me in two hits and I'll be dead. Also, he's a very relentless attacker, so it's very likely to get hit twice. I don't know what I thought about for a second. The answer is nope. That is a terrible idea, Ryan. Time for me to do my square trip rounds around this. Running on down through a square. Don't mind me, I'm lowering myself as I go down the square. This is the roundabout point. Continuing to go down the square. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. And now, to do the things I want to do so I can fucking move on to the next area. Uh, that. You know, that's a little bit of a waste of grass, but I sort of need it for the place I'm about to rush into. Just sort of, though. Actually, I could have just gotten there and healed. That would have been a better idea. Oh well. Time to charge. Time for my favorite part, where I fucking have to deal with the dragon road. Yeah, I should wait for him. I was thinking maybe I should just run for it, but I feel like he'll return from his lap before not. Goes. See, patience is a virtue. Now, go destroy these guys just because I want the items they drop and the experience, but I'm actually not going to take the trip. Take a look. And if you drop any items, one of you did actually. Which means I'm running back before I can get burnt. Come with me to the base of the spear guy. I don't like you. I'll go over here to let the spear guy both come down. I'm also going to take care of this guy off the head. I'm going to pass this corner. Voila. All the souls I can eat. Did the spear guy give up or did he decide to give chase? Don't hear him, don't see him. That's the next corner where the guy's hiding. Shiny on you, right? Wow. And now for the several doggies, which I need to set off at the right time and order, or otherwise it's going to become a mess. Think about healing. Do I have a better healing item? Yes, I do. I have it equipped. Okay. 
Better by worse, because I didn't want to use one of my bigger healing items. I should clarify that, maybe. Baby steps to try it. Not trigger all the dogs at once. Baby steps is killing dogs. Eat some grass. That should be the bone arrow guy up ahead. Bravo, bravo, this. There's the shopkeeper I know and love. Hello. Okay, so I still need to save money for the road there. I could also brand some tools for some of that. Hmm. I will buy ten, nine of these. I will buy one of these. Thanks the for rest. that. Yep. I'll do a few more things to get some souls back. I think that's what I can afford. And the other things should come pretty naturally. And the two bow and arrow enemies up here are little pansies. Take the easy route, but who wants to do that? I do. More soldier lasses. That's apparently what I'm here for. It's not what I'm here for. Not here to fight the boss again. Oh boy. On the right side, those souls will be super easy to get. And I guess theoretically I got more souls, whatever. And I did already buy some grass. I do not want to lose those souls, though. But I should have probably just taken the lower path because I already cleared it. And the dragon's a little bit risky to run against. But hey, it is what it is. Hopefully it'll get me to enough souls that I need to do what I need to do. I think it should, but, you know, I won't know until I know. Look at that majestic beast. Sure would be a shame for it to come and destroy a lot of barriers for me. I'm running on through the way. Going over here just to get my souls back. I got a few more souls on the way there too. It should be like right here ahead of me. Fuck are my souls? This is about where I died, right? I died right here. Oh, I see where my souls are. That was not where I died, but I guess it's just a close approximation. I mean, I guess I technically get more souls. Yeah, if or not. I died at that point. That's the bridge where I shouldn't run back. I don't think you have enough time to get away from the dragon for them. I mean, 
I can excuse it and say, no, I can't get some more souls because the fucking bodies it kills that you automatically souls from. It's not even a whole lot, so. That's okay. Pass them through the area. Hey, okay. Just gonna piss off a dragon. Because the dragon wants to be pissed off. Dragon, hey, look, it's a stinking hot pile of human flesh. That seems to guy his attention. Kentucky Fried Human, how could it resist, really? Unfortunately, it also has very bad eyesight. Should probably wear glasses. Let's go over this way. So now I'll get my new stuff back over there. It's probably in the exact same position, because that's just an approximation of where I died. And I'll get more souls in the process. One way to be able to run back. It's, it's not how what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna actually be stupid and try one more time. But I think I know exactly what I need to time this. That was not the right time, actually. This is like a last minute cut edge. I need to like last minute time this. No, not then yet either. Like, I have to like last second. Let me look right here to see where the fire precisely stops. Okay, see, I'm fine like standing right here, but not much further than here. I'm gonna need like last second, split second time. To even like this. And if I get hit again, I'll fucking go back again. And I'll be fucking terrible and sucky, but I'll do it. I did it! I timed that one correctly. I'm actually the easier way, I think, to take care of this last one. Oh, hi, dragon! Oh, bye, dragon! Oh boy! <laughs> Whatever, don't heal. As long as I don't fucking get killed by these things over here, which I very well might actually. But then I can just get my souls from back here, and I guess that'd be fucking easy peasy. Don't mind me, sirs. Mams, whatever you want to be called. Yep. I got some healing items, I went, I traveled to all the different levels to see what they look like, and uh, sort of get a gauge, I want to go back to the poison area. But I decided I'd get enough souls in order to do a few things. Okay. So firstly, I can I want to upgrade my weapon, I'm going to upgrade the weapon which is currently my best weapon, to this. Yep. You come back noise. alive. Where's the madam? There's the madam. Thou seeketh so then tap. I seek soul power. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost. Does that even do anything for me? Like it literally vessel. just looks like it does nothing. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. Endurance makes the last sense because so I want more poison resistance. Uh, but then I also want health. Fuck, I'll do it like this. Stamina, equip burden, yeah, that's gonna be the best thing for me. Physical strength, fire defense. Okay. All part of the fun. Art thou done? Yep. Main that. And now I need to equip all my fucking poison armor. To for that. Because I'm going to be carrying out everything else I can equip, I can afford to put that on and this on. Put me in my old riggedy raggedy rags. And I 
I keep my hat. Uh, even with both these things, I should be able to do this fine because I know my super anti plague resistant thing. Okay. I think I have enough healing items to go in. I can also equip my anti poison things right now. Anti poison, anti plague. These don't want anything else. Negatory, not right now, at least I don't think. Okay. And that's not the poison level. The poison level's over here. Let's go, let's go. Poison plague. Poison plague's my favorite. <laughs> this no one ever anything. But what do I know? Two attacks from this sword as opposed to three, which does help a lot, actually. I don't think these enemies have a very high chance of dropping shit. I kind of get the impression they're all impoverished. Which would, you know, makes a lot of sense. Lost the area where enemies get back up from the dead. I need to remember that. I've seen them do it a few times now. I'm doing much better than I did last time, though. At least I got back in for me. I also came back a little bit more of this area as well. So that does help as well. Bowsies, J. Bowsies. I hope one of those fucking dropped out. Hit like I think I saw. They frankly deserve it. smart enough to figure this out? I hope not. I bet not even. I'm willing to bet you guys are not that smart. Well, that was a lot of fun. Okay. go down the pit. I'm doing much better when I got to this point now. Partially because the last time I came here I didn't have any fucking healing I was going this place. And I'm starting to learn that you guys are kind of super dumbasses. So you know all I really have to do to fucking win this these fights with these early ones over here. It's fucking be like, oh look where I am now. Well, they can't get up here, can they? There's like a little blockade here. That ended up working to my benefit. I'm actually a little bit surprised about that, but I'm, not, I'm definitely not like dismissing that. I'm grateful. Appreciate the small things in life, as they say.
They leave themselves open after their attack for a long while. It's pretty easy to have them. Pretty obvious they take care of them, I guess. Okay, seems fine. Seems dandy, even. This is the furthest I've been in this place, I think. Last time I fell off a cliff. I hear an enemy. Can I walk this way? But also I'm not that a bit. I was about to say as we were fucking caved in on this. Can they climb ladders? Where do those two come from right now? I'm tempted to throw a firebomb. Probably a little bit of a waste, but I kind of want to do it. Not there. A little bit of a waste, I guess, but it kind of was cool. Oh, you're still alive? I thought you were doing your death animation. You almost got me, buddy. Almost. Didn't make me eat grass, though. Hmm. Nope, not destructible. Like a little plank area here. Looks dangerous. I'll give it that. Oh, a fog barrier. Sure. Are you alive? I believe you're alive. I believe he was pulling off the long con zombie thing from Resident Evil. Oh boy. Oh, did I just jump on that enemy side? Is that what that damage I just did was? I can have an item. I didn't realize you two were having such a good time here. Lost poison. Oh boy. Poison resistance doesn't mean I'm resist completely from poison. That almost went really badly, but I guess I did survive it, so it doesn't really make you stronger, blah 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 blah. I don't think any of them are smart enough to fucking use bone arrows. Prove me wrong later, I guess. I was flying around? Oh, oh boy. I wasn't flying, I was hearing. Those are new. Let's take a good look to figure out what they are. A giant tick. Mmm. Cockroach type things. My favorite. You're definitely a faker. Yep. 
saw it coming too, which is the worst part about stuff like that, when you see it coming. Hmm. You're the fake hedgehog around. <laughs> yep. Don't worry, poison swamps are fine. Just gonna slow. <laughs> I guess jankily try and get on top of this board. This does seem like it's the optional way, which I am happy with. Saints robe, Saints gloves, Saints boots, Stone of Imperial Eyes. That all sounds pretty impressive. You're the guy that was faking earlier, aren't you? Oh, he just came and fucking vomited on me. I haven't seen that vomit attack yet. That was definitely what he just did. Okay, so equipment. What is, does the saint have better plague resistance than this? No, I don't have the right stuff for it. It has about the same amount. It or does it? It's like a little bit better. I'm assuming there's a reason I can't wear it yet. Male only. Well, that's sexist. <laughs> Wow. See, if it was like a certain form-fitting clothes, I think I might have understood the male-only or female-only sort of labels. But it's just a fucking robe. Continuing <laughs> on over this way. Moving on down to the bigger depths of the bog. Doop -de -doo -doo -dee -da. Anything around here? It's... There's somebody down here. You don't look like an enemy, though. Hello. Won't you buy something? My poor child is hungry. <laughs> I guess. You don't deserve to die. So let me give you some advice. This place is buzzing with pests, fattened on a diet of souls. Wow. In order to protect yourself, you must keep a lotus with you. The price of survival can never be too high, can it? How many years has it been? That witch Astraya came to this valley with that squid-headed knight. Those ridiculous white robes of hers. I swear I caught her glaring at my son in disgust. Yes, yes, it's true. She is as nasty as they come. And she's a demon to boot. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I like her. In order to protect yourself, the... Alright, so I'm assuming you sell lotuses for me. Yeah, okay. So for the record, her prices are jacked up. The stupid levels. I'm not sure about the armor so Curses, much. I wasted my breath on you. Did that witch send you to torment me? I don't think so, man. That's a pit of rats. Oh, look at them all crawl up here. I'm trying to figure, like, these definitely have to be what give you the plague. Literally, there's a plague. Sword, hit him! Literally fucking nightmares at these little things. I like you literally can't hit them. 
Those are like lower than they are. Thankfully, I've got big plague resistance, but. These little fucking nightmare creatures. Those things are fucking tough as hell because they're so small. Oh, fuck, there's more. I think I see the best way to take care of this last one. I say as I fucking fuck up, I was thinking. I like this tool. There's still two more. Okay. Okay, so this is gonna be a patience game. Doing the best I can. <laughs> Don't mind me. What do you got, sir? Is that another rat? I actually used to kill that one. I, killing them. I actually hate these enemies. Come on, you got this. It's partially because they're just a test of patience. Because so, I mean, I guess it works. They're their own little unique thing. You need to get the lower ground to them because your sword can't them otherwise. Any other rats around? They're like, woo, I want to check you out last moment. Bunch of rocks for the fun of it. I'll go over here and get this body first. See that dumb enemy? Yeah, I'm not. Can I make him walk off? No, put that there probably. You have to hit that from the other side. I can see it now. A little chasm. Of course, the last thing you want to see run out of you is just a giant one of those guys. Souls back, but uh, uh -huh. I'm going for those souls, but I think I might just backtrack from there. I don't think I can beat that thing, at least yet. La -de -de, la -de -de. I mean, I'll try, I guess. It wasn't exactly what I was expecting to see coming from the darkness at me, though. When it drops down, I do that. There he goes. I can drop down here to fund it. Three of them. That did a lot more damage than I was hoping it would. There they go. Poor little guys. I think he's slowly figuring it out. And then I gave up. Can you figure it out up there, sir? No. Nope. Okay. I can probably make these two fall for this. This guy figures out, don't stop my head, I basically am screwed. Oop. 
All of a sudden, the Fanny McInnes fell down. I know there's like one somewhere. That's what's over time. This is just a big old death bridge. Okay, moving on this way. Is that a clue for one of the rats coming on the head now I'm sort of paying attention? Yep. I want to see where these two enemies that stuck up on me even came from. Oh, they're like, yeah, they fell down from the little house over there. die here, but yep, that was not worth the trouble. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely tell. It's actually it was okay until a certain point. Now I've lost my souls. I'm not going back to those 200. I'm touching the arc stone. Back I go. Whoop, disappear into the other. Okay, so the next time I play this, because I'm a little bit tired, it turns out after nine and a half hours of playing this, um, from my dissection, I should probably go back to this place and see if I can defeat that boss. But I'm going to have to grind next time I play this. I guess that'd be good for getting me back in the group of things, but that's not going to be fun. The swamp is easier, at least at first, than some of the other areas, but it's definitely not the most... It's its own hell. Uh, the dead place seems really cool, but I think I should wait a little bit longer on that one. And this place, I definitely do not have powerful enough weapons for. I've noticed I'm severely weak for it. I'm not going to try that place yet. I tried all of them a little bit, and that made enough sense to me, so yeah. Oh boy, for the grind next time. I think the game hopefully saves pretty regularly. Okay, yeah, it's kept I've been playing this for some time. I'm on soul level 18, I suppose. <laughs> Like a save option? I suppose not. Wow. To roll as it goes, as it goes. No, that's it. <laughs> you, if you die here in Voletaria, your soul. Well, what'll you do next? That's what I did. I think I just lost my nerve for this kind of thing. I see. Makes some sense. I guess I can just quit and it'll be okay. Yeah. So far I'm enjoying it. Now I also know this is definitely, I've heard from pretty much everyone, this is the roughest of the Souls games. And I can see that, but I'm still enjoying it. Um, from what I, the little bit I play of Dark Souls, I can tell that Dark Souls is a more refined version of this concept. That's just from the beginning, I guess. But still, all the same, enjoying it thus far. Until next time, I shall be able to do to all of you. Thank you all for that who tuned in and talked during all this. I will definitely play more of this. I do plan to beat it, though it might take me a while. I'm going at my own slow pace. Until next time, I shall bid adieu to all of you. And good night, everybody. <laughs>